Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back. It has been a couple days since I've returned from my trip and I figured I would record this massive video and just get it out for you guys because I've been very excited to do so. It's going to take a while. Um, this is going to be a long video and I'm going to do everything I can not to edit it very much. So my job is not going to be awful. However, it's it's going to be a lot. Just to enjoy. I mean, it's going to be a fun one. I kind of don't really know why I wanted to do this. It just seemed like it would be a fun challenge. And yeah, so uh, this is it. Here's the game from start to finish. We have both sacrifices in full. And I have no idea how long it's going to take. I have no plans. We're just going to go in. We're just going to play through the game. It's going to take a while, but it'll be fun. And I'll give my thoughts after. All right. So we've made a new slot. Um, this is on a new account. So there is no... Um, there's, there's no items that'll help us, if that makes sense. We're just going to start out. Let's get some money. There's really nothing else that we can do. Um... Silver mine, goaded. Uh, we're not going to be doing any like box opening or uh, UC items or anything like that. We're not going to be buying game passes. We're simply just going to run through the game uh, just the way it was intended to be played, and we're just gonna we're just gonna have a fun time. All right, we're gonna get uh, four of these as they're rather cheap, and I now have some decent money. We're gonna get these. We're gonna put these here. We're gonna get to a point where we can get a gold excavator and we're just gonna, we're gonna buy that. Okay, beautiful. I actually tried to record this this morning, but I just, I just didn't have the energy and there were some other things that a couple buddies wanted me to do on other games so i figured um i'd just come back later today and uh record it so i'm hoping we could get it done in a decent amount of time because that means that if this takes more than like 12 hours which it probably will um i'm going to be playing into the night and i don't plan on doing this in more than one sitting as that beats the entire purpose so i don't know um now that we've got these we're gonna get one remote diamond mine and we're just going to start adding these in over a few moments. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, let's do this. Let's get ourselves some money. Okay. Let's withdraw this. Let's get a better furnace. Okay, let's get enough for a few of these cells. So let's get to like, I don't know, 15 million. There we go. Now let's do the same thing for the mines. So let's get to like five million or so. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna... Beautiful, okay. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead, let's buy a lot of these uh, military grade conveyors as well as ramps. Let's get two industrial diamond mines. And a lot of coal mines, uh, multiple stacks of them. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, let's get let's get our RP first. Actually, I might as well. I don't really like want to do the RP farming, but let's just get it done right off the, the like right off the first go. It's, there's there's no point in not. So, 
this needs to face this way here here yep and then take furnace furnace Two, three, four, five, and then we could raise this to 250. There you go. All right, and now we just go walk around and uh, let's get these items, dude. Okay, so we don't have uh, any like sword givers or anything to speed ourselves up nor do we have any infusers. So this is gonna be a very slow process of getting RP, but I'm just gonna use the boxes around the map to speed up the process, hopefully. Awesome, super rare tier. We have some coffee with us. As we are 100% going to be here for a while. I'm mostly curious to see just what it's like to be a new player um, again. And I don't just mean like the Life 1 experience, I mean like the full game experience. It's, it's so different than it used to be. Awesome. Golden crates. It's so weird not getting that like speed boost every time I hit a gold crate that comes with endgame uh, and like one of the artifacts, I believe. It's, it's just weird not having that. talk to far guild hamburger thank you all right guys we are at about 30 krp now we're just waiting we're gonna get to 95k before we stop i don't really feel a need to go much higher i feel like that's already a pretty good point um it's enough for most of the items in the shop that i'm gonna need and i'm not gonna be wasting time going for like true overlord or anything nor overlord at least probably not not until it's like already really easy so just just using like my setup plus all the shop items that should be enough to get overlord by the time i want it because like otherwise i don't know it's just it's so unnecessary most of the time beautiful we're, we're getting a lot of RP fast. It's going to be fun doing this without boxes, though. I'm, I'm very excited. This is not an approach I've really taken to something like this before, so... I'm... I'm definitely excited to see. K soon. Here we go. Ooh, 
bro. Beautiful. Oh my god, I, I, I can't wait to get this UC crate that I'm not gonna use. We've got close to 60k. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a slow process. We're getting there though. I I definitely could improve this. I just I just don't care enough. I might as well just use it the way it is. Like it's getting the job done slowly but surely. Honestly, given given the farm and just what it is, it's actually really crazy that this works as efficiently as it does. Like like these are items that you get right off like right off the go as a new player. Um and it's on par with some of the later like end game setups. It's just really cool to see that, you know. Like I said, you get it right off the go. Alright, any boxes nearby? Oh, no, there's not. That's fine. Okay, we are like 25k away. We're getting there. I mostly want it for legendary tier because there's nothing really after legendary tier that I'm going to need. And if so, it'll be at a point later in the video where I, I just won't mind RP farming for a while. Um, but this is, this is more than fine. We'll just get to 95k and then we'll go. Because I should be able to get through the first life within, I'd say, uh... 20 minutes maybe i'm hoping i i think that'd be a good point it'll probably take me a lot longer i haven't really done a lot of this stuff in a long time so i'll be a little rusty but it's okay i'm also just wondering what feedback and opinion i can form about the game that might actually just be beneficial for the game um so i don't know like I, i'm excited I'm excited to see how this goes. We're gonna be here for a while. I was debating live streaming this, but it's like, there's something so fun about wanting to surprise you guys with a however long video, because that's not something I usually do here on this channel. So, yeah guys, I don't know. It's just, I figured I'd post it, make it, make it a, a little surprise for everybody. Because I think, I think a lot of you guys are aware through like my community posts and maybe my Discord server that I'm planning on doing this. Which, by the way, if you haven't already, you should join our Discord server. Um, speaking of, it's alive again, it's actually active, and a lot of people have been joining, so love to see you. Um, but I have mentioned this in places that I've been working on this video and that I planned on it. Um, and while I'm going in with really no set game plan and I'm kind of just gonna just hope to get a sacrifice over a good amount of time um I don't know it's it's just a new refreshing way to play the game it will be cool to see uh just all of it in such a short of amount of time and I'm also very ex excited to see the first sack uh point in the game because that is a point in minor seven that I have not experienced since 2017 uh his first sack so who knows it's it's actually it's gonna be really fun i'm very much excited so we'll see how this goes awesome beautiful so now we're gonna we're gonna do this we're gonna take this and this We're just going to make a row of military grade conveyors. Pick up 
paste this over here. And then... Here we go. Oh, we're making so much money. Here we go. Hell yeah, we got a little bit of RP. And then we'll also be um, upgrading the furnaces to cell processors soon. So that'll be that'll be nice. There we go. Aw, dude. That's fine. We'll just move these. And then this. And then this can go. And then we'll buy another one of these, move this, withdraw this, put in the furnace. There we go. Awesome. Now we have some money being made. Um, we're going to get two more of these. I actually don't think it's worth having that many of these. Okay, this one can go. That was a bad idea. Okay, we are now making billions consistently. Um, this as well could like get halved because it's, it's making it hard to get ores. Yeah, that's better. That's how it should be. Awesome. And then a few things let's do. First, let's get a Pulsar. Next, let's get 30 of these uh, portable ore advancers. Let's get a cannon. Uh, I don't know. I'll just get like five of them. I'll also get some have conveyors and some tiny conveyors. I'll get an ore gate just because it's a useful tool. I will get a radioactive refiner. I'd say five of these ramps. Let's get one tracker. Uh, let's get... We're going to save for two way up highs because they're just incredibly useful. Um, and we're probably just going to do some looping for a while. Uh, we need to get to 26 billion. Okay. Almost there. 25, 26.1. There we go. Okay, uh, we can't get centering conveyors yet, which is okay, but we can compromise with uh, some other items. Let's get let's get some plasma polishers and some scanners, as those are all useful. We do need a furnace, however. Um, I don't really care what furnace I actually end up using. Um, however, something I will do is I will get five teleporter senders and receivers for now and i guess we'll just get a raised furnace as it's quite affordable actually no we could get a heavenly forge i almost almost missed that and uh i'd say that's fine for now let's let's go ahead and let's actually get a setup going we will grab a, a magnifier really quick as well and then let's just use diamond mines for now so we're gonna go into the corner over here let's get four mines down uh, let's put our magnifier and then our tracker. Uh, let's get some conveyors down. Two, three. Awesome. And then let's do a teleporter. A sender. A ramp. Like one of those big ramps. Okay. What's next? We need our way up high upgraders for sure. A gate. Awesome. And then we could simply just have these loop. 
now we need to get the the main setup working so these are three tiles along these senders or the receivers sorry so what we'll do is um i guess we'll just take we'll take our setup here Let's say we'll start it right around here and we're just gonna put all of our portables in because we'll they just do the smallest upgrade for what takes up so much space. Uh, let's get just five of them in really quick. Okay, awesome. Two, three, four, five, six. And what we'll do here is I'll put one of these and then there'll be a ramp with four more. Conveyors here. Let's grab this crate. Might as well. Awesome. What else could we use? We could use our ore scanners. Which will come in handy as they are a times three, I believe. 150%, so 1.5 times. Not terrible. Definitely good or no that's a two and a half times a oh, 100 is a two times i don't know i don't know I, I guess it's just worded weird um and then we'll do i don't know i'll just do like five and then our furnace Okay, so all of these ores are already at billions, so we're definitely just going to skip right to trillions, if not quadrillions. And this is going to be pretty easy, I'm assuming. Uh, this is already working quite well. Um, I think we're just going to stop it here. I don't think we need all of these ores to be, like, perfect or anything. Put this here. Alright, let's see these, because I am quite curious. All right, mid to low billions. Uh, some of these are being upgraded now. Okay, that <laughs> that was a little, a lot stronger actually than I expected. So what we'll do is uh, we'll bring it to like here. Uh, one more conveyor, yep. And then we'll do this and this. And then we'll go to here. Let's also get a bunch of gates. Awesome. Keep saying awesome. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm doing that. I usually don't. And then let's place down this in the corner. Pulse all of our ores. Now what we'll do is let's get some Freons. Let's put a gate. And then another teleporter sender. Now what we could do is we can get five of these and five of these oh we're gonna be here for for some time boys i'm gonna get to know all of y'all so well even though none of you are actually here and this is a video and i'm just talking to a camera but don't worry about that Okay, what else? Let's get two of these. Um, I might as well upgrade the furnace. And 
Additionally, we can we can upgrade our scanners to to advanced scanners. And what is it I wanted to I wanted to use? There was another item that I wanted to use somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Scanner, scanner. Um Oh, we need our walls. And then... Converter ramp. Replicator. And then we need this. Now I'll put our pink teleporter. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Halfway to trillions already. Some of these ores are very good. Awesome. Dude, quadrillions already. It's so free. Okay. Well, now what we can do is let's get a better mine because why not? We'll get two of these. Pulse all of the ores. Let's put these back in the loop. And let's take a look at our setup here. So we could improve the setup with a better furnace. Uh, I think instead I'm just going to use electronic furnace as it's very affordable and it does its job well. Then we'll take... Um, I could only get six of these. So what I'll do is... Let's just move this over to here for now. Okay. Conveyor. Centering. Oh, yeah, we don't have those yet. Uh, let's put a ramp. And then I'll put two more ramps here just to make sure the ores do not fall out. Actually, we'll just do that. Okay, now we're gonna get our Schrodingers. And then our electronic furnace. Alright, we're going to save this as layout 3 for now, as it's essentially the entire substance to the actual setup. Um, we're going to put the painite back. We'll put our centering conveyor back. Our Schrodinger's back. And the furnace back. Okay, clean. This is this is coming along very well. And then This is gonna this is gonna give me a rebirth I'm just telling you it actually probably won't but okay I also did not bother to uh, to turn the thing on the furnace yeah I did not bother what does it do when it's not turned on as like a basic furnace otherwise oh yeah we definitely missed some big upgrade there then 
Um, that's honestly fine. Uh, I'm just gonna put these back in. Let them loop for a little while. In the meantime, we're just gonna start upgrading this. So we have... Uh, I can't do more than one of these. I can't even do one of these. Uh, I could do the ion fields. I guess I'll I'll do one. And then I can get two more of these. Four. Okay, and then here's this. Stop these. I'm just going to let these ores that are already in here finish looping. Okay, um, we're gonna send all of our ores now. Then we're gonna go run over and actually make sure that we activate this on time. I could have also upgraded the scanners to flaming ones, but I can't be asked. And I'm also not up to a better furnace yet, so. All right, hope for the best. QN, okay, good enough. Awesome. We're going to do this one more time. Pulse. Okay. What we're going to do now is... Um, I might as well upgrade the furnace, I think. Yeah. And then we'll take... Four of these. And I'll just get four more of these. So we'll put the ion fields... And just like here, I guess. I don't know. And just hope that they work. And then we'll put our orbital upgraders in. Just kind of wherever. I don't really care too much about placement for them. As long as they work, that's really it. And then we'll change the furnace to shrine. All right, and then we'll wait just a, a second for these to finish. They're already doing quite well. Once I'm past the, the stage of needing to loop, though, this is going to be a very easy process. It just takes time. But we have all of our RP farming done and stuff as well. God, okay. These are done, at least for, like, the most part. All right, let's see this. This should be enough to rebirth. I'd be very surprised if it's not. Come on, please. Yes, beautiful. First rebirth has already been achieved. 33 minutes, industrial fire crystal, beautiful item to be getting at this point in the game. Um, we, we can't use it just yet, so we're just going to have to get money. Um, how much is it for a coal mine? A coal mine is 30k. Okay. We'll withdraw this for now. Not bad. We, we got one of the, the best items in the game right away, so this is going to make... This is going to make the game very easy moving forward. Um, all I need is a nature's grip, and I think we're set. So, hoping for some good RNG with rebirth items.
Okay, and we're just gonna put these in. And now we're just playing the waiting game for a minute. Oh my god, I got two RP. I needed that two RP, thank you. I was I was very, very worried I would not get my two RP. What are we at box wise? Hmm. It's whatever. Okay, so close to something decent. It's just hard as well because I don't start with like a cell furnace or something, so. We're just gonna wait for silver mines and then it's, it's GG's. Okay, awesome. Now we're getting progress. And then we're just gonna do weed these out over time with uh, remote iron mines as these are incredibly strong and they don't cost much more than silver, so. There we go. Oh yeah, these give 10, so these are really good. Once we have enough of these, it'll it'll be really fast. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, we're getting $20 super easy. Alright, now it'll be 30, so now three clicks is a hundred dollars. Now it's four clicks, or sorry, two clicks, essentially. Yeah, now it's now it's easy. No, oh, I thought my internet was gonna die. Okay. Awesome. This is this is coming along well. We're just going to do this until we get to enough for a cell furnace. And then we're going to get enough for some coal mines and then it's just GG's. Getting there, almost. 1,000 more, at least now. Beautiful, dude. Okay, all of this can go. And what we'll do is one, two, three, and four over a cell. We're just gonna get enough really quick for um, a gold excavator. So that way we can get some easy cash, because I think it gives about 20k a piece. Um, and yeah. It's gonna be straightforward from there. Okay, let's do this. Oops. Bro. Okay. Yeah, this is much easier. Now, now that I've done the hard part, Let's put this, I'd say here is fine. Let's put it down a few. And uh, let's just put some conveyors and one coal mine at least. We could get two, okay. And we'll just do this. And this will give a lot right away. 
We just have to wait for one of the ores to work. Billions, yep, there we go. Okay, now we can go straight to here, buy a bunch of these. Um, we can buy one of these. God damn it. Okay. Let's let's make this work. Cause we're gonna get straight to trillions like instantly. At least probably. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually gave quadrillions, but Bro, why are we lagging so bad today? Oh, it's trillions. I mean that's that's what I expected. But this is still crazy. We can go straight to trillions. So, I mean, I'll just save this, I guess. Or no, we could make this um, a slot one. We'll we'll get we'll get a decent amount of trillions really quick. Awesome. Okay. Now I'm just gonna try this. Beautiful. And then what we could do is, um, this could be our mine now, which is really nice. So, we might as well. Okay, we need a furnace. We'll just do... get as much money as we can really fast. Hundred trillion, yup, there we go. And then let's get uh, plasma conveyors. Okay, we'll just kind of make this work as it is. It's fine. I do not mind at all. Okay, uh, these are already done. So, I don't know, we're just we're just gonna let a lot of them go through so that way we can get um, as many Schrodingers as we can and then we're set. So, I might as well just save this as layout number two. Um, as it's, it's quite easy to afford. I don't really have to stress about it at all. Other than maybe the plasmas being pretty pricey, but that's fine. Okay, this can go. And now let's flip these. Oh, I actually just killed all of my ores. I forgot to move the teleporter. I'm so dumb.
Okay, um... Gate can be hit. This can stop. This can move. Flip these. S send. There we go. So here we actually have all of the, like, the good and the bad ores. Let's see, what do these give? Oh, love to see it. Love to see it. Awesome. Okay. So now... This can go here like that. Um, this can go here. This can go here. Okay. And then we'll do uh, Schrodinger's. I'd say... Yeah, we could only get five right now, which is fine. Four, five. And then I'll hop back here with the electronic furnace. Awesome. Good progress so far. Great progress, actually. And then I will... Um, I'm just going to remove this for now. This can go here. I'm just going to let this loop for a minute. I don't even think it's going to take that long. Like, all these are in the, the billions right away. Alright, I might as well just send them. Okay, we gotta make it back for this really fast. That's the kind of money I want to be making. Oh, that's so nice. Let's get these. Beautiful. Okay. Now... Um... Okay. Just some changes I'm going to make really fast. Let's first let's let's clean this up. Okay. We're just going to make this as efficient for myself as possible. Let's go to layout 1, which is this. And I'm going to move this. This can go here. This can be shrunk down to this. This can move. Put this here, this here. And just just make this easy on myself. Okay. Let's save this. Um, withdraw all. Let's kill our ores. Let's load layout three. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three can go here and then we need a new furnace so i'll just use dream maker because it's really easy and i kind of want to just be lazy um meanwhile we need we need this so we'll do um this this two Four, five, and then coal mines. And then we'll save this as a new layout. 
Okay, so now now we have like our main layouts, loadouts, whatever you want to call them. So we now have a path for progression, which is good. Only 1,998 more lives, guys. <laughs> it's not going to be too bad. I really don't think so at all. All right, we'll just let these loop for a sec. Get as much money out of all of the ores as possible now that we have a lot of Schrodinger's. We also have other items that I'm going to throw in really quick. Um, these are really easy, so I'll do these. One. Two. Three. Awesome. It's just coming along so well. It, it's really just going to be... Um, the first like 10 lives and getting decent items that's going to be hard everything after is whatever where did all the ores go bro did literally all of them just die i have so many ores where are they oh my god I did not even think about this. Crap. Alright, let's fix this before it's a bigger problem. Crap. Oh, wait, I still messed it up. Okay. There we go. All right, we're at about a hundred something ores, so I think we'll stop. That box really just despawned right in front of me. I'm gonna go for the shadow crate. Those give more RP than the, the normal ones. 500 compared to, I think, 400. Yeah. All right, I'm hoping this will give enough to rebirth. I seem to just need to get lucky with um, the Schrodingers. Yeah, I was like wondering where did my ores go? They they were stuck because I'm stupid. And we had to reloop, but it's okay. We're getting there quite quick. Okay, I need to make sure that more ores survive this. Um, because I'm not doing a good job at that right now. Okay, I can't upgrade the furnace. So, I'll just use this. And then... I'll add in these, because why not? All right, we have over 100 ores. I'll let these stop. Loop for a minute. Okay, all of these are good. Here we go. Let's get some good ores, please. This should go fine. I'm I'm hoping no rebirth here. 
I, I think it's possible. Yep, here we go. We should. Bro, you can't do that to me. Come on. You're right there. Okay. We'll just upgrade our furnace and do it again. Sad, but it's fine. I'll also make it so it's easier to get more ores into this faster. It's just because of how short this is, but it doesn't need to be on the second slot. Or on the third slot, I mean. Get more ores into the setup as fast as possible. Alright, some of these are already already done looping. We're gonna wait another sec. Okay, we'll move this to kill the ore flow, and then we'll just let this loop once or twice, as by then the ores will be done. Okay. Oops, that was a voice crack for sure. Alright, let's send these through. It's gonna be weird seeing unedited content on this channel. It's been a long time since I've done that. Alright, I should be able to rebirth. Yep. Nature's Grip, Astral, I mean, I'll take it. It's not what I wanted, though. Um, okay. We'll do this. Astral. Um, one, two, three, four. I mostly just wanted more space to actually put more mines for this. I don't know, this was like the smartest thing I could think of to, to make money fast. Because I don't really have a strategy down too well for early game, like early, early game like this right now. So we're just doing whatever we can to get money. This is a lot faster though. Okay, we're going to do this until we get to 400 and then we're just going to wait. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but it works. So I'm happy. Okay. I'm excited to see how much these actually give. I'm assuming it's a lot. It's like $30, oh my god. Alright, this'll this'll be good. Oh, that's so much faster. Yep, there we go. We have our uh, our setup here. Let's get to like six and a half K and then now we could stop. Just get this. Let's go to 25 K. So that way we can get gold excavator. this just get as much money as we can like a uh, 100k ish and then let's load or no wait we can't do that yet we have to get um like two of these first so we do this 
this. And then... Now, we do this. Awesome. Ooh, lucky crate. I'm never gonna need it, but sure, I'll take it. And now we're just gonna wait for a sec until we get enough trillions for the setup. And then we have a part one, and then a part two setup. So, great stuff. Okay, well, how much do I actually need? Um, because we have roughly 43. Uh, okay, so that's like 24 trillion is what we need. Not terrible. Oops, let's go open up the gate. Let's get this box off the conveyors. Okay, um... I'm just gonna replace this, like this. I mean, it's not like the craziest way to put it in a setup, but I mean, dude, like upgrades an upgrade, I'll just take it for now. Uh, this setup works fine, so I'm not stressing. And it's only gonna make it stronger, so it's fine. All right, let's see how well this does. Okay, easy quadrillions, very nice. Let's go to here. Let's load this. Not enough for Schrodinger's or evals, that's fine. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just put this right here, I guess. Oops, let's go move this. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We we just need a, a more efficient way of getting QD. But it's like, this works fairly well, so... I mean, like, I'm not stressing. Also, at this point, we might just remove one of these. That gives less, so... Okay. Uh, let's just stop. Send. And then this should do well, if not better. It's definitely going to do better. We also have a better furnace, which is helping a lot. Yeah. Yep, a lot of QD. Okay, once again, withdraw. And then and now we have all these. Nice. We don't need the orbitals, so I might as well just, like, do this really quick. Okay. And then, given the situation and how much money we actually have for the budget, let's just extend this. Won't hurt. This can be removed. Astral can be placed here. Delete. There we go. Okay, like mid to high trillions from what it looks like. Or sorry, low to high trillions. Sorry, oh my god, low to mid trillions. 
Okay, this should give us some Q1, I'm hoping. Yup. Yes. Okay, well, we did get to QN, so now I'm just going to pulse. Um, additionally, what we'll do is we'll upgrade the furnace. We'll get these three and these four. All right, let's switch the furnace. One, two, three, and then one, two... One, two... I just kind of, like, hope those hit. I don't know, I don't really care enough to, uh, flip them. Or to, uh, check them, I mean. I needed to flip this, that's what I meant. I'm kind of, like, thinking out loud. Okay. Um. Let's see. This should work very well. Ideally, we rebirth here, again. And then we get a nature's grip, and all of my problems are solved. Please? Rebirth? Yes! <gasps> Dude! Yes! This is what we like to see, boys. We have an instant source of high money now. It's gonna give billions. Yup, okay. And then this is a joke now. It gives QN. It literally gives QN. Okay, wait. So we have this. Let's do this. Let's save. Okay, we need this. This setup can get deleted because it's pointless. And then what we'll do is we could add in ions and orbitals. Yeah, we got saved really hard time-wise by that, so love to see it. Save here, delete this. Dude, that was, that was everything for this run today that we're doing. I mean, like, I'm not doing a speed run of any sort. I'm just doing this because it seemed fun. Um, and, like, a genuine challenge. Not, not even just because of how hard it's gonna be. But, it's just long. It's very long. But this, um, this pretty much just saved it for us, so. Not worried at all. Let's see. This should go quite well. Please... Rebirth right away, ideally. Oh my god. Two minute rebirth already? Are you kidding me? I mean, another nature's grip is not what I'm looking for, unfortunately, but it's okay. I'll take whatever I can get right now. Alright, let's get some, some QN. Up, there we go. And then... It's just so fast that it works. And then... We could do this. Get some of these conveyors. for the best guys this should work no instant rebirth no good RNG that's fine pulse 
All right, we'll let these loop for a minute. Damn, dude. Just the greatest items I could have gotten were obtained. It feels so nice. Now all I need is a Tesla, a uh, past life 10, and uh, it'll be incredibly easy to, to just keep doing this more. It is quite tough that I don't have um, the teleporter items or like an extra set. Like I could buy one, uh, just, I don't know though. It's it's definitely just gonna take away from the the whole like free to play first sack, second sack vibe. So I don't know, it's not worth it. We'll struggle a little bit. All right, flip these. This should very much get me a rebirth. I might as well just start doing a full set of ores and letting them loop. I keep trying to just rebirth fast, but it's not working. Okay. Please? Again? No. I actually think I might know why. Okay, I'll give it another minute. Okay. Awesome. Did we save? Yes, we did. Wild Spore is so good. Oh my god, we we got a great item. Okay, uh, let's do this. Nature's Grip. Ready to, yep, there we go. Just gonna keep making this stronger. Awesome. Dude, it's it's coming along great. We're already life six. It's been about an hour. We've got a long ways to go, but it's it's progress. I'm happy to see it. At least we've got a consistent strategy now for early game. Now I'm just concerned about what we're going to do after this point, because it, the game is probably going to slow down drastically. Alright, we'll wait another rotation or two. Okay. That works. We should be able to rebirth right off the go now that um, Wild Spore is here. That's an additional times four, I believe. So it's just more stuff to help. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was crazy fast. I think that was record. I don't know what time that was. I don't want to open chat. Awesome. Okay, we need to get like roughly two QN. Which is not hard at all. Mm. 
Okay, let's just open this up right away. What is or mag? Why is or magmafire blinking? Only affects ore that hasn't been upgraded yet, so it's essentially pointless for this. So I might as well just take it away. So that way we can um I'll just kill these ores really quick. And then we'll do delete and resave. Whatever gets the ores in faster, you know, it's just just trying not to waste time. Another astral, or no, I, I got that a while ago. I think I got another nature's grip. All right, now let's wait for this to fill up. Okay. This should be another rebirth right away again. I mean, at least hoping so. Yes, SX already, dude. Love to see it. Sage Redeemer, beautiful. That's actually really good. Um, I keep I keep loading that right away. I keep forgetting that I don't actually have a free money giver. Okay, we have this. Uh, I mean, I guess I could incorporate Sage into the setup. What what multiplier does Sage bring? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to the wiki. Sage, Sage Redeemer. Processes or by the number of times it has been upgraded, divided by two, kept at 50 times or value. Okay, so I guess I could use it. I don't think it'll hurt. And it will also make the setup cheaper. I actually just don't know if I have the space. I don't. Eh, that's fine. Or what I'll just do is, um, let's get some walls. Wait, let's go over here really fast. Let's let the ores at least loop while I do this. Let's get some walls and let's get some centering conveyors. I just don't don't know what we're gonna do soon with this setup I'm just glad we have something that works as consistent as it does but I'm gonna need a Tesla very early to make this game go fast that's really the only concern is how much we have to rely on RNG at some points so much it is out of our control Please, please work. Please work well. This might be crazy, though. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. I was right. Righteous will? Yes, thank you. I'm actually so happy with that. You have no idea how awful it is being slow. Oh, my God. It's already, like, a hundred times better. Let's load this in. Let's get, like, one QN, and then we're good. It's just so consistent. Like, all of the problems with the setup have pretty much gone away at this point. 
All right, let's look around. Let's get some some boxes for a sec. I'm just like trying to get passive amounts of RP so that way if I end up really needing like I don't know, um uh an evolution or something, then like I'm not really too worried about RP uh for blueprints. Blueprints? Blueprints? The words are hard, sorry. I, I think I said blueprints. I meant blueprints. But I don't know. It's uh it's going quite well so far. I'm not too worried that I'll end up needing any of those. I'm hoping we could do this whole thing without needing to evolve anything. Uh other than maybe the exception of like astral or something, but I don't know. It's just the less RP farming I have to do, the less time I have to literally sit down and grind out another 100,000 RP. And uh, that's that's a lot of time that it takes to commit to do that. So we're just, we're trying to do whatever the easiest strategies are and just like whatever gets us there the most efficiently. Want a more cleaner? Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, nature's grip. We're already life 10, so progress is going well. Um, now I just need to find a spot to put this in the setup. I think I have an idea though. Literally just right here, yep. All right, let's make sure all of the ores are done looping. Yep. I'm I'm hoping for mid SX, so like 50 at least. Uh it would be a good sign for what my setup is going to look like going forward for me. It's definitely not in the 50s yet, but it's high. It's higher than it was. Clockwork right off the go? First rebirth, I get clockwork. This game loves me. Okay. Um, we need to make more money. I keep forgetting this part every time. It's fine, though. It doesn't take long to just set, set up. Uh, we needed, like, a QN-ish... There we go. Oh, that was fast. Okay, nice. And then this. Okay. Three of these. Clockwork. Delete. Save. And then just let these loop for like one or two minutes. Man, it's just so efficient. I'm very happy with this. We're getting like two minute rebirths. And it's only getting faster. I mean, now we're pretty much limited to like how fast we could get it because of looping. So we're going to be doing about two minute rebirths for a while, but it's okay. Uh, it's not at a point where I feel like it's causing any problems. And now we have another big upgrade in the setup, so I don't know. We'll we'll see how this goes. I feel like we found good spots for everything, though. I'm just like, I really don't want to have to rebuild this, and I did not build this efficiently the first time. I built this pretty poorly, but it's okay. Yes, that's the kind of money that I want to be making. 
high SX, so that way I, I'm aware that this is future-proofed. Um, Aura Illuminator is one of the few items I'm actually not too excited about. Uh, it's useful, I just, I don't really want to have to use it right now, as, again, it takes time, but I'll take it nonetheless. Uh, oh my god, can I please stop making mistakes? Okay, this needs to go back, this needs to go there, thank you, okay. QN. There we go. Okay. It also helps having, like, Sage Redeemer and not having to grind extra QN to get Shrine. So, I don't know. I'd, I'd say we're at a pretty good point in this. Oh, this needs to go. My fault. I hate that I can't make it so it just starts out opened. I've saved like four times with it open and it hasn't worked. I don't know if it actually does that. Um, I don't think it does though, so sad. That would have been nice because I forget a lot to open it right away. Okay, these should all be done very soon. Yep. Yeah, it's it's just nice knowing that now I could rebirth guaranteed with the first set of the uh, the ores. They give a lot now too. Like we're getting to a point where soon we'll be reaching SP probably. Yeah, they're worth QN before they even enter now. Oh, that's great. I actually don't think that's good. Uh, Flaming Schrodinger's, I'm pretty sure, are pretty bad. At least nowadays. Oh my god, I'm messing up way too much. Okay. Go, thank you. We need money. Yes. Okay. Nice and fast. We only need like 500 QD going forward. Which is good to know. Open this right away. Okay. Alright, now I'm just waiting on a Tesla. Once I get a Tesla, I can probably remove most of these items. Or at least once I get a Tesla, I don't have to worry about the setup going forward. Send these. Okay. Please, Tesla. Astral, not really what I'm looking for, to be honest. There we go. We didn't mess it up that time. Okay. Um, do this. Do this. Nice. Yeah, once I get Tesla, though, um, what we'll do is we'll just have the items loop back around, probably. And I'll try to get rid of the Schrodingers, as they just won't be useful anymore. As, like, all of these items doing, like, times four and stuff just stacked together will be a much more efficient way of getting money. 
uh, and having those loop a few times. So, that's the plan, is just to get a Tesla, maybe get some, uh, some, like, BBBs, and just hope for the best going forward with items. One more. Catalyst, yes, man. We're just getting good upgraders that are useful for everything I'm trying to do right now. Catalyst is great. It's exactly the kind of stuff that we want. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll put this here. Oops. Okay. Um. Crap. We can literally get rid of one of these, I think. And just do this. And then... I'll save. I'm hoping that's a good idea. I don't know, we'll find out. What if it does save with the gate open? I doubt it will, but we're gonna try. This will confirm our suspicions or not. Okay, probably one or two more times. This has got to go through. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's see how much money this gives, because I did just replace two Schrodingers. Um... For the sake of adding a catalyst in, I'm really not sure if it's a good idea, but I I just figured maybe less RNG and just a better upgrade overall is a good idea, but let's find out. Um, it's about the same. I'm definitely, oh, I'm definitely getting some really good ores though, so I don't know. Vortex Chamber, uh, it's not something I like to use because it takes up a lot of space, but it's fine. get this box over here okay send this through does it work no it does not okay so we'll just open it right up and we'll we'll, we'll go oh my god words we will go get this box I'm just trying to get some passive RP right now. Dude, we must have so many boxes. 23, not as many as I thought, but I'm not going to be using them. Not much more waiting. There we go. Tesla, please soon. Because if I get a Tesla, I could just get rid of the Schrodingers. Which would be fantastic. Yep, there we go. Unium? Oh, dude, it's it's beautiful. Okay, well, this can be this now. Uh... 
Um, we don't need a money maker anymore, as this is the money maker. And then I actually want to try something really quick. I'm just going to remove this. How does this do money wise? Okay, we're gonna get some walls and another tracker. Okay, so it's it's quite literally just not better, so we don't need to replace this yet, um, but we have a great money-making setup now, which is fantastic. I'm actually going to clear this layout one more time, so that way I can make sure it's I can do whatever's fastest for me. And then we'll open this up, and now we just gotta wait. Things are going... well. Unium was a great addition. It's just going to make it faster to rebirth. Um, albeit, I'm still quite sad I haven't gotten Newtonium yet. Once I get Newtonium, I'll be able to skip looping, and I'll probably just build a new setup entirely. Um, I'll be making one that's just a lot more efficient and less of a pain to work with in terms of building. So, yeah, I don't know. We're just waiting on Newtonium now. All right, we'll send these. Newtonium will be perfect. And then Tesla is just going to make it so it's just, it's free game at that point. Hoping for both, though. It, we should be able to. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, these should be good ores to rebirth. Yeah, Q1 ores. Nature's Grip again? Okay, like, kind of a problem is that I'm getting a lot of these, but it's fine. Okay, do this, and then this. Oh, it's so fast. I'm just, I'm trying to think of other ways to optimize, optimize, oh my god, words are going to be awful today, I'm so sorry guys, uh, I'm trying to think of how to optimize this more than I have already, I just, I just don't think there's any, any easy optimizations that I want to make, I could obviously put like colliders in and stuff, I'm just, I'm just taking the lazy route. I'm trying to just keep this as consistent as possible, and I'm too lazy to, like, set up some crazy rig just to, to get the, the upgrade for the colliders. I just don't care enough. Oh, this is gonna go great. It's so fast, now that I don't need to withdraw or use basic iron mine in order to make money. Nature's Grip again, oh my god. Dude, we have four Nature's Grips at life 19. A fifth or more of our rebirths have been Nature's Grip. There is a problem with that. It, the problem is that it's Nature's Grip. Um, I like I could always put a uh, vortex into one of these uh, cannons. It's just that'll that'll happen when it needs to as well. I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, probably two more of these, and it's good.
Yep. How many ores do we have? It does not look like we have a lot of ores. What? That's so weird. I don't know why that happened. Aw, oh, man. I mean, I, I guess it's fine. It's just not ideal. Go over here and just do this. I'll get my boxes really fast. Take this, pause it, turn it around, send the ores through. Tesla or a Newtonium, please. It's gonna happen. This rebirth, we're getting one of those two items. I'm just, I'm just telling you, it's gonna happen. Let's not do uh, what I think Pip did and not get a Tesla until over life 170. Let's let's not let that happen. I'll take mineral wheel actually. That's pretty good. It's a great upgrade for uh it's just like a guaranteed upgrade. Uh there's no RNG or any weird effects to worry about. So I will happily take one of those. Um Just where do I where do I want to use it? Oh, I could just throw it right here at the end. Perfect. I will do exactly that. Delete this layout. Yes. And then we'll resave it. This should go very smoothly now. Now that we have another upgrader. So I'm not really too concerned about my rebirth price at any point. Alright, one or two more loops. And we should be good. I'm very curious to see what the money is going to look like now. Because that's what, I believe, just another times four. I'm not too sure, though. Alright, let's find out. Oh, it's so good. It's so good now. Sawmill, not what I'm looking for. There's no upgrade provided by Sawmill. It's essentially a waste of space. That worked terribly slow. Those were terrible ores I got out of uh, Unium. All right, time to just wait more. this another clockwork is again not necessarily needed but it's fine it's not like the worst item i could be getting 
I'm still so glad I got that righteous will. Oh my god, this would have been awful. I I was actually like really worried. Uh, I kind of forgot righteous will existed for a sec, so I was like I was worried that I was gonna have to do this whole thing without it, which would have been so so bad. Because I'm just so used to playing with like champion infuser or even like the exec infuser. Um, on my other slots, like for the 10k series, so I don't know. It's it's manageable though, but Righteous Will made it extremely, extremely manageable. Alright. Yeah, we're rebirthing so fast. Again, we just kind of gotta wait now for Newtonium and for Tesla. Newtonium will take away the need to loop. Tesla will take away the need for Schrodinger's. So both of those are great additions to the setup, no matter what. Green tea latte is actually fine. Uh, it's good to have turn items. It's just, as always, I try to avoid using way up highs as much as possible because they take more time, but it's okay. Not, not necessarily upset about it. Perfect. Tesla, I'm calling it. You know what? That's actually another great item. I will happily take a Pizza Blaster. These these are just good because once I get my Tesla and my Newtonium, I'm just going to make the craziest setup I possibly can. I'm very proud of how well this works as it is. So, great stuff. Great stuff so far. Alright, any crates nearby? Uh, oh, there's two small shadow crates over here that I'll go grab by the time I come back. Oh, and there's two more on the side. Perfect. All right, I'm going to get these before they all despawn. I'll take this as well. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we've already got five clovers. That's dope. It would be a shame if I didn't use them, wouldn't it? Okay. Not Scorpium, bro. Giving me the worst item in the game here. Go run right over. Activate that gate. Oh, we've got such a good rhythm down now. Well, we're a quarter. Of, we're a quarter of the way to life a hundred. So, not too worried. We we have good pacing. We're still under two hours in, and I feel like most of the harder, slower lives are done. Um, now we are just farming for as many upgraders as we can get, and just waiting until we get to that sweet point of Newtonium and Tesla. And a Big Bertha would be nice as well.
Big Bertha would be good because it just makes Newtonium stronger uh, and it pairs so well with Newtonium with just the way that it drops. Um, any upgraders though would be fantastic, so. Beautiful. Another Quantum Ore Cleaner. Not really what I'm looking for. So many of these rebirths could have been a Tesla or something. Oh my god. You know what's always funny, though, is that it always takes me so long to get a Tesla. But that's so weird because of how common the item actually is. It's like a rarity like 17 item that you get at life 10. And there's so many people who have just reported not getting one for like the longest time. And it always takes me a very long time to get Newtonium. I never get Newtonium right off like the first 30 lives, I'd say. Alright, these are already almost done looping. We'll just wait another minute. No boxes nearby. I mean, there's like regular ones, but I'm not going to go run away for a regular box. I'll go now at least, but like not while my wars are looping. It's not worth wasting time for 400 RP. I'm not going to go for that one back there. It's been there a while. It's just going to despawn by the time I get there probably. Okay. And ready to rebirth. Another fast time, so good stuff but not really what I'm looking for. Let's go get these over here. I'm glad that we're almost at 125k RP as well, because there are more shop items that I could take advantage of now that I'm about to unlock another tier. So, that's good. Just gonna get all of these boxes. Oh, and there's a gold box. Oh, that shadow crate despawned. I'm kind of sad. I should have went for that first. I don't know why I didn't. Like, I seen it too. I just didn't expect it to turn day. I was dumb. It's all right. Oh my god, we're so close to 125k. Alright, well, it's fine. Let's head back over, and we'll rebirth. Of course my setup's on the far side. Oh, and there's another box nearby. That should get us there. Okay. Um, let's see... I'll grab both of these, actually. Alright, one... Yeah, this should be it. 125k? No! Oh my god, this game. more boxes no that one box is still there but I know if I go for it it's gonna despawn watch it's been there too long I'm gonna be so surprised if I actually get to it oh wow I actually got there oh wait that's awesome wait we unlocked hydraulics that's useful I'm glad I did that then I didn't know that that was actually, like, the requirement for hydraulic items. Okay. Let's do this, and now we wait again.
Ancient Temple is not bad. That's another times two. I'll take it. I think it's a times two, at oh. least. I might be wrong. Let me check, actually. Alright, Ancient Temple. Um, okay, if the last three digit of... If, sorry, if the last digit of an or value is a decimal, it's a times three. If it's a whole number, it's a times five. Sorry. Um, so, not bad. It's definitely like a little RNG, but that's totally fine. It's still a good upgrader to use in my setup. Hmm. Okay, we'll just send. Because we don't need all of the ores to be done. We just need a lot of these done. Well, there they come. Welcome. Alright. Yes, man. Yes. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. Azure is great. It's a times four that's a three stud long. Like, that is, that is incredible. Yes, we want Azure. Okay, um, now I'd say it's probably fine. I'm trying to do it uh, just faster and just not wait for all of the ores because I don't think I need to. I feel like now there's so many ores that survive uh, with having less Schrodinger's ever since I put Catalyst there that it's just, it's fine. I'm not going to rebuild the setup and remove the Schrodingers, though, until I get both Newtonium and Tesla, so I'm, I'm hoping that's soon. Yeah, that worked incredibly well still. 300, 3, uh, there we go. Perfect, man. We're getting there so much quicker. It's still not even two hours, and we've already done another, like, few lives. It's about to be two hours, though. just send them very nice let's get ready to rebirth oh there's so many crates i'm just gonna go for these really fast oh uh i'll wait a sec the close one despawned so i'm not gonna stress over it not really what I want, but it's okay. Alright, let's get these. There's three now, so let's be fast. Aw, oh, man, that's sad. That would have been, like, the craziest combo. There's another gold crate back there, but that's too far. Okay, 128, hopefully this will boost us to 120, or sorry, 130. Okay, let's, let's do this. We are definitely ready to rebirth again.
Azure once more. Man, please, Tesla, Newtonium, I'm just still waiting. Nice, got it open in time. Oh crap, we could go for those crates over there. The UC crate disappeared, SMH. Dude, that is the second time that's happened. It just despawned one over there on the side when we went for the gold crates, and then another one despawned right in front of us there. Oh, uh, there's also a gold crate back there, but it's fine. I'm just trying to collect the close ones. Nice, we could rebirth right when we get back to the base. Man. I'm glad we're getting those fast times now. I've also realized that now uh, I don't really need to be waiting for hundreds of QD anymore, as I don't have any, like, furnace to get or anything. So we can kind of just, like, put Unium down and then right away uh, go for the setup, I'm pretty sure. Or no, wait, we do have to wait for a couple hundred QD because of uh, the orbitals and the ions. I almost forgot. That was what it was. It wasn't the furnace. The furnace is like two QD. Small mistake, guys. Sorry. All right. Three, two, one. It's so nice not having to wait. I just don't anymore. There's no point. It works so well as it is. Nice. Alright, let's rebirth. Uh, there is a crate over here. I just I'll get it. I'll get it like later if I care enough. I think I think we're fine on RP right now. I think I'm just gonna like focus on rebirthing. There's nothing I'm chasing, and like I would like to get like a Tesla or something maybe, but I don't know. Like a like an evolution Tesla. So like that's the only thing I'd be spending uh, RP on anytime soon. But I don't even have one Tesla, so I'm not worried. Dude, we're just like two good items away from just having such a clean, fast setup. 
Like, why am I still stuck in here? All right. Dreamers might... I mean, it took me a while to get one of these, but still. I'm very hungry. We're gonna be... We're gonna be taking a dinner break at some point tonight. Uh, probably not for a couple more hours, but like... Just generally. Okay. Alright, I will be back in a sec. I'm just gonna do something really quick for my parents. Okay. Sorry, I knew you guys would uh, probably not enjoy the just slight AFK moments, but there won't be many of them. I've I've already planned today based on wanting to do this video, so not too worried. Well, I don't have my headphones on yet, bro. Another dreamer's might. this okay my hair gets really tight when i wear hats like anyone's does so i i just like to take them off for a minute or two especially after just long hours and just move my hair keep things nice Beautiful. Three, two, one. Awesome. Good progress. We're already up to 40 and it has been 10 minutes. So, love to see it. Three, two, one.
I still find it so funny that I'm using such, like, early game items with the speeds that I'm getting. I just think it's funny. Awesome. I mean, I'll take it. I already said I really wanted one, so I'm glad I have it in advance for when I do get these items, but it's just taking so long to get these. Hoping soon. Hoping soon. We should be able to get them relatively uh, soon. I mean, we have so many upgraders lined up for this next setup that I'm going to be making. It'll be absolutely smooth. I'm not worried. And I'll get to take some of these items out as well. Like, I'm probably going to take uh, the cannons out because they just make everything annoying and they take up a lot of room. And instead, I'd rather just use, uh, like, ion fields uh, with, like, something else. I don't even need to turn this anymore. I don't know why I was. It's pointless. Here we go. Sorry, I had to check a message really quick. Big Bad Blaster is another one I will absolutely take. Um, in case of whatever reason I want the RNG out of it, or if I need the RNG, it's just good to have. Nice. We're, we're getting some good items now. I have some faith that Newtonium and Tesla will be soon. It is also extremely weird limiting myself so heavily. Like, no game passes, no fabled items. Do you know how weird it is to look at an inventory and just see basic items and rebirth items? Like, oh my god. Turn these. Let's go. But progress is crazy. We're almost through one of the few hard parts. We're going to stop at life S plus 10. That is the goal, is to get ourselves the final upgrader. As that is, in my opinion, completing the game. Um, at least to, like, regular standards, that is. Dude, if we don't get this soon enough, this is going to be bad. I mean, like, like I'm trying to get these items before the rebirth price hits, like, SP. Because um, then I'm going to have to start looping more ores fully. And it's just going to be a big time sink that I don't want to go through. We, we have things fairly quick right now. Just please give me one of these items. At this point, even Tesla would be nice. Um, just as it is, but... I don't know. I'm I'm just getting desperate now. Okay, three, two, one. Bro, Scorpium? We're not passing the bad RNG. It's just not happening. It would be a great way to just shorten the setup, take as many items out uh, that are shop items as possible, like Schrodinger's, uh, I mean, obviously, we'll still keep, like, our orbitals and our ion fields and stuff, but 
It'll just be a much more linear setup, and I don't have to worry about RNG anymore, and nor would I have to worry about looping, so I'd automatically be taking most of the time crunch um, away, as well as just getting more money out of the thing in the end, so... And I'll probably still keep a few Freons in the beginning of the setup, um, unless I simply just don't need them, but it wouldn't be a terrible idea as, uh, just in case all of the ores aren't to what they could be with a Freon, I might as well put, like, maybe four or five in, it won't hurt. Uh, nor would it kill too much time. It's just that I'm not at a point where that is a very good idea right now, so, I don't know. Just please, man. Okay. You didn't want to give me Dreamer's Mites for so long, but now that's like all you want to give, dude. Alright, look. I am manifesting right now. Right now. Newtonium. It's happening. You don't know it yet, but it is. Watch. Okay, you, you can't give me massive diamond mine for the first time when I start asking for a Newtonium. Please. You did not want to give me one of these for 46 rebirths. Why would you start now? Why would you start now? My rebirth price is getting concerningly high. No Tesla is going to be atrocious with this rebirth price. I'm, I mean, like, I could definitely add in more upgraders. It's just, like... Like, why? Um, not much of a point. I could take away one of these Schrodingers, though, if I really need to, and put in another Pizza Blaster. Or put in a Pizza Blaster. Um, I, I don't even have more than one, so. But, it's a possibility. So many of those ores are done. Good. Perfect. That does zero multiplier. Like, like zero. It does not give an upgrade to the ores. All right, let's get some of these. Oh, we'll get the gold crate soon. There's one over on the left. Figured I'd at least let the, uh, the ores loop. That's actually far away. We'll wait till after this rebirth. Hmm. Screw it, I'll just go. Maybe when I return to my base, I'll have better RNG. Not entirely sure, but it's possible. Just, just kind of throwing any hope I have at the wall and hoping it sticks right now. <laughs> we have not much we can do. We, we kind of just have to hope to get Newtonium and Tesla. I 
I mean, I actually will take a plasma scanner because I don't have one, and they are genuinely useful for early game, but... I don't know. It's it's not gonna do a whole lot for me right now. First sacrifice is gonna be so easy because I I'm just gonna have a permanent Tesla. So like right off the go we'll just have um, what is it? Easy, easy ways of rebirthing, just straight away, which is gonna be great. I'm, I'm trying to like strategize for when I get out of uh, first sacrifice. So like, or sorry, when I get out of non sac. So like, once I get into first sacrifice, uh, about what I want to do right away, and I'm not too sure. I'm actually not entirely sure how the I. Uh, how the item works anymore because it's been changed so many times throughout the years but we'll check <sighs> another quantum ore cleaner I'm just it's not it's not great right now I'll check uh, the sack Ooh. items in a sec okay let's see the ultimate sacrifice okay Resets machine tags, resets status effects, multiplies ore value by two and a half times, then adds 5,000 in cash. Um, ore can be looped until the ore is worth QD. So that's good. It's just very slow from what it seems like. Um, yeah, if ore is above 1 billion, it does times 50. Uh, if an ore's upgrade counter is zero, but if an ore is, um, if an ore is worth less than a QD, it does 0 0.05 times. So it's a very slow loop. So I don't think I'll be using it for looping. I think I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that it is a Tesla and that it does give that huge multiplier right away. So it'll make it very easy to get money uh, right after rebirthing because like remember I had to kind of just use uh, Basic items like a basic uh, iron mine and a basic furnace and just just wait for money to come in to get a, a cell furnace I don't have to do that anymore, which is really nice Yes, man Newtonium. Yes, beautiful. Okay One of these things is done Um, Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out We're gonna buy another one of these because I did not mean to do that. Okay. Um. What is this worth? It's worth billions. So. How many. Does it take? It's definitely going to be faster. I mean, it's billions compared to millions. So it's still it's still a better item. Wait, hold on. I did not consider this yet. What if we did Big Bertha? It's so much faster. Okay. So wait. What if we do this? Okay, so what I think, I think what I'll do now is, um, hold on. Let's buy some of these. Let's buy some ramps.
and then we can take all of this out finally. And then what I think I'll do is we'll make room for a few more. Okay, we need a couple more. Okay, this is the farthest we can go, so we'll just do one line of these. Actually, another thing I could do as well is, um... Hold on. We can get a centering conveyor. Let's move this here. Okay. One, two, three. Did we save? Yes, we did. Let's rebirth. So much better. And now... Now we just gotta wait for this to be done. And uh, once we get a Tesla, it is game over. It's gonna be so easy. in the server. It's definitely more waiting so far. I don't know why, though. Like... Oh, it's because these are definitely not upgrading all the way. Please just give me a Tesla. But... Dude, it could not have been more perfect. It could not have been more perfect. Okay, Freons are dead. And so are Schrodinger's. Okay. Um... I'm gonna hope that Schrodinger's and Freons are dead. So, how we'll do this is... Um, a centering conveyor. Okay, tracker. Astral. We'll put these in. Quantum, Wild Spore, Azure, Plasma Scanner. Uh, 
Um, I don't really feel like these do very much. I might as well just remove them. Okay. Wait. Let's get, um, our teleporters. This can go here. Ore tracker. Actually, no, we'll keep ore tracker in here so that way we could use it with Tesla. Okay. So let's get some ores in. some walls bro what is going on why did it just do that okay then this can go here Um, hmm. Okay, so honestly, what I think I'll do is one of these here. Uh, we'll get that large converter ramp over here. Both of these here. Actually, no, let's let's save this. Quantum ore cleaner, no. Alright, we just need more space. That's fine, I guess. It's as easy as just doing this. I'm out of conveyors. Okay. And then these items ramp what do we want to do what is it uh vortex that's what i was thinking of I'm not going to worry too much about the ion fields. I don't even think that's going to be like one of the the greatest items for me to be using. Uh, this could have a little gap to make sure all of those hit. Oh, this is already really efficient. We're going from billions to QN by the end of the first line. And then we'll do... Um, what's a small item I could use? I actually don't know if I have any left. Uh, that's fine, so I guess we'll just put one of these in just, just in case, as a precaution if it doesn't hit Plasma Scanner. Then, what we'll do is we'll put um, a centering conveyor here. We'll get two ramps, one like this and one like this. We'll get some military grade... move 
this over to here. This can be moved over to here. Um, I say we'll get rid of one of these. And then what we'll do is... Where do you have all of those placed? Okay. All right, I think we'll just do um, centering with Pizza Blaster for now. And that's probably fine. I don't think there's anything else important here that still needs to be placed. So we'll do Tesla. Um, we'll do a teleporter. And then... What we'll do is we'll get our Sage Redeemer. Put it here like this. And then every time some ores go through it, we'll swap it. So let's see the kind of money this is going to make. SP, it's, it's so... Oh my god, we're making Octillions. Oh, wait, we could remove this, so let's resave. It is so much better, bro. Okay. I mean, it's, it's definitely not the fastest setup, but I don't really care. It just works well. Okay, we could switch these now. And the nice thing is that I don't need to add too much to it for quite a while. I could just kind of leave it as it is. Alright, we already got our good ores on the way. Now you want to give me another Tesla? Okay. I honestly don't even know if it's worth having the portables at this point. I, I just don't think they're worth using. They don't do too much. It's still nice because it's technically like an additional times four or whatever, but... And like, how much is it really doing for the setup? All right, here we go. I mean, I'll try it without. And let's see. Because, like, it's going to be such an easy to replace thing, you know? Like, I'm not worried about it. It's going to be very easy to replace. And it's going to be such a time save, so I don't know. I already could think of another way to save time on this setup. I just need to see how this performs. Octillions, it's okay. So what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna load in the setup and we're gonna we're gonna make it even faster than it already is. Okay, so this stuff can go. It's useful, 
I'm just not really getting anything out of it right now. Okay, take this. Um... Okay, so what we'll do here is, uh, what life are some of these items? I'll just take this, this third, we'll put that here. And what we'll do as well is to speed this up. Right now we need uh, purple, sorry, or pink. Purchase, please. No, thank you. Okay, no more ion field. And then these can go, and what we'll do is we'll get two of these. And, um... A centering conveyor. Two flaming aura scanners. A Freon. Do I have another wild spore that I could just use? I do, so I'll just do that instead. Make sure it always, you know, removes the fire. Okay, remove this, save this. Dude, we're still getting octillions. Did it save? Yes, it did. It's so nice, bro. Much, much, much faster. I think we could do sub-minute rebirths now. It's definitely possible. If that's the case, then... Dude, it's gonna be very easy to, to make this challenge happen within a reasonable amount of time. And then once I, like, really get comfortable and I, I have more than enough items, I'll start skipping, prob probably. I, I just, I don't think I have enough items yet to where that's probably a good idea. But that would at least double the speed that I'm doing this at, so... It's not a bad idea to consider skipping in this challenge. But I don't know. I mean like like I might not I, I was I was going in debating not skipping. But like I don't know, we'll we'll see. It's not a bad idea not to skip, so it's just gonna make the challenge much longer, as that means it's at least a full run of the setup for every time I need to gain a life. Lightning Bolt is another item that I'll take because it's quite good and uh, it's easy to just throw in the setup. 
Even though it means that I need to click, that's fine. There's also other items for sure that I'm missing that I'm I'm not too sure what they are. So hoping I can get whatever those are soon, but we'll see. And I know I'm using two scanners. It's just I don't know, it's working, so I don't know. I'm just I'm feeling lazy. I could definitely remove plasma because flaming ore scanners are definitely working more. Um, but it's fine. Oh, perfect. Oh, dude, we got some crates nearby. I'll grab them. Yeah, this is going so much faster. I'm hoping for, like, dark magic or something as well soon. That would be ideal, is to get a better furnace. Alright, here we go. Nature's Grip. Eh, not really what I'm looking for. Oh, dude, we're doing, like, 45-ish second rebirths. Beautiful. Octillion, there we go. There we go. Alright, let a few of these ores go. And here we go. I like how this was like a decent solution, to be honest, for not having a, um, what is it? I like, I could go automatic, but it's for not having, um, a reversible conveyor. I definitely could do the automatic one. I'm just pretty lazy. There's just not much of a point. Like, it's, it's such an easy thing, and it also keeps... It, it makes it easier for the ability to focus and, like, not, not get bored because, well, it's just a more engaging setup by not, not doing auto. But I don't know. Like, maybe I will do an auto setup. I'm really not sure... Uh, okay, send these now. Octillion, there we go. Rebirth now. Okay, so we only need above a little bit over, like, I'd say 250 QD, and then I could get the setup. Nice. I wish it would tell you a uh, price, like, like, right here or something. Like, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be so nice. Little feature I might suggest that the game gets or something, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think we'll probably stay true to not skipping. I, I think in the end, I'd be happier not skipping in this challenge.
Yeah, I, I think I think that's the plan. It just makes things harder on myself anyways, but it'll be it'll be cooler to say I did it without skipping and without boxes and UC or game passes or anything and we just we just went for it. So might as well. Nice, another plasma. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Because you can use more than one. What other items do I really need to get uh, my hands on? Well, soon enough, it'll be items like Atomium and Blind Justice and stuff like that. So, who knows? Who knows? This works so great for right now, though. All right, here we go. Rebirth coming up. Solar Flare, that's the item that you realized I didn't have. Oh, wait, no, I do have Solar Flare. I was gonna say, it, it heard my conversation with myself and it's like, let's give you a Solar Flare. It did not cheer me up at all. Not that I need to be cheered up, but you get the point. It's going so well. Life 100 soon. Literally within probably about 20-ish minutes. Alright. Let's do this. This. Here we go. Another Sage Redeemer. Yeah, like I said, I'm at the point now where I'd, I'd like to get a better Furnace. y'all let's see life 70 not a crazy item but it's an item Here we go, good ores. Wild Spore, again, like it's an item I'm fine with because it can be evolved or something if I need, but still. Okay.
Rebirth. Wild Spore again. Not really upset. I don't even know what I'm looking for now. Like I'm just I'm just rebirthing to just keep making progress now. Okay, let's do this. Right. I'm just never gonna need it. The evolution isn't really useful, and... The normal one is far less. Okay, let's move this. Alright, uh, here we go, big rebirth. Solar Flare, come on, now you're just giving me, like, troll items. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner yet. See, now that you guys are getting an uncut, like, however many hour long video, I, I quite literally have to, like, do life things as well. Like, you know, be a hygienic and stuff. So, there will be very small breakpoints. Um, I'm hoping I can get to sacrifice, or, like, close to it, even halfway before, like, dinner time, so. Just, just for a... A concept of the pacing that's in my head right now. Nice. All right, few wars, and we'll remove this. SP, here we go. Another Newtonia mine is never, ever a bad thing, so. I think I have another Big Bertha as well. I do. So. It's saved? Yes, it is. I just wanted to be sure that it was. And then we should have SP ores very soon. 999QD exactly is wild. There we go. How fast are we rebirthing? So between like 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 it's like high forties, low fifties. I mean it's definitely fine. Um it would be faster if I used cannons or if I took out the flaming ore scanners, but I don't know. There's just no point. No point indeed. And then at some point soon, uh I don't know, lightning bolt might make an addition to the setup, as well as maybe um what is it? 44, not bad. New record time. Uh, maybe, what was it? There was something else I wanted to add it. Maybe a Big Bad Blaster, maybe uh, Scorching Heat, Green Tea Latte, probably not. 
to be honest. It's the problem for me is that it's a right turn. Um and I just don't have uses for most of those. But who knows? It's not a bad upgrade, so Maybe if there's nothing else, then I'll just move all of this, like, one or two units back and throw it in. Wouldn't really hurt. Yes, we got a slipstream. Nice. Just another, like, badge complete. Don't need it, but cool to have. Alright. Let's keep moving. Absolutely love the model for this one, by the way. All right, soon we will remove the blue teleporter again. It's also quite literally faster for me to do um, manual than it is for me to do a auto setup because uh, it doesn't have to go up the ramp or anything in order to get to the furnace, so it, it's just faster at getting to the furnace after it's done. So we're saving a little bit of time, but it also depends on how on top of things I am, but I've been pretty good about it, so not, excuse me, uh, not stressing too much. Once we get to first sack, though, we'll probably do auto. So that way I can, um, I can make an auto setup with triple Tesla or like double Tesla, but it, it goes through everything three times. You know what I mean? Okay, nice. I think I might make tacos for dinner. I think we like already like have the stuff for it, so I don't know. I don't like want to like order dinner if I don't have to, but we'll see. We will see. Oh, this can just be placed like now. Yep, there we go. SP ore on the way. Another massive diamond mine. I'm glad I'm not getting a lot of them. It's it's pretty occasional. Uh, let me go to the like the rebirth category. I kind of want to just scroll through it. All right, one sec. Let's let's get this rebirth, and then I'll start looking. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, anything I don't have yet? Atomium, dark magic, cooling chamber, Atlantic monolith. Gate of Eclipse, all of those are great. Phase Refiner would actually be pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'll need Morning Stars at all. Um, Symmetrium, Sporist. We definitely have a couple items to get, uh, albeit I can't get most of those now. Uh, most of those items I mentioned are around like generally life 100. Um, some of the first ones that I mentioned, so we should be able to start getting them at least soon. It'll just make this setup so much better. Like, for instance, um, okay, Phase Refiner is a life 200 item, Gate of Eclipse is a 100, Atlantic is a 100, Cooling Chamber is a 100, uh, so is Dark Magic and Atomium, as well as Toxic Waste, but I don't plan on using that. Maybe like after the Tesla or something, that's fine. But I don't know. 
I just generally don't like using the item. It doesn't feel good to use, and it causes more issues oftentimes than anything else. Alright, rebirth soon. Ancient Temple, it's not a bad item. I just already have one in use, so I'm not really, not really worried about it. 15 more lives, and then we're we're done with arguably the hardest hundred of the game. QN, QD, SP, here we go. Lightning Bolt, Burst Refiner, cool stuff. Nothing really of use right now. But yeah, uh, Lightning Bolt and Dark Magic and a lot of these other ones are just going to be great for me. And then Blind Justice will also be really, really nice. That's one of the items I'm hoping to get relatively quick into Life 100, so that way, um, just generally my moneymaker is better. And then also an Atomium mine would be phenomenal, um, as ore value is so much higher than Newtonium. So just the setup becomes automatically just like, I think it's like roughly 10 to like 50 times better. So I don't know. Righteous Will, not bad, I'll take it. Kind of pointless though, because I'm not using a resetting, and even then it's pretty much pointless. We just gotta push through, get to life 100 as fast as possible. Because none of this is necessarily um, difficult anymore. I've got such a good setup. Okay, yep, there we go. Nice. 88, almost there. Yeah, skips would definitely speed this up at a certain point. Like, once you just know that you have enough items to, um, to complete it without worrying about your rebirth price in the future, it's just so easy. But I'm not bothering with, uh, evolutions and fusions and all that stuff like i'm, I'm just kind of just going for this because it's it's quite easy to be honest um and most of the time i just i don't need to worry about it another righteous will again not really worrying it's uh we're, we we i think we quite literally have every pre-life 100 item uh, at least all of the ones that I need. Like, I don't have, like, Venom Shank or anything, but that's fine. I actually wouldn't mind getting Venom Shank because it'll speed me up, but it's it's not a necessity. It'll just make getting boxes easier and stuff. I'll grab these. Awesome. And then head over here, rebirth right away. Here we go, unium. The money come in. There we go, nice. It's just those uh, items over here that take a decent amount of money to get. At least I know that I could at least load in the setup and like get the ores going while that second unium ore drops if I need to, so like I'm not wasting a ton of time. Alright, that's enough ores. God. It's it's just gonna be first sack in getting to there that's sorry, it's gonna be getting to first sack that takes so long. After that though, like it's essentially it's essentially like starting the game at like life hundred. Not necessarily, but it, that's about how easy it actually feels. Nice. 
Nice. All of the ores made it in time. I didn't I didn't think those didn't spawn. I was surprised. Okay. Uh let's get some of these in. There we go. Nice. Ancient temple again. And then load. Nice. go I was wondering why a pulsar was in my inventory like I I didn't buy one and the one I have is placed on my vase that was weird all the inventory like visual bugs that come with loadouts are pretty funky like I just think it's funny that so many times it'll like say you have items in your inventory that you just don't I also love that everybody uh, in the comments found the decimal glitch funny in uh, the last video that I uploaded, which is literally just um, it playing the decimal sound. It points where you don't get a decimal because I think it's like trying to award you a decimal, but you're not high enough life. So like it plays the sound, but you just get a regular item instead. Um... It's, it's so weird, but it's so funny. It just, it's like really random and it catches you off guard a lot. Oh my God. Imagine how much faster this would be with all of the like fabled items and like code items and oh my God, it'd be, I think we'd probably be life 300 at this point, if not farther. Well, it took us roughly three and a half hours to get to life 100. Uh, the other hundreds will not take three and a half hours to do, thankfully. Another Newtonia mine. mine, love to see it. Uh, I don't really have a use for it. I don't think I'm gonna bother putting it in the setup. Uh, just really don't need to. And then, I don't know. I, I, think, I think we're we're already much, much faster now. I think I'm going to take the, uh, this, this out of the setup. It's, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. I think what I'll do instead is, um, let's move all of this here really quick. Let's take this. Okay, so we'll do that, and then, uh, I don't want to put this in yet, and I don't really have a use for the other ones. Oh, these need to be flaming, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that. Yeah, I don't know, I think, I think this is probably just fine as it is. It's just faster in the end. Let's try it out. All right. These here. 
Because, like, I've already got plasma going, so I don't know. I might put a, a second plasma in, though. No, we're still getting octillions. I don't even need to. Wait, did I save? Yes, I did. Unium is not bad. I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to think of ways to, to shorten this as much as possible. It's already extremely short, though. And now it's even faster, now that I don't have a conveyor. Two flaming scanners. Oh, wait, crap. We forgot the, uh, the teleporter. That's fine. Uh, a conveyor, two flaming scanners, and then a wild spore, just for that. And now, um... This is also just a little bit faster, because this conveyor is really, really quick, and uh, it just drops straight into the teleporter without having to land on another conveyor. Not that there was much of, like, a speed loss, but it is still just faster. Let's do this really quick. Did I remove that? I did. So this, this, put this, put this. Make sure it's saved. It is rebirth. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'd like to see how fast of a rebirth I can get. Hoping for sub 40. If I can get in the 30s, this is gonna go great. Very close. Very close. We have officially hit 40 seconds. So, works with me. Let's see, sub 40. Yes, it is possible, sub 40 already. And we are now about to hit life 100. Finally, it has taken roughly three hours and 20 minutes, give or take. Um, wow, we're we're getting there though. It's, it's gonna take a long time to do this challenge, but we're getting there. Okay, um... And then I, I could just incorporate cannons if I really want this to go fast. You know what, I actually might try that out. Now, th now that I'm life 100, I, I, think, I think I could try a cannon. Let's, let's see how fast it goes. Um... And I'm also just, a, you know, like, curious to see efficiency-wise how things would go. Um, but then there's also things like clockwork, so I don't know. Eh, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just forget about it. At some point, once, once I have things a little better organized, sure. I also just wouldn't mind like trying like a collider setup or something either. It's just. Um, no point in the current moment. I'm also glad that I'm saving, um, what is it? Overlord device, I guess. Um, at least because of it's, like, a daily item. And it's, it's kind of being saved for later. Um, however, if I get one now, because it's currently 5pm, I could get another one at 7. Which I might save for the the next sacrifice as it'll be incredibly useful so i don't know i'm i might get one i know i said i wasn't planning on it but i i know for a fact that i could do it quickly um and just like with the right items like i, I just would loop some of these like i could definitely loop um 
Freons to like rough SP. You know, I think we'll do that. Let's do that. Let's let's get ourselves an Overlord device really quick. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's not rebirth yet. Okay, and then let's just uh, withdraw, load. Let's remove this. Okay, now this is gonna be um, a little annoying. So we're gonna get, do we even have enough? No, we don't, okay. Okay, we're not gonna give up on this like just yet. We just need more ores. So we'll, we'll send some of these in. Like, I'm just trying to think, because, like, me removing some of this could be the reason, or, like, like me putting an Overlord could be the reason I can remove some of these items, or just not need as many items, so, I don't know. Like, I could definitely remove Pizza Blaster or something, um, and it would still be a better setup. Okay, send, keep sending, keep sending... possible keep going can we get one more with the current ores yes we can can we get another no we can't okay so now what we'll do is this kill the ores uh we need some Elevators. Let's put both of these farther away. Let's get the tracker. And then we'll put a gate. Uh, a half conveyor. And then we'll just get some centering conveyors. And we're just gonna let this loop. And then we'll do Alright, this is going to take a little while, but we'll wait. In the meantime, let's move these. I think we have enough ores. Now, let's let's see what other items can be put in. Um, I don't care enough for steamers. I don't care for any RNG items. Uh, we'll do... Magma Fire. Because it's just good. Um, and I'll do one mini upgrader. So we need this, and then we need this. Sweet. And then here. Nice. Okay, this this should be fine. 
Oh, I could also put in um, a lightning bolt. I might as well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was just thinking, and I was like, I might as well just get Overlord because uh, it's going to be such a important item to have, and I can get another one in two hours, so by that point, it'll be long, long into the night when I finally get to First Sacrifice, and then it is a matter of how do I want to approach getting the, um, the next one, so I don't know. It's, uh, it's whatever. It'll work. These are all at QD and QN right now, so we're just we're just stuck waiting for two more suffix. Not long. Not long at all. Shouldn't take too long to get there either. These go at 70% up, so not far from double. Not far at all. I'd say probably another two minutes. But it's like it's just nice because I I now don't need to waste space on like another plasma like I was suggesting or lightning bolt and then I could be lazy and I don't have to charge it uh, stuff like that it's just it's nice Overlord will just do all of the heavy lifting for me given it's a times ten and it's a total of a times a hundred uh, when you use a Tesla so it's incredible. Where's our SX ores? There it is. We have an SX ore finally. Now we just gotta wait. Alright, most of these are getting to SX now. Like 5SX... 20SX. So these are all low SX right now. We're, we're getting to the 100 mark. Yep, there we go. Now they're starting to get done. Alright, we'll wait another minute. All right, I'd say most of these are fine. All right, just making sure it was on all the way. Let's put this in. Let's power up our lightning bolt. Nanillions already. That's a good sign. It's a great sign, actually. And then we could have just gotten, like, a better furnace, but... Too lazy. I don't think it matters. I feel like this is guaranteed DD. I'd be very upset if it's not. Yeah, there we go. DD. There's an Overlord device, baby. Extremely easy. Not a challenge at all. And then it's as simple as this right now. Like, why why use the item if I don't have to, you know what I mean? Because the setup is already really strong. So, might as well just take one item with a slower conveyor out and put this in and then when I need it I'll just put it back yes man blind justice you exactly you just knew what I wanted you just knew what I wanted I got it so early and it's a it's a rare item like it's not extremely rare but it's definitely one of the rarer items nice this can be deleted Okay, that was the top one, just being extra sure. Okay, we can send these. 
Let's see what the, the ore values are looking like now. It's definitely roughly the same. Perfect. Exactly the combo that I wanted to use. It's so much more efficient, too. Like, we go straight to QN almost. Compared to having to fight for, like, low QD sometimes, it's, it's a lot less annoying. We just optimized all of this so well. I'm so happy. Alright. Let's do this. Here we go. Good ores. Sinister. I mean, I could loop it and get a true overlord if I want. I don't know. How are we feeling? Let's see. Let's see what the item does. Oh, so it has a ch it has a thirty percent chance of square rooting any uh the value of any ore that goes through it and could only upgrade a DTG. Um, so, like, you technically can get it and use it for it, but it's it's kind of pointless. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I don't need a true overlord. It's kind of pointless to waste the time on it. I was kind of curious on how well it would have been able to do that, though. It seems like we have to wait a little bit longer for that first ore to drop now, because Newtonium starts out slower, but... We don't have to wait as long for all of the items or the ability to afford them. So, I don't know. I mean, like, I think it's more efficient either way. We're, we're probably losing, like, one second due to not using Unium anymore. Not enough to where it really matters. Atlantic Mon... Bro. We're just getting everything that we need all of these are going to be so useful for when my rebirth price just like skyrockets and i just need to start adding in more items okay do this I'm going to do the math in a second um, to see some things. All right, let's open a calculator. So there are 3,600 seconds. So let's say I am rebirthing at a consistent 40 seconds. We could do uh, 3,600 divided by 40. It's 90 rebirths an hour. Um, okay. So this is this is gonna take a while either way, yeah. Without skipping. I think if I did try though to put in a collider, it would drastically speed all of this up. I actually have an idea I wanna try. I wanna try doing that. We like we, we do need to speed up this challenge if we're if we're gonna go for it. Not even that like we need to speed it up. It would just be so helpful. But we could do this. Um, this item is fine. Yup, yup, yup. Let's move all of these back by like one. 
Let's put this here. And then if we need to move it, we will. That's fine. Yeah, we will. So... Tracker can go... Right here. Here's these. Let's replace quantum and this. And then we'll do elevator. That's fine. Okay, collider. Oh, that is just not consistent at all. Hmm. I mean, I could just try moving this over to give myself a little bit more space. Because, like, at the end of the day, it is just going to be faster the more of these that I have. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's it as far as items go. I can't think of anything else. This should definitely be faster, though, so. Let's see. If we could double our rebirth speed or something, that'd be crazy. Oh, this could be so fast. Wait, hold on. This could be very fast. Sub 30. That is exactly what I wanted. So that means we could get 120 lives an hour. Love to see it. Eternal Journey, another item I don't have. Nice. Love to see this. Yes, man. Awesome. All right, now we're just we're just on the grind, I guess. 120 lives an hour is possible now. So improvements we've we've optimized we've optimized the setup and we are now just like ready to start the grind again.
Okay, let's send the ores through. Yes, cooling chamber. Love to see it. Just more good items that we haven't had yet. Okay, so some things to know about the new items we've been getting. Uh, let's rebirth first, hold on. Because I'm, I'm just taking a look at some of these to just make sure I know exactly how to use everything to the best of my ability. Okay, so uh, Blind Justice is just a self earnest. Uh, cooling Chamber upgrades normal ore by times seven. Flaming ores get extinguished and a times 11 uh, item can overheat. So, I'll probably just use it normally, um, however, it is good that I can use it kind of like a Freon, so. Yes, man, Atomium, love to see it. Uh, this just made my setup so much better than it already was. Um, I'd say for now, we'll put it in uh, the Moneymaker. Okay, so we need uh, Blind Justice and Atomium, just so that way we can get money faster. And it's so much better too, oh my god. Yeah, the, the setup is going to be better once it's all Atomium. Uh, Atlantic Monolith is times four, makes them fireproof. Isn't that good though for Scorching Heat? Uh, we'll upgrade fireproof or flaming ores by times five. Okay, so it is really good for that. Okay. No, please give me the ores. Thank you. Dark magic. Finally, we have a better furnace. Oh my god. Oh, that's like instant. Okay, wait. So now... Dark magic. Oh my god, we're just making this setup so good. It's so nice. Okay, we did save number two, yes. Okay, get some ores in. Change it. Turn it on. Okay, let's move this. Dude, 27 seconds, man. Love to see it. Yeah, it's good to know that uh, Atlantic and uh, Scorching will work well together. Because they're both actually pretty decent items. Okay, let's send. Awesome. Oh my god, we're just... It, progress is so nice. It would be nice if I 
was using some of the stuff on both of these, but it's okay. Actually, I might have an idea after this to make the setup even faster, but we'll see. What if we did this? So let's do this, layout, delete, layout, save. Did it save? Yes, it did. Let's rebirth. Load this, load this. We're almost down to 20 seconds now. Oh my god. It'd be even faster if I don't use these. I'm debating if I want to switch to Atlantic and Searing. Or not Searing, Scorching. This is an incredible setup. We absolutely nailed this. Yeah, I would definitely make more if I just stopped using these. Uh, what is green tea latte? Green tea latte is a times five, which is pretty good. And um, what's the chamber? Vortex chamber is also times five. Uh, Atlantic is... It's only a times four, so we would lose that, that extra times one, but I, I don't think it would be of any concern by any means. It would make the setup faster. It is true. I think I think we're going to prioritize speed here. Uh, I'm going to try this. Okay, so this can all be moved here, thankfully. Um, and then this... We could do... Um... Atlantic. And Scorching. Wait, hold on. Will upgrade fireproof or flaming ores. So it still won't work. Never mind. Okay, well, that's fine. It's, it's like a variant of fireproof, so it applies like a fireproof status temporarily, 
but like it's not the actual fireproof one so it doesn't count and it dies is my understanding of what's going on so it's okay uh i wished they worked together unfortunately they don't but it is fine the setup is still crazy good as it is all we need now is more Atomia Mines to keep making this even uh, stronger. And who knows, maybe maybe over time we could just start taking some of those items out. Like, um, like Vortex and stuff. It just goes so fast. Those are definitely the slowest parts of the setup, though, so it's like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of whatever I could do to get rid of it, but this is going extremely well. I'm trying to get rid of Vortex Chamber, not give myself another better. Alright, four hours in, roughly 150 lives. Not too bad. Definitely not as fast as it could be. I just, just I don't know. Like I like I said, I have no plan. We're we're just coming up with stuff, uh, which is just as much fun. Uh, I I honestly preferred it this way. I think if I like planned this all out, it would have felt too much like trying to like speed run this. I'm just trying to do this. I'm not like stressing about it. It's just it's just something I've wanted to say that I've done for a long time. So I figured I'd just sit down and do it. This is not planned though. And there were a lot of things that we didn't do, like use colliders for a while. So like, I don't know. I misplaced that, that's okay. Okay, right away, let's, let's go. We're getting a bunch of new items, though. We managed to get Atlantic and uh, Blind Justice and stuff really early, which is good. Twenty-two seconds, nice. I think again, though, uh, if there's anything I'm gonna evolve, it's probably gonna be Tesla. Yes, Gate of Eclipse, love to see it. Okay, a few of these ores send. All right, let's go. Activate this for a sec, and then... Another Gate of Eclipse, I love to see it. Toxic waste. Uh, surprised it took me. Actually, no, I'm kind of not. That's that's a pretty fair life to get one. Well, now assuming I don't know an average of a 25 second rebirth, we will. We'll we'll do the math in a sec to figure out how many rebirths we could do in an hour. Okay, so. Three six zero zero. Let me make sure I do this. Divided by Oh, it just did not load, unfortunately. There we go. Divided by, I don't know, I'd say 25 to be reasonable. 144, 144 rebirths an hour. Um, what is it? 1,000 minus 139 equals divided by 144. 
It'll take me roughly six hours from now. Okay, and then I could just rebirth now. Venom Shank. Oh, finally, yay. Oh my god, I could go faster. Yes, finally. Okay. Get a couple ores in. Send. Yeah, so we, we got a long way to go, but we're getting there. We've, like, we've officially got, like, our main grind setup done. And then as we get more items, it'll probably only become faster because I'll be able to get rid of this. And this takes a while. Mostly because of green tea latte, but it's okay. And then there simply just aren't many better, like, furnaces to use right now. I wouldn't mind a different furnace or, like, a better furnace. Uh, like, Timeless Enhancement might be pretty good, to be honest. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for because it's large and it does have just a generally decent multiplier of around times 30. Uh, but it can be higher. So, who knows. Uh, what's, what's the, like, concept look like? Uh, 80 for up to one minute. Um, oh, so it would be great for this because the longer the ore is, um, alive, the worse it becomes. So, yeah, timeless, timeless enhancement would be good. I guess that's the item we're chasing next, is Timeless Enhancement. Anguish would also be pretty good for just like a general sell. I just don't, oh nice, wait, that's really good. Yeah, timeless would be great though. Just just a better furnace in general. Um, and is at least it's not like Guardian of the Gate or something that's just extremely pointless to use. But it's also not something like Dark Magic that requires to be powered because it just makes it a lot harder to um to rebirth as the the ores enter the furnace. So we're just trying to save as much time as possible right now. And that might not be the greatest idea. Okay. Few ores, okay. Oh, wait. Nice, that was quick. We recovered that well. Another sinister, nice. Boom. 
And I'm not gonna be evolving pizza into a uh, pizza bombarder. It's just so large of an item, but it is a good multi, I think. I think it's like a 150, I, I can't remember. That might be like absurdly generous, by the way. I, I don't remember exactly what it is. It could be like really mid. I remember it being decent though, it's just too large. Or no, I think that was Azure, that's 150. I don't remember. The Azure um, evolution that's like super strong, I don't know. Nice, like right on time. Dude, our average rebirth is roughly 25, if not 24, so. Good stuff. this there we go awesome we're making progress quick love to see it right now i'm just on the hunt for new items uh that timeless enhancement will be so useful i cannot wait for it it looks like it walls off the uh, the furnace a little bit more too, so we won't have ores flying out as much, which is again just it's just useful. That's so nice, bro. All right, get ready to do this. Couple ores, move it, and get ready to rebirth. Righteous will not useful anymore. I've already got so much of that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I already have Venom Shank, I have Righteous. I don't really need the the decoration items anymore. Okay. Let's send these. Ambrosia, that's like the worst one you could have given me. I mean, like, it's still, like, a decent furnace, but it wants the ore to be alive for a long time, where Timeless Enhancement wants the ore to be alive for short. And given my setup is a sub-minute setup, it's a times 80, which is really good. And that, that essentially makes it, like, on par with, like, uh, Swordmaster Spirit. Just, just like, a really, really easy-to-use item, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for uh, convenience, if that makes sense. That's why items like Quantum are great, Overlord is great, uh, Wild Spore is great. Like, all of these are just great items because they're simple. They don't take a lot of effort, you know? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't have to worry about them too much. The less I have to think about how to use an item, the better it is, in a, in a way. It makes it easier to implement, to just throw in the end of the setup, uh, if I need more money, and things should just work. Move this. Dude, we have barely gotten massive diamond mines. It's actually crazy how little of them we have. I don't understand it. The RNG has been really good as far as massive diamond mines go. I didn't realize it's been like 100 lives since my last one. Alright, timeless enhancement soon, please. I might just go back to Sage Redeemer at a certain point, though. 
Like, even if the upgrade is worse, uh, I'm not even powering this anymore, so A, I, I don't think that's the case. And, um, it's just so easy. Like, again, we're just looking for convenience, especially with a furnace. I don't want a furnace that needs any, like, crazy gimmick or anything that needs to be clicked. It's just... The gimmick essentially just makes it better for my specific situation, just by default, which is good. Okay. Another Ambrosia. I mean, it's not disappointing. It's just that I'm not going to use it. I mean, what is... What is Ambrosia? Um... Zero to one minute is a times 30. So it's, it's like, roughly just about here. Um... I mean, like, I guess I'll use it. Like, I might as well. Grand Prism is crazy. But this this would be a better furnace because it, it walls off like this, so I don't know. I, I might just keep keep using it. We'll see. Okay. This here. Yeah, so many more ores survive. It's so much nicer. God damn. Okay, soon hit life 170. Not bad. I'm enjoying the pacing we're working at so far. Behemoth Blossom, Massive Diamond Mine. Sawmill. Floors. Now it's kind of throwing me off a little bit though with Ambrosia because the ores literally like like hit the wall and then bounce back through the Tesla. So I keep seeing the red and I think that good ores are going through and then I should start clicking the rebirth button, but that's not the case. You're just hitting the Tesla twice, which is fine. I mean, I should be clicking anyways at a certain point, but it's a, it's a little confusing at times. All right, soon, soon we'll be at 200, finally. Nice, another Atomium.
Here we go. Dark magic, not what I'm trying to use. I just got rid of it. Take off the headphones for a sec. Take off the hat as well for a minute. Catalyst, okay. Tesla, we're just getting repeats now. It's going to be that way for most of the rest of uh, the first thousand. Because we've kind of gotten most of the things that the game actually has to offer. I think we're missing things like Fracture, uh, Timeless, Guardian of the Gate, stuff like that. Uh, and then eventually we'll start getting uh, new stuff like Sporest, but... Sorry, I was responding to a couple DMs. I still gotta do like a few things. <laughs> like, like I said, um, some some stuff like this. Or uh, sorry, uh, some 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 iron stuff. Just gotta take care of things. Someone wanted to see all my reborns, so we're gonna take a quick picture for them. works probably not I don't know I'd be very surprised if this actually works yeah I didn't think so that was just a mistake
Soon 200. Soon 200. Come on. So close to 200. I can't wait. Getting there, guys. We're getting there. Might. Mm. It's kind of pointless. Rip. Yeah, this is just going to be the point where, like, most of the items we get now just aren't going to do anything for us, like, at all.
You're trying to tell me that manual is slower than auto, but like, like they're trying to tell me to use a cannon with like ions and replicators, so that way we can make this setup auto, but also um, not have it use like the ramps because those are slow. But I'm also trying to make the point that the ore quite literally goes straight into the teleporter and then goes straight into the furnace. Like it is as fast as it can be, even if I had a cannon here it just like the ore would have to travel more is the point um nice 200 well 201 now but Rebirth. 204. We're, we're getting there. It's going to take a while. I mean, like, I'm trying to think. Because, like, they made a point that I could use ion fields and stuff in, like, the cannon resetter auto thing. Um, and then I wouldn't have to do any of these swaps. However, um, like, it's nice to get Vortex twice. But I, I could take it out, and as well as, um, take out, I don't know, it's just like, I'm taking a lot, I'm t I'd be taking out two pretty good upgrades, I mean, both of these are times five, um, so that's a times five, times five, so a times 25, then, again, so, I don't know, like, I, I would be taking that out. But at the end of the day, I think it would be faster. But it's like, I don't know. Uh, th this setup is like pretty future proof, which is another really nice thing. So, I don't know. They're telling me, though, that um, it would allow the setup to be uh, like sub like 12 ish. And I don't know how that would be the case. Um, I mean, maybe it's possible. Like, I could definitely, like, experiment with it. Um... Let's try something. I, I, I just wanna, I wanna do a, a, like, a small experimenting phase right now. Okay, what items could I use here? I could use... Um, I could use Ancient, I could use Monolith. For sure, as two. And then I could put a gate here. No, we need one of these gates. Okay, well, that is also a big problem with Monolith, from what it looks like, is the way the ores have to go through it. But I think it's okay. Um, and then we'll put this here.
and then So what we could do now is we could get some replicators. We could get a cannon. any problems and then what we'll do is uh we could put a conveyor here just to, to help make sure this works as well as it needs to um we could get we get two walls for like segments at least and do this then Vortex. I wonder, I wonder, I do. And then we could do a ramp. I'm very curious. some conveyors here then and then we can put ion fields here Which would be a crazy thing to do Okay, and then I could put the teleporters here. And then I'm gonna time it. Okay, uh, stopwatch, reset. Until I get millions. It is much faster. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Maybe you got a point. I tried it with colliders, to be fair, not cannons.
Dude, 16. It's sub 20. It's crazy. I'm just like telling them how it works. Timeless, yes. I mean, can I fit it? No, I can't. No point. We we have something that works so well, I do not want to change it. Well, dudes, we got a sub-20 setup already. Oh, we were supposed to get a decimal, that's crazy. See, I told you guys, it, it's a real bug. It's it's not a consistent, like, 15-ish, it's, it's more like a consistent sub-20, which is still great compared to what I was doing. We just shaved, like, between, like, six to ten seconds it really kind of depends um so still still good love to see it um so now that means what hold on let's do another rebirth get some money okay so now i know three six zero zero i say an average of 17 you could do 200 lives an hour roughly um and then that's uh wait what was that 3600 zero, zero divided by 17 211 Okay, nice. So we have 1,000 minus 218 equals divided by 211. Okay, that took us down to like under four hours left for, for sack. So, beautiful. I'm hoping the rebirth price does not go up by this, uh, enough by this point. Like, I'm hoping I could just ride the rest out with this setup. But it is auto now, which is a lot faster, I guess. I don't know. Like, like technically, yes, manual is faster. Like, I am right. It's just... It's that it's going straight in that makes it faster with manual. Now, though, it's just that I have double colliders. So, it's, it's comparably the same. And I think it's faster, not because of the double colliders, but it's also because this is now a straight line, which is good. And it's not consistent, but it's it's a consistent setup. It's generally, it's always sub-20. It's consistent enough to where, like, I don't have, like... I don't have rebirths where it takes me, like, 40 seconds. It's not that level of inconsistent. It's It's good, which is great. Sorry, I thought, thought someone was home. I've been home alone for a while, so.
There we go. I think it's hilarious that this scuffed setup works as well as it does. I'm very surprised. Looking at the setup, trying to think of what else to change. I mean, I think I think it's just fine. Like I'm also trying to spend less time working on it and just improving it because that also takes so much time. Um, I don't know. I I think I think actually we might be able to just run with this until sacrifice, which would be great because it works very well. Fifteen seconds is crazy, dude. I can't wait for dinner. I don't know what time I'm going to eat. It's already like 6 p.m., so we'll see. really don't think of anything that needs to change like I like I'd like to change it to you know more you know, like future proof it for money I could definitely put timeless enhancement in it's just that right now not much of a point um I don't want to mess with the colliders at all they're so consistent with how they are another decimal that's crazy um I don't want to mess with the colliders though. They're so consistent. I, d I don't really want to mess with any of this. It's kind of crazy. Just it it just works. I don't know how. Um, I didn't expect it to. I didn't even expect that it would be faster once I put in the the auto. It was really weird. I expected it would have been slower, or at least like a similar speed with the, just a worse money. But I don't know. It's it's just oddly working. 
And I'm also glad that it's not hard to get Nanillions. So like, even if I do have to sit for a few ores later on, like that's it. And that'll just be for that last stretch of rebirths probably. Uh, because right now we're just on that slow SP grind, soon to be Octillions and eventually, hopefully not Nanillions. Because it's harder to do Nanillions than any of the others. But this is incredibly easy so far, so not too worried. We're about to be a quarter of the way there. And uh, the next three quarters are going to be the easiest and by far the fastest. So, And then soon will be daily reset so I could get a daily gift again. I'm going to save the daily gift for um, life one probably or for my second sack for when I first get to second sack because I'm going to have nothing again and I'm going to have to do all of those 10 lives again, which is probably going to take about an hour again. So I don't know. We're figuring it out. We're just trying to piece together a, like a plan in our head. So that way, once we do get there, it's not too miserable. Um, the only way I could probably put Timeless in is if I switch Tesla to a uh, Refuter, but I don't really care enough and I'm going to lose the item anyways, so I don't really know if I want to give up the 100k RP for it. Like, I, I think I'm just rocking with how this is. And then once first sack hits, it's it's so free. Like, I think first sack to second sack might be like a, like a four hour thing, dude. Because I, I only need one upgrade line and then a, a resetter line. So, like, I don't know. It's going to be so easy, though. I'm just going to need one line. The first, like, 100 lives, again, are going to be a little rough. And then everything after is so free. And I'm just going to make the fastest setup I possibly can for it. Sage Redeemer. Just, just more items. Alright, we are officially a quarter of the way there. So nice. It has been about five hours. Not too bad. Sorry, I was texting my mother. We're, we're just talking about food. Nobody knows what they want right now, so. Because they're not home, so they're like debating if they want to pick up food. So, I don't know. We're, we're figuring it out. It just didn't work, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I'd say it like life 300. Uh, I'm probably going to take five and go make food. I'm, I don't even think I'm going to bother editing out those five minutes. I think I'm I'm just going to leave it in. Might as well. Let everyone just enjoy the vibes for a few. The less that I have to cut the video, um, the better I'm going to feel. So I'll just do it as fast as I can. I 
I do need some food though, otherwise this is going to become miserable at a certain point. Like the, la the, like the last thing you guys have seen me eat was drinking this cup of coffee. And that was hours ago, <laughs> quite literally hours ago. And uh, yeah, I have not had anything since. So we'll probably like grab a soda. I'm gonna make some tacos. All of it's like there because we had leftovers, so. I'm gonna make some food, come back with a plate of tacos and just keep grinding. Oh shit, we could rebirth. Nice. It's so fast. I sometimes I, I like I look up and I'm like waiting. Like, am I gonna be able to rebirth? And then I, I look up and I've had the money to rebirth for a while. It's so much faster than I ever would expected uh, would have expected to be rebirthing at this time. Cause like usually like I'm not someone who usually uses colliders and stuff at early game because I, I it's, it's a it's inconsistent as hell. Uh, at least most of the time, and B, it's a lot to set up, and I don't fully understand how to make them super well. I know there's some people that could make, like, some of the fastest early game collider setups. Like, I'm talking, like, sub-10 seconds. It's just, like, I'm doing this without any fables and exotics and stuff, so it's a lot harder to do that, and I'm not even opening boxes. Like, like we're not even giving ourselves the luxury... Hey, I'm Morningstar. We're not giving ourselves the luxury of, um... What is it? Using box items, uh, like even green and orange teleporter set or triple coal mine or reversible conveyor. Like we're giving ourselves nothing. We're just going for the free to play experience. And um, it's it's not too bad. Truth, truthfully, it's not too bad. I would have expected like minute long rebirths for every rebirth. It would have taken so many hours to do this but uh it's it's gonna it's gonna be a lot easier now even then i mean like i'm i'm prepared i expected worse so it only makes it easier now that that's not what's actually happening but we've been here a while i mean even just just to play a game for this many hours is it's tough sometimes. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes I could sit and play a game for five hours like this just regularly. It's just, um, it's a different approach to the game and I'm also doing it in one go. So like there is, there is kind of the idea that like I don't want to leave and like walk away or take a break or anything. So I don't know. Like it, it comes with its own like weird challenge, but um, honestly it's, it's more just the time consuming parts uh like getting between i'd say 250 or even 200 and a uh, thousand is essentially the same thing um it's just how well does your setup work try to upgrade or work on your setup as little as possible so you could uh, you could essentially focus entirely on um just just getting there as fast as possible Something I'm also wondering, because of uh, money reasons, is, well, if these hit the same height, I might just use them here. It might not be a bad idea to do. 
uh, the ion fields and move them from after the Tesla to before the Tesla so I could get more money out of the setup. Um, what do what do ion fields do? Max 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 upgrade. Okay, resulting in a uh, total of 14.58 times. I mean, it's very good. It would be a good item to have because um, 14.58 times 14.58 is 212. So... It's not bad. It would be useful. Um, I could definitely try it really quick. Oh, that just does not work, actually. Never mind. Um, what else? I mean, I don't even have portables or anything. Like, I, like I could use like like regular portable or advancers, but um, it's kind of pointless. Ooh, dragon glass, very good. Um, useful, but I don't want to have to do any clicking. It's nice that the setup is completely automated at the moment. very excited for dinner. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything since this morning, and I had a very, very, very light breakfast. So, we shall see how this goes. a blaster I mean if I was evolving it it would be a little better for me but hmm I don't know I'm not planning on evolving any items simply because it's a waste of RP and I don't feel like RP farming as I feel like it's more of a waste of time than it would uh, in the end actually do anything for me Maybe Tesla Refuter, maybe, like, Deadly Spore, um, but otherwise, no, I just don't see a point. Or, like, Astral Setter. But honestly, I, th I think we've just got this down. Imagine how much faster this would be with skips, though. Oh, my God. Like, now? Like, now that I'm at the point where it's just the same thing, it's, like, it would be it would be ridiculously fast in comparison. Again, though, once first sack is obtained, it's, it's just GG's. It'll, it'll be a matter of a few hours until we're done. At least until getting to second sack. And then actually getting the upgrader is probably gonna at least take an hour if 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 that. Um that 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 might be a little generous. Oops, I didn't load. Um it might be a little generous. It depends on the rebirth items I get. Like if I just get massive diamond mine every time, then it's gonna be a little painful to get there, but we will be okay. We're gonna be so close at that point that it won't even matter. It's just gonna be a matter of get the item and be free. For me, that'll mean editing this video uh, in the sense of editing the intro and uh, maybe like the one or two clips I might actually have to take out 
Um, I'm hoping not though. I'm hoping we could literally just do this in one go and I don't have to edit anything other than the intro to the video because it's going to take so long to render the video. And even then I'm going to have to upload it to YouTube and that's going to kill my internet for plenty of time. And, um, I'm not even going to bother putting mid roll ads in this video. Uh, that's another thing. So like, at least I'm not actively planning on it. Uh, it's just such a long video that I could not imagine. I couldn't imagine someone watching this outside of like falling asleep to it or something. And uh, I don't want to wake anyone up with ads. So if you are watching this as you're sleeping, hello. Um, but if you're not, thank you. Uh, I don't know why you would want to watch however many hours this this video ends up being um of just just me just gaming but i appreciate all the support i mean our channel's been doing incredible lately and uh i've had so much fun making content that i felt justified to sit down for all of these hours and play through the entire game in one sitting um so I don't know. I mean, I'm just having fun. I'm not going to bother doing mid-roll ads, though. Um, it's I don't want to do manual placement mid-roll ads because that's annoying and I don't care enough. Or sorry, I care enough to not want them to be a, like ruining the video. So. Uh. And to be fair, while, like, yeah, this is definitely an annoying video to make, or, like, a tedious one, it, not necessarily annoying, but definitely tedious, uh, I don't really care if I don't monetize the video. At the end of the day, like, there are other things and other projects that I spend more time on than this, so. But it's nice, though. I, I kind of just get to talk with you guys like this. At the end of the day, I'm just talking to myself, but... It, 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 I, I think it, it feels cool, and it doesn't always feel like I'm talking to myself because I know that someone's probably gonna hear what I'm saying, so, it's cool. It's definitely, definitely neat. We're soon to hit 300, very, very soon. Alright, at life 300, we're going to take a short, like, three, four minute, I'm going to grab dinner break. I, I literally just got to heat up my dinner, because we have leftovers. Actually, I'm just, words are hard. I'm absolutely starving, actually. Like, it's so bad. I'm so hungry right now. Like, like I'm not, like, literally starving, obviously, but very, very hungry. All right. One more. Any lucky item? Maybe we'll get a shiny. Dreamer's Anguish. You know, given I asked for a lucky item, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, I will be back very, very, very shortly.
right. We have return with our tacos. Let's get comfortable. Okay. Aether refinery uh, would have been useful if it wasn't for the like the main gimmick with it. Same thing. Truthfully, they are- they both feel like the same furnaces, one's worse. Aether and a Eternal. For some reason something with OBS stopped working and I was very upset to say the least because all of this would have been for nothing. I'm gonna mute so you guys don't have to listen to me eat. Oh. 
All right, the food is done, so I'm gonna bring my uh, my plate downstairs, and I'm gonna grab a drink. Give me one second, guys. If you're somehow listening to this in the first place, because well, we're hours into the video, so thank you, I guess. Alright, let me find my, uh, my drink, like, holder.
All right, y'all, we got a root beer. Because, I don't know, why not? Love root beer. I feel like with all that I'm doing right now, I deserve a soda. <laughs> all right. Let's focus up. Let's lock in. Let's get this done. First sack, close to halfway. Just making sure, yes, you guys could hear me now. Awesome. see anything decent soon maybe i mean like i have i have dreamers in anguish or sorry dragon glass in anguish but neither are going to be useful really like maybe maybe it'd be a good like money maker but even then there's just no point this works so consistent and efficient in the first place it's like I change it. Oh my god, we have so many of some of these items. It's actually kind of crazy. I was gonna say I would have loved to evolve Newtonium, but I kind of remembered that's a that's a fusion. It's a Untonium, I think. It's really good. I would love to have one right now. It's just... No point. I will probably actually, uh, well, I, it's not even no point, it's that I can't, but I'll probably do that during first sack, if, uh, if possible, is get Untonium during, like, this, <clears throat> during this point in the game. I think it'd be useful. It's crazy how, like, little, like, plasma scanners and stuff I have, though. Like, there's just so many items that I've realized that I haven't gotten a lot of, which is quite nice. go dragon glass again i mean maybe at some point i'll find a use for it but as as things are right now i'm i'm quite satisfied okay there's also just not many other like upgraders and stuff that i'd like to add in i simply can't think of any I was just thinking about how many toxic waste I've gotten, and I just got another. That's crazy. We 
go. What are our times looking like? 19, 17, 18, 17. Not bad. Could be worse, for sure. Could be better, though, to be fair. You get that from, like, a, like a 17, 18, like a, like a 15, 16. I was reading, reading some DMs. Had to take a second to myself. Maybe one day, uh, <clears throat> maybe one day we'll do this again and we'll live stream it for you guys. You know, like invite like viewers into the VIP and stuff. Make it a little, little more interesting. I still think this is going to be a, a hilarious video to drop. And part of the reason I'm doing it is just, it's going to be so funny. To just see, like, all the content that I've been uploading, and then there's going to be, like, this 20-hour video or whatever of just me rebirthing. I just, I just think it's funny. But it's also, it's also kind of cool because there's no videos on YouTube of stuff like this. I mean, there's, there's people getting the first sack over the course of like six, seven hours. There's people doing, um, first sack to second sack, I believe. I don't think there is actually a single video on YouTube. I haven't done like a super deep dive, so yeah, like I could be wrong, but, um, I have not seen many people or any people, in fact, doing this, so. I just kinda, it's not even that I like wanted to say I was the first to do it, because I probably am not. Um, however, it's just kinda something cool to like mark off the like, the challenge list of all the things I've done. Like, dude, doing the entire full, full game in one sitting, it takes a lot of time, and uh, truthfully, I don't think anyone will actually do it for third sack. Uh, I doubt anyone would, at least based on like the requirements that everyone knows of and stuff to get to third sack. I just I can't see anyone doing it. So I figured um, I figured we just we just do it. Why not? It'd be fun. I'm definitely learning things about early game, though. Things I haven't really considered before. It's kind of neat. I'm actually really enjoying this. I haven't really gotten too bored or anything. I'm just... I'm just enjoying... Enjoying the grind. 150 more lives until we're halfway. It is, it is smooth sailing, though, from here. God, it's so weird 
not having any of these. Oh my god. I like seen it because I accidentally clicked on it and I was like, wait, what? It looks so weird. Okay, sorry. I was reading up on MH chat. Just for a second. I, I just realized that I was waiting for money that I already had. Schrodinger's. I doubt I'm gonna. I'm. Oh my God, words. I'm doubt I'm gonna end up needing these at any point. But like, I have so many in case I do. Fracture isn't. I. I don't think that's my first one. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't think that was. I was gonna say because I remember talking about wanting to get a fracture at one point, just because it's one of the harder items to get. But. We got one pretty early, I was kind of surprised. Just load right away. Um. Sage Redeemer. I think Sage King would be a decent item to be using. I just don't think I'm getting enough upgrades to to justify going and getting it. And it's also very large. I wouldn't be able to use it in the, the current system that I've got going for my setup. Because half the reason I'm using Ambrosia is because it is so small. I mean, it's nice having it. It's, it's only four units long, so it's not... It's not too bad. The upgrade is rather small, but it doesn't seem to be costing me uh, any any actual like loss of any kind. So, and we're still not at octillions, which makes me feel good. Uh, I don't think we'll be hitting the nillions before 1k, but it is entirely possible that I will. So, I'm hoping not though, because it's only gonna slow us down a lot um, if I have to add in another line. So. Let's hope for the best. We we pretty much have like a one line setup going on here. Like kind of, it's like a one and a half line if, if you're not counting. Like it, it's because uh, most of the second line, like slash resetter line is these giant chunks of conveyors for um, the colliders. So, and then there's also one in the first line. So like if you actually like put all the items next to each other, it'd be it'd be very it to it'd be two very small lines, if not one line. So, we're we're getting there very slowly. I'm hoping 
really, really hoping I don't have to uh, make an Anillion setup. I mean, how much Anillions does this make over the course of a couple seconds? I mean, okay, so we, we have the ability to just leave it as it is until we're at, like, the mid to high Anillions, which is good. So, I doubt I'm going to need to change this setup. It works just so well. Let's get the setup going right away, yep. Dragon glass already? Wow. Two sinister in a row? What? It's crazy. We did not just get two sinister uh, sepultures in a row. That is wild. That is not. I mean, like that. It's it's often annoying enough, or just rare enough, I guess, to get two slipstreams back to back. But the same one is hilarious. Massive Diamond. I mean, Massive Diamond Drill maybe has a few uses, but nothing for us right now. There's definitely a couple items that would be worth getting, like Saturated Catalyst, Quantum More Polisher, probably. Um, what else? Uh, Tesla. Uh, ref Tesla. Tesla Refuter, I think it's called. Uh, Astral Setter. Those are just some of a few that are really, really good and probably worth getting. But again, it's it's that I'll after at least one of those purchases, I'm gonna have to go back to RP farming, and it's just not worth it. Let's grab this. And like that's why I've been trying to get like passive RP at least at times. Like I was doing it more earlier. And now I'm not necessarily as like in need of it because everything's just so consistent. I just like it, we're we're just feeling good. We're moving at a good pace, um, and it's better to just focus on getting to the end goal uh, rather than just you know trying to make small improvements that are only really going to do so much. Especially right now, with with how well this works. I mean, dude, we still we still have another 620 lives to go, and that's only until we're halfway done with the challenge. We're still approaching the first 25% completion mark, so it's gonna take time, but we're we're getting there, and it is it is not gonna be too bad. Truthfully, I, I don't think it would be too bad at all. It's only going to become easier and easier after um, her sacrifice. I'm hoping to have it entirely a one-line setup. Uh, so, like, like a one-line upgrader line, and then a short yet efficient uh, um, auto Tesla line with like cannons and colliders and stuff that I don't know that just seems the most efficient in terms of uh, all of the different ways I could do this I don't know anything else that I do like I could kind of think of how I want to structure the line it'll probably be like astral um 
Astral, Overlord, Wild Spore, Azure, uh, like, Clockwork, maybe. Like, all of the, like, the, just the strongest ones that I can get. To be honest. And, um... I mean, like, maybe as well here I can put, uh, like, Vortex or something. It actually wouldn't be a terrible idea to move Vortex there, uh, potentially. It, it could work really well. I'm not too sure, though. I actually wouldn't mind trying that really quick. Hold on. I mean, it's definitely not as consistent. But it would be better for money, but I'm, I'm not really stressing. Rebirth soon. I'm hoping though that the like the life one through a thousand for first sack no more than like four or five hours would be ideal. Cause like we're already approaching the six hour mark and we're not even halfway done with the first sack. Or, like, the non-sack stuff, I guess. I don't know, I keep calling it first sack, but... I, I mean, getting to first sack. Um, it's, it's, it's just a slow process, but... I think we've done everything we can. Yo, we got the rare Sage Redeemer. <laughs> Dude, it does not get old ever. It's It just catches me off guard every time. And then I look and it's like, oh, well, you, you did not get anything special. You got a Sage Redeemer. I'm getting a lot of Morning Stars. Oh my god. How many do I have at this point? Six? I haven't even been getting them for that long. All right. So close to 400, y'all. So close. So, so close. <clears throat> I kind of like, I'm kind of like wishing that I had done this when I actually like woke up and intended to. That's another thing. Cause now, now I've got to, I've got to do this end of the night. I probably would have been done by now if I started like when I actually wanted to. That's why I'm on slot two is cause like I started uh, at like three this morning in the morning. I just said three this morning and the morning. I started around three this morning, but uh, I was invited to go play some other games, and I was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna be in here a while. I might as well chill until like noonish, uh, and I just kind of like enjoyed my morning. But I don't know. As as a result, now I have to go into the night, which is gonna be uh, it's gonna make me sleepy at a certain point, because I actually have a very good sleep schedule right now, and I'm a hundred percent killing it for this video, but. I'm doing it for y'all, and just cause why not? I I have nothing important to do, uh, like going forward for a little while. So,
Beautiful. 400. Oh my god. 100 more to go until halfway to the halfway point. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll happen quick. How long would it even take for, um... 100, uh, 1700 seconds, roughly. Divided by 60. 30 minutes, roughly. Oh, wait, I just remembered. Now we could get Sporist. That's like, that's a new item that we just unlocked, is we can now get Sporist. So I'm trying to think of um, how I want to incorporate it if I do. I don't think I need to, but just in case. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you. so many now. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to work towards um, maybe one or two evolutions, though, during uh, first act. I just don't want to bother now, because I'm just essentially going to lose the RP for um, the blueprint. And then I'm going to need to get that RP back to Rebirth and get items in the shop. And then I need to get uh, Duodicillion again, which, again, yes, it will be easier with a Tesla um, and the Sack Upgrader. Just want to make things as smooth as I can. Mm -hmm. Trying not to waste time. But it's like, but now I'm at the point where, like, I'm literally just doing one thing. So, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, like, kind of for a reason to make some change, but I'm also not, because with how things are, we could, we could get there in a matter of a couple hours. If, if we keep performing rebirths at good speeds, we'll get there by 10 o'clock, which would be ideal.
and then it's not going to take too long into the morning until uh, we're just done. I'm also curious if I'm, if, if I'm gonna get a shiny. It's something I've been thinking about for maybe like better part of an hour or two now is uh, given I'm doing so many individual rebirths, I wonder, I really, really do wonder if I'm gonna get any shinies at all. Hey, 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 420. We are at the funny number rebirth. Now we're not. <clears throat> Take the headphones off for a second. Just gonna let my, my head relax for a minute. Did I just get an eternal journey again? No. I have a lot though. I didn't think I'd have eight. <clears throat> Not yet. I didn't notice I had money. We have been here for soon to be six hours. I mean, we're at a great pace. Um, definitely was hoping to be closer by now, but that's because we had a we had a pretty slow start. There was a point where we literally just did not get Tesla or uh, Newtonium for a while, and as a result, we had like two to like three, sometimes even four minute long rebirths just for that reason having to reloop ores would take another minute um so it definitely it definitely wasted a lot of time but we're, we're at a good point now sakura garden is great um is that what 300 times no point we're we're doing good now if i need to though it's there Oh, and another thing, like, I'm not beating myself up too hard about my speed because I'm simply not skipping. And I'm not even using, like, paid teleporters or anything, so, like, I don't know. Do I wish it was faster? Yeah. Do I think that I'm doing everything I can for the most part? I should take off the hat for a few. Oh god, my hair looks awful, by the way, because the hat pushes all of the hair, like, super tightly down to the skin. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty atrocious right now. Thank you. 
taking a screenshot of um, my life. Someone's curious. 431. Okay, let's get ready. Let me screenshot the recording time. Jesus, dude, we're almost at six hours. stars i you know i i do miss points where morning stars were actually so good for rebirthing man you know what i'm also surprised i haven't gotten a symmetrium i have like a huge lack of blasters i have dragon glass and anguish i don't have symmetrium let's see Oh, wait, I do. Oh, I have four Symmetrium? What? I didn't even know that. Soon to be 450. We're getting there. Progress is really picking up now. Okay, I'm just locked in. So nice to just take my hat and my headphones off. It's been on for so long. I, I like I could still hear the the game through my headphones, but like Oh my god, it's it's been a long time. We've been here a while, guys. I mean I've I've been doing this since like middle of the afternoon, and I mean it's now it's now night. Will it be worth it? We'll we'll find out. We'll find out how how worth it it is. I I'm so far in though that like no matter what like I I'd, I'd be so upset at myself for backing out because then I I'd, I'd be like well it wasn't that bad and then I'm gonna want to do it again so then I'd have to do all of this progress again. That's another thing too. So like you know we're just committing. We're just we're just gonna finish the grind.
go two more rebirths here we go let's do this 450 here we go I mean, it's nice though within like the matter of like five minutes i could do 20 lives consistently that's that's a number i've noticed is that within about five five to six minutes i could do 20 lives uh which is great it's a great pace to be working with so that means what 20 lives is so it's it's yeah it's 25 minutes for 100 lives and at that point it is 50 minutes for 200 an hour and 40 for 400 which is not bad that's that's like a that's like that rough two hour mark for the the last 500 we just we just got to keep pushing through We'll make it, though. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go absolutely crazy. I really wish I could use Aether, Aether Refinery, because it's so good. I mean, like, it's just a good multiplier. It's a small furnace, you know, it's great. It's just not useful for a constant ore flow, and I don't have a consistent enough setup. Um, to where, like, I can guarantee a good first ore or something, so, um, it's not... It's really sad, though. It would have been extremely efficient, given its size and its multiplier. I believe it's also only four units long, just like Ambrosia. I want to check that, actually. Yeah, it's, it's only four units long. I'm also excited to see like the first sack upgrader again. I haven't actually used that item in so many years. I was explaining that at the beginning of this video, I believe, that like it's been a very, very long time since I've played the game from the point in the game where you're first sack. And uh it's it's actually kind of exciting because uh I know it plays out quite differently compared to second sack, and obviously you get the upgrader right off the the first rebirth you do into uh, the sacrifice, so I'm I'm definitely excited uh, for for that reason to just try something I haven't done since you know March eighth, uh, 2017, I believe the day it came out. I believe that was March. 8th. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna go check. March eighth, I believe. The ultimate sacrifice. March 8th, 2017. I am just the best when it comes to knowing crap like this. I don't know how I have that date memorized. Okay. Um, man, we're so close to 500 already. It hasn't even been that long. We just hit six hours a, a couple minutes ago. Oops, that's emotes. 
We are not done yet. We cannot be emoting just yet. <laughs> cannot be emoting just yet. We are not done. We could still get humbled by this challenge very, very quickly over the next couple hours. Uh, that's 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 part of the reason I'm just I'm going through as many of these rebirths as I can as fast as possible before like tiredness sets in and stuff um because once I get to first sack I think it'll be I think it'll be easy enough um for a while and it'll it'll just be such a fast setup that I'm not worried about it um again it's just gonna hit a certain point where like I'm quite literally using the same setup like I am now that's really the hard part um first for uh for sack because pre-sack is difficult to get to like the 200 range once you're there then you probably have a setup that's consistent enough to get you to uh for sack or at least extremely close to it if not so like i don't know i mean again once we get there, getting through the first few hundred lives are going to be faster. I don't know if they're going to be, like, as quick as the rebirths I'm doing now. Obviously, probably not. But it's just so good to know that most of these rebirths are going as fast as they are. It's good knowing that those rebirths, when I get there, will go fast just because you are literally given a Tesla at life one. So, I mean... We're, we're in we're in to definitely get humbled by this challenge and i i definitely think it'll become quite difficult uh to like you know just keep going but i i don't know i'm i'm definitely i have hope that it won't be too bad my ability to make a decent setup to get me through it will probably be enough to just get me there and just commit because like i'm already so far it's hard enough to do one sacrifice in one sitting it takes a long time to do originally the plan was to do a video doing first sack in one sitting and then do another video doing both sacrifices in one sitting, but I felt like at that point I might as well just just do just the one video instead of doing both because like at that point one of them is gonna be it would have been watched less, it would have been pointless because I essentially did it twice, which is getting the first sack in one video like in one sitting, uh, because getting from first or sorry getting from life one all the way to second sack I'd be doing that in the process as you could tell right now. So it's like, it just seemed pointless to do the first sack in one sitting video. So I was like, I don't know, we'll just do, we'll just do both. We'll just get it over with. But like, again, it's exactly how I expected it to be um, in terms of like difficulty. It's quite easy because the game's quite uh, power crept at the moment. So like making a setup that's fast did not take a lot of time, nor to get one that was consistent enough for a lot of rebirths. I mean, looking at the number, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to hold us all the way to sacrifice. We might have to upgrade and make this a DE setup. Um, I'm hoping not. It'd be great if I could just stay at Nanillions and just kind of use this. Even if it means just getting ores for a couple seconds until uh, it makes me enough for a rebirth. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's so fast right now. I really do not want to change it. It's like, if I do... If I do, it's definitely not going to be any crazy changes. We're, we're just going to make whatever small changes we can that will get us the amount of money that we need. Which is the ideal way of doing things. Even if it just means, like, slapping, like, a, f like a, like a fucking, like, a sporist down on, like, these over here or something. Just for, like, the extra kick. 
Whatever it is, I don't really care. I just, I don't want to make this more tedious than it already is. Um, and then I'm trying to think in my head right now of how I want to go about upgrade lines for um, once, once I achieve first sack. Because that's not going to be too long from now that we are actually at first sacrifice. And I would not mind um, just trying to plan ahead, at least in my head, as far as uh, the main setup I'm going to be using for those thousand lives. Um, it's going to be very easy, though, just, just because you get the third resetter. That does so much. I mean, you're already bringing... Like, for instance, you bring Overlord from a 100 to a 1,000. Uh, I mean, well, generally, it goes from a 10 to a 100 to a 1,000, uh, which is crazy. Like, that alone is one full suffix you're, you're bringing up with one upgrade. So, it's, it's, it's just... It's not going to be bad. And then it's like, if I really, really wanted to, I could also throw in, like, platforms and stuff, but it it would just be ruined, for sure. I don't even see them for some reason in the menu either right now. It said I unlocked them, like, ages ago, but I don't know. go Do we have a sporist yet we don't be nice to try it out i'd like to see its size in person again i haven't used it in a very long time what info do i have on sporist um the nice thing, though, is that it's a times eight, and that I could use it before um, one of these upgraders, for sure. I'd probably remove Plasma Scanner for it, to be honest. I can't imagine this upgrader works a whole lot, and it's also just a stronger upgrade, so I don't know. I would definitely prefer use Sporus, though, going in a Wild Spore. But it's weird because it does poison them, so it could cause inconsistencies with the setup. Something to debate. We'll 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 probably find out when we need to, but not worried at all. Another thing I could do is like Gate of Eclipse for all of these uh, mines and stuff over by the droppers. Like, I'm just trying to think of ways to make this make more money than it already does, but without extending the lines or the time by much. Like, I don't know. It's great as it is, is the nice thing. It's, it's a pretty perfect setup, at least for me right now. Are there shop items that would be useful? I mean, I definitely could put in uh, Hydraulic Dualities. Um, 
it it wouldn't be a terrible idea. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know how how well I would even benefit from it. More dragon glass? Are you serious? Five hundred, man. Here we go. Officially a quarter done. As of a few rebirths from now. Colonel Journey. Is there anything else that we'll get along the way that'll be useful? A uh, nuclear stronghold. Nuclear stronghold would be great for like RP farming. It's just I just don't. Again, no point. Maybe though. Maybe that would be worth it. Uh, face processor, breach loader. Once we get to um, five hundred, I mean that would be great. I would not mind using breach loader in the setup. That would be a, a great upgrade. Cause right now, atomium is between three and a half to twenty-five billion. Uh, in terms of ore value, breach loader goes from 90 to 900 billion. So, it's it's much, much stronger. There we go, 500. I know I'm like one light to realizing, but still. Um, crystallized system, once I get to life 600, I could obtain, which is just a flat times six. Uh, I don't plan on using fractured reality or ore skillet. Um, Gravitational gear work would be good, but that's only that's only once I get to 800 at that point. Like it, it'll be useful. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I would love to use gravitational gear work once I get to 800 because that'll that'll be a good boost for me. Also, wow, the rebirth price just shot up. We're already at Nanillions now, guys. Oh my god, it just jumped. I forgot it does that. So we might have to change uh, we're or no sorry we are going to have to change this and it's gonna slow down pretty drastically so i'm trying to think right now of what changes i'd like to make uh right now it's still okay it's gonna it's gonna work for a little while longer not all the way though 100 percent not all the way which is fine Again, like, again, like, I'm making that, like, very clear. That is fine. I didn't expect it to. Um, I, I hoped it would, and I tried to kind of manifest that, but... We're definitely gonna have to change this. Things will need to change around here. What if I did this? I don't need this anymore. So it's like, what if I just put all of this stuff? Hold on. And then what if I do a ramp? It actually works quite well. I'm quite satisfied. Good upgrade decision. Make sure it's saved so I don't have to rebuild this. All right, let's see the money. It should be better. Um, It is 
it is just an extra upgrade. It's not much, but I don't think it'd be a bad idea. It seems like we're getting SP a lot faster. And we're also getting much higher amounts of Nanillions faster as well, so. I don't think it was a bad one. I, th I think it's just helping slow down the death of this setup. Um, and then, again, once I get Breach Loader as well, that'll be fantastic. I'm hoping I could get a Breach Loader relatively quickly. What's the rarity on it? It's a rarity eight, so it's not it's not extremely common, but it is possible. Is there anything else I could put in that's new? I don't even think so, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm just going to wait for Breach Loader. I don't think there's much else to do. Luckily, I don't need to use Breach Loader to make my money maker better because this already works incredibly well. Life 950. That's That'll be useful once I'm there, but like I don't know. It, it's meaningless now. Uh, what else? What are other items I'll be unlocking soon? 750, no point. 600, uh, it, it actually might be decent. But I doubt it. Dragon glass again. I mean, like, I think this is why, though, that I, I should at some point, once I get a nuclear chamber, maybe I'll sit down an RP farm again and get myself one or two uh, items crafted. I, I think I think maybe we'll just do that. Because it, it is just better upgrades without having to, to add anything. So, like, I might. I mean, there's definitely items, uh, items that I could do it with. For instance, uh, Astral Predictor, I could easily turn into a setter. Uh, Tesla I could make shorter by making a refuter. Um, Wild Spore I could make stronger by making Deadly Spore. Like, there's definitely options. I'm just trying to, to think of it all in my head and justify things. Um, let's go get some RP by getting this box really quick. So, Tesla is 100k, to my knowledge. I think Astral is 75. So, I'm trying to think. Uh, evolutions. Okay, so Deadly Spore would bring it to a time seven, which is great. Um, Quantum or Cleaner. Quantum or Polisher would be a huge step up compared to Cleaner, uh, because if I use it with Tesla, then I don't have to worry about the line changing length. Because right now, if I changed Quantum or Cleaner to a Quantum or Polisher, the item would need five units instead of four. Well, this is a full line. This is like as full as it gets and I can't make it shorter without having to remove something. Um, I mean, like I could shrink this down by using a half conveyor, but um, I'll only do that if I need to. Uh, again, I'm not opposed to doing it, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's just changes to make. Um, however, with the Tesla, if I make it the refuter, it shrinks down by one unit. So it would kind of counteract the, uh, the polisher. Um, and that only needs 50k, so that might be one of the better ones to go through with. Um, and even then, if I don't end up changing a Tesla to a Refuter, then it doesn't cost me a whole lot. 
And it only needs seven uh, to, to make it happen. And it doubles what this is worth. It goes from a four to an eight. Um, same thing with Catalyst, except it costs 10. It brings it from a four to an eight as well, but it does cost 75,000. So I'm not too sure on how I want to do it um, or what I want to do first. Astral Setter is also only 50k. Nice, we got a Sporist. Good stuff. Um, Astral Setter, yeah, Astral Setter is only um, 50k. Another good one is. Uh, Ambrosia Fountain and Ambrosia Forest. They're both the same size. And that one's also 50k. Another 50k one is uh, Ancient Colosseum, but uh, that's a very large item, I'm pretty sure, in comparison. I think it's just really wide, though, so I don't know. It seems to be... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same length, so... I think we'll do Ancient Colosseum, Ambrosia, Setter. Or no, we won't do Setter. We'll do uh, we'll do Polisher, Polisher, Ambrosia, and Colosseum. I think for now. And then we'll uh, we'll make another RP farm. But I, I think that this will just generally make the setup better, and I believe that those blueprints do transfer, so I might as well. Because we're, we're definitely going to have to step up our game here in terms of how much money we're making, so might as well. Alright, um, what do we need? We need Evolve, Ancient. I don't have enough for this even right now. Um... I know I have enough for Quantum. And then, what else did I want? Ambrosia. Please don't tell me it's locked. I would love to make an Ambrosia. Oh, here it is. And I don't have enough, so I just wasted a lot of RP. Um, I should have checked. I mean, like, to be fair, though, we'll be getting them over time. At least I could upgrade one of my items right now. And then, of course, for a lot of these, I have one of them placed, so, like, not too worried. It's gonna take a few more rebirths for, sur for sure to get, um, four more Ancients, and how many Ambrosias do I have? I have four out of my seven, so I mean, like, we'll get there. It's, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Um, we'll take this out, though. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Okay, we need half. Uh, we need two ladders. And then we'll take this out, and then we'll do, uh, Evo... Let me make sure it is saved. Yes, it is. Curious on how much money that just made. I did not pay attention. Oh wait, so these just stay unlocked. So 
Oh, no, they don't, actually. Never mind. It does It does literally relock the items. The only reason I'm able to use them is because they're in my layout. Yeah, I'll definitely have to RP farm again. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I could probably take advantage of um, nuclear uh, chamber, whatever it's called. What is it? Um, not Scarab. That's really late game. Nuclear Stronghold is uh, the item that I'm thinking of. Also, this setup seems very good. It seems like I was getting DE. I want to check again, though. I don't think that would be the reason, though, that I'd be getting DE. I mean, it was a very small change to the setup. So, I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Dude, it just makes immediate DE. It's, it's much better. So, I can only imagine what the other evolutions are going to do for this over time. I'm hoping to get a stronghold relatively soon, though. And then, let me see how the RP works. Uh, 140 per 60 ore, so it's not bad at all. Uh, I'll just sit there with a bunch of Atomia mines with it and just, just grind out RP for a little while. Um, probably like like 20 minutes or something. And we'll just we'll just see how much we can get. Uh, so that way we're not totally screwed when we sacrifice. And we could take advantage of the like the more late game means of getting RP. So Well more like it's it's definitely more like early mid game, but like late game for the the challenge, I guess. But this is completely fine for now. I I don't think I'm gonna need any more shop items. None of them are really uh, useful that I don't ha already have in here. So it is a lot more consistent now, though, because we're we're now making large amounts of nanillions or small amounts of uh, decillions, if not large amounts of decillions. So it looks good. We're just waiting on um, more ancient temples, of course, because we need ten. Uh, meaning we need four more, and we need three more Ambrosias. So we're getting there, very slowly. Very, very slowly we're getting there. Breach Loader will be nice. Hoping I get breach loader soon. That'll also just improve the setup a lot, almost by a suffix. So like, I will happily take that improvement once I can. And that means I could also drop the amount of, uh, like, the large amount of mines that I have here. And that's also not including the fact that I'll be using Big Bertha with breach loader. So it's just going to be even stronger than it already is. So we'll be getting a lot of trillion dollar ores, which is a huge step up from the, the low billions that we're at now. What does uh, Tesla Refuter even do? Uh, it starts at 1... 1 times uh, 15. So, to a limit of times 10 for 150 upgrade tags. So, I mean, Tesla's just not even that good. It makes me kind of regret chasing it down so aggressively on uh, the series that we've been doing here on the channel. I, I chased it down pretty harshly, thinking it was better than it was. I mean, to be fair, it, it did seem like it, get, it did get nerfed. It used to be a times 25, now it's only a times 10. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's definitely just worse than it used to be, but it's still good. I mean, you're still getting upgrades alongside your resetter, which is usually a nothing item, so I don't know. Aether. Again, it's it's a good item, I just don't really have any purpose for it. 
All right, let's get let's get some of these crates. We need the RP pretty bad. And it would be helpful to get as many of these as possible, or as much RP as I possibly can just through crates. This Youch, this sword is dangerous is the bio for it. Um, sorry about that. I had to talk to someone. Okay, let's see. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just glad the setup is working as well. It is a, as it is. Sorry. And then we've got this. Please, Ambrosia and Ancient. Just might as well favorite them so I could keep an easy tab on how many I have in case I like zone out and don't notice I get one. Oh, it seems like we got another temple. We only need uh, three more. And then still no more Ambrosia. Soon 550. Dude, like I'm saying, man, once we're done with first sacrifice, or getting to first sacrifice, it's it's gonna be extremely easy. At least that's what I'm expecting. I'm really hoping it doesn't humble me and it's like the complete opposite. Um I, I think if I prepare myself with like RP and stuff beforehand, it'll it'll be quite quite easy, quite fast. Precursor mine, not bad. Um, not really looking for any advanced rebirth items, but I'll take it. Like, the only, like, good ones are, like, Dragon Blaster and stuff, but I'm not blaster thing. I don't even want to use blasters in this setup, because it just, it just makes things less consistent. Always. I actually don't know if I would mind, um, putting, like, a Dragon Blaster here on the end or something later on. Or even... Even two BBBs would be a, a good upgrade here, because that'd be like a like a times nine or something at the very end by having two BBBs next to each other. But I believe they're both like like roughly uh, a times three. So who knows? Who knows? We're just getting ideas while we wait for the items that we need. Oh, I think we got another Ambrosia a few minutes ago. I think I, I like just realized. Yeah, we did. Two more. Two more Ambrosias we need. Rigid? I mean, that's not one I expected to get when I did, but I'll take it. But, um... Let's see. Advanced, Reborn. Okay, Frigid. Uh, uh, multiplies ore value by 15 times, which is great. Only if ore is frozen. We also did just get a Vulcans, which is pretty good. Um, that's a great upgrader. It's just... Not right now, I don't think. Not for us. Thank you. 
If I absolutely like have to throw it in, like I could probably find a way. But it's it's gonna be a, a little annoying because of the way I have to like curve the ores at the very end. Uh like right before the furnace. I wouldn't be able to do that with Vulcans right there, so I don't know. It depends how large Vulcans is, to be fair. Uh which it seems quite large. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it would need it would need all of those slots, so I actually don't know if that would work, but if I could make it work, it, that could be pretty crazy for the setup. What other items uh, are we looking for in the advanced category? Um, Stardust would maybe be decent. Um, to be honest, probably not. I don't even think I'd want to use Stardust Pulsar. Hades is essentially just uh, Vulcans... So, I don't know. Like, in terms of how you use it, at least, they're, they're essentially similar. Four more temples, please. Even just, like, over the next however many rebirths... It'd, it'd be nice to just get it sooner than later, so that way I'm not struggling to make a new setup when all I have to do is replace an item or two. Breach loader, please, as well. That's, like, right now I'm just praying for breach loader. I keep getting Sakura Garden. I'd really like to ditch Ambrosia, though, because it's such a weak furnace for this point in the game. At least with Ambrosia Fountain, it's a times 300, I believe, compared to a times 30. I, it's, I think it's literally 10 times stronger. So Ambrosia Fountain says if the ore was, if the ore has existed for between zero and one minute, it's a times 30. However, if it's existed between zero and one uh, minute on the evolution, it is a times 300. So. All of my ores will be guaranteed f exactly times uh, 10 times better than they are now, which is incredibly useful. So, um, it's definitely something I'm considering. And then with Breach Loader, um, Breach Loader would allow me to just have stronger ores as it is. And I'd, I'd be starting out in the trillions compared to the low billions. So, like, it's essentially an extra suffix plus a times 10. It's pretty crazy. We will, we will be having noticeably better rebirths. Probably enough to get to sacrifice, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that all of these little things I've kind of prepared for the next, like, 100 or 200 lives will get us there. It's just a matter of now we just gotta hope it works. Um, and then maybe if need be, I could try to find an item better than uh, Atlantic. I mean, like, I could always use um, Sporist over Atlantic because it's it's literally just double in terms of how strong it is. Um, and then there's also things like Phase Refiner. Phase Refiner is uh, a times four, so I, I don't know. Phase Refiner is really low, actually, so wait, I'm trying to think. Um, could I hypothetically put it under here? No, I can't. I, I knew it was low. I didn't think it was that high, though. thought it was lower. Damn. That could have been that could have been crazy if it if it actually managed to hit it obviously but like that that could have been really good for the setup um no i'm just trying to think of what else i could do i mean another another thing i'm thinking of is what about the um hold on i got to i got to fix this okay what about if this was raised by a few so that way the ions could go here and they would hit more consistently um 
it's a possibility, maybe? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of every way I could make this faster. Uh, one way would be to use Tesla Feuder um, to shrink down one unit, get rid of this to shrink it down another unit, um, and then I could use Vulcans. I don't know though. I I think I think it's just as good as it can get. I'm I'm trying so hard right now to think of other ways to do things. Sage, it is not one of the items we're looking for. Yikes. Astral, not too bad. Astral Center would also be pretty solid. And that's an item that I could definitely craft soon. So, who knows? That might be next. Base processor. It is not what I'm looking for still. Actually, how long? Isn't this really small? No, it's not that small. Well, we're soon to hit 600. Also two gate of eclipse away from getting final eclipse gate which is a very strong upgrader so maybe i'll use that but ju it just takes up so much space dragon blaster is pretty good i might throw that at the end of the setup just for an additional upgrade like when i move the ion fields it's it's possible i kind of want to know how consistent that would be hold on hold on guys so uh, let's get some of these, let's get some of these, just in case. Oh, we're lagging, I think. Oh, yeah, it was just, just let them disappear, okay. We're making UD now, so something's definitely good here. And then... Um, we'll put Dragon Blaster down. Okay, 
Okay, did it save? Yes, it did. I'm excited to see this in action. Let's see how much this gives. I'm also a little worried, though, because I don't want to have to be going over DD. I really want to save that Overlord for, um... The thing. Oh, we're getting, like, easy DE now. I don't know. I'm really trying not to waste that uh, Overlord, though. I That will be everything for me. It's so great that I managed to get both. Uh, or that I can manage to get both. I don't want to lose that. The setup is definitely less consistent now in terms of speed, just just because of that first line. Um, but it seems to be doing well. Like there's there's always like the one ore that makes it every time, quite fast. Like we're still getting fast rebirths. They're they're just now now instead of being like like sixteen seventeen, they're like they're like 19 and 20 so it's it's definitely a little bit worse and we're going to be re rebirthing slower but as a result the setup is ultimately just better for the long run and it's not it's not like a lot slower like we're talking like two three seconds at most so like it's fine i wonder how fast of a run i could actually get with it though so we're gonna try in a sec we're gonna try and find out all right here we go Let's rebirth as fast as possible. Sixteen seconds. It's still not terrible. It is literally still pretty much the exact same. It just comes down to, to luck. Breach loader yet. Vortex. Like, we've just done so much future proofing for first sack other than RP. Have we gotten a uh, nuclear? No, we have not. So we can't really RP farm yet. I like that we're getting UD, by the way. Please just don't give me DD. If I get DD, I'm going to end up having to, to buy an item with it every time, which is going to be annoying as crap. I actually think, though, that this setup is more than enough to get me to sacrifice, I'm hoping. I'm just not- I'm just gonna try not to change it going forward. I have a couple patterns that'll be useful for first sack if I need them, but... I'm not gonna have to worry about getting above DD, because once I get DD once, then that's it. It's- it's just GG's. And... I'm also gonna have an extra resetter, so... All of this needs to just be shorter. Like it doesn't even matter. I could use less items and I'll still be fine. I just need I just need the the better items in the setup, and uh, the extra resetter will just do so much more of the work for me. Saved, yep. Precursor Furnace. I'm glad we're at least using, like, Dragon Blaster, though, for instance. It's kind of cool to see Blaster make a, a return. Actually, no, we haven't used a Blaster all day, actually. I, I just thought about that. I, I thought we used it earlier for DD, but no, we did not. We just, we just made a setup that gave us DD very easily. 
Let's just get there, bro. We're so close. It's gonna... It's it's a while away, but we'll get there. Another Atomium. I seriously hope that you guys... I, I know that not many people are actually gonna watch this entire thing. I at least hope you appreciate it. <laughs> I am just doing this for you guys. And of course, I mean for, for a little bit for myself, but like... I love you guys. I mean, I've been having so much fun getting to make more content for you all, and it's been really fun. This is definitely tiring. Um, it's it, it's just a, a patience test, of course, to just not give up and just keep playing until you beat the game. So, I don't know. I, I just hope you guys appreciate it. It's okay if you don't watch the whole thing. I don't expect anyone to. Um, but please appreciate it. That's all that I ask. <laughs> okay. Can't wait to shave, bro. My face is itchy, if you haven't noticed. I, I've been scratching at it a little bit. Oh, dude, it's so nice not having the headphones on either for a little while. Like, it's nice to just just hear my voice, just enjoy the quiet right now with the night, and just just rebirth, man. And just talk. It's it's so it's so nice to just talk to you guys again. I've missed you all so much over the past few years of just just being away from making Miner's Haven content. Um, I don't know. I I had a very long while. Where I felt that it wasn't... Oh, thank God, bro. We got it. Uh, I felt like it wasn't worth... I'm just going to leave the setup as it is for now. But um, it's it's a good idea to, to add in Breach Loader once I need it. Um, there, there was a point for a very long time, a very long while, where I did not want to make content if I didn't feel the need to. So, like, if there wasn't something worth uploading, I wouldn't upload anything at all. And it was good for one reason, that is that it's that it kept views consistent. So like, I wasn't uploading something just for the sake of uploading, and it caused all of the videos to be worth watching videos. Now though, I've been I've just been trying to change the approach I've had, and maybe maybe I'd view things differently. Uh, like as a result, I've been doing the non-sac 10k series, and that'll also turn into a first and second sac 10k series. It's just, um, not, it's not fun to not do anything for you guys, is, is something I've noticed. And that I, I'd ultimately rather go against the original ideology that I, I had um, when making the channel, and I might just make things that I think are fun, because that's also good, and that that's that's healthy, so... One more rebirth, y'all. 600. Here we go. 600, dude. It's fine. It actually didn't really affect much. I placed I placed it fast enough to where it just it just kind of crapped, but not a crazy delay. Not too bad. All right, it's rebirth ASAP. Ooh. 
We are six twentieths of the way there. Or what's that? Um, three tenths of the way there. I believe that that's the math. I think I think I'm mathing correctly. Dude, this is like this is like usually my bedtime at this hour. I, I've been going to bed pretty early. It's it's about nine o'clock. Soon to be nine o'clock. Dude, this is usually my bedtime, y'all. We're definitely not gonna hit a thousand by life, or sorry, by by ten o'clock. Uh, it's it's because I, I I had to to stop for a little while and you know figure some stuff out. But it's okay. We'll we'll just we're just gonna keep going like crazy. We're just we're just doing really good right now. Let's get these. Hopefully these will give me a lot of RP. I'm hoping that just maybe through boxes, if I just keep an eye out better, uh, that by the time. I'm sacrifice. I'm roughly at the the 95k mark. That's that's all I need to be at is the 95k mark. I don't need any other patterns. The the one was enough to be honest. I shouldn't have gotten more. That was that was a dumb idea on my part. And I I also should have checked to see that I actually had enough for them. That was another mistake I made. just get these it won't hurt and just take the second to do it i could rebirth but it's fine all right 34k not too bad there's another box over there that we'll go get sakura it's nice that we're just getting the close by boxes though it makes this much easier and then yep we could rebirth now so right away once we get back yep here we go I'm just gonna face this way for a while so that way I can keep an eye out for boxes. Crystallize is crazy. It's a very good item. It's very small as well. Um, and I believe that it is better than Atlantic. So, actually, I might switch it uh, from Atlantic. Uh, Atlantic does a times four, but it also has that stupid roof. And crystallized is a times six. So, I don't know. I I think I think we'll probably do that in a sec. Even though I don't want to upgrade the setup too much more, that would be an ideal passive upgrade that wouldn't upgrade the setup too much to the point where we're getting DD. So, might as well. Did we save? Yes, we did. Another crate over here. I I definitely could do like one of those like built-in RP farms. I just can't be asked. They also just make everything lag, and I'm I'm enjoying having a high ore count because it's it's definitely making my setup stronger. 
not having to use a small ore count for the sake of getting RP because it allows me to la uh, to let my setup be inconsistent at certain points with like cannons and stuff. So like, I don't know. That's that's really nice though. All right. All I know is that I can't be away from my base or away from my keyboard for too long with ores running, because as a result, I will get DD, and then I'm going to lose out on that, um, that extra overlord for later. I'm not going to be going for too many more crates right now. I, j I just really wanted to get a few. Take a little, like, mental break from rebirthing, kind of, and just just focus on something else. I might as well get this one since it's close, as well as the golden crate. And then there's another shadow crate over there on the way back. So I'll just skip the, uh... actually no, it's right there. Might as well, we'll get both. Okay, we'll get this and then close to 40K. So it's, it's just less to farm, which is good. I, I really just need um that nuclear Nuclear Stronghold, I think it's called. Nuclear Stronghold, yes, that is the name. I don't have one yet, so. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop running around for crates unless they're close now. I do have an extra breach loader though now, so it would probably be the reason I I go from UD though to uh, DD. So I'm trying not to use it if I don't have to, but I may use it for the money maker because it it would just be a better money maker. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I think I think we'll try that. Oh, I mean, it's definitely stronger. It also drops faster, so yeah, we'll do this. I think that I think that that actually could speed up our setup a lot. Just being uh, able to load in the setup in full faster. And now definitely not having to worry about any uh, sort of cash prices for sure. Because I'm not using SP items by any means. I just know it has a much faster drop rate than Atomium, so... But it's also the fact that it has to drop farther, so I don't know. Because it's, it's a much taller mine, for sure, than Atomium. Atomium kind of just falls, like, straight in. I just can't wait to get to the point where I could just claim that first sack item. It's gonna feel so good to just be at that point. We're definitely getting to a higher rebirth price. It's making me a little nervous about that uh, overlord. It's not of any concern yet, though. Probably not for at least another 200 lives. 
And at that point, I might be able to just push through. Because, like, low UD is very much possible with the setup, and it's nothing... Nothing that, like, one of the the upgrades that I, I spent RP on probably can't fix. Like, it's it's totally fixable, so I'm not, not worried about it at all. Even just getting the Ambrosia upgrade would be more than enough to make this comfortable probably all the way until Sacrifice, so... I still plan on trying to get that if possible. Um... Again, I, I think it'll speed up things a lot for us. And make sure that we're comfor comfortably able to get to Sacrifice. I'm so glad this setup ended up being good. We, we absolutely cooked today. Very proud. To think, to think if I was skipping, I'd probably be done. It's, it's, it's a little painful knowing that I could be skipping. Dude, we have so many dragon glass. It's kind of pissing me off though, because you know we could be getting other low rarity items. I have a good feeling we'll get an Ambrosia again soon, but that that's probably just coping. Alright, 320 rebirths left. It's actually not that much. That's that's about half of where we're at now, so we're we're getting to that like two-thirds of the way there for first hack. Like to get to first hack. Invasive Cyberlord. Uh, I think that's one of my first ones, though. No. I mean, like, definitely one of the first ones, but not my first one. Two more Ambrosias, dude. Two more. Please just give us them soon. That'll be a crazy upgrade to have. Bertha. I mean, there's no way that I'm gonna get a, a hundred of these for the evolution. <laughs> Nor would I use Zarbamba. It's so large. I remember when Zarbamba came out and, uh, it was actually, like, used in the meta at the time. It was kind of fun to use four of them just all next to each other. Yeah, the hair looks awful after, you know, taking off the hat. Always does, though. Hats just ruin your hair. But, hmm, I don't really care. I don't think I'm going to be looking good once we're 12 hours into this challenge anyways. Just naturally. <laughs> so, I don't really care. I don't really care at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, we just we just gotta get to first act as fast as possible though. We're not placing the second lay layout as fast as we could be. I gotta I gotta focus. We're not super locked in as far as that goes. Could be could be better. Okay, let's do this faster this time. Okay, or just don't place the money maker the first time I I click load. And it's whatever. Almost 650. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my god. Oh, yo. Wait, that's kind of crazy. Oh my god, wait. How much does this give again? I don't even know if they give RP. 1.5k is crazy. That's actually good. And then there's another one over here. Let's just go grab it really fast. Wait, let's rebirth. I'm not gonna go all the way for, uh, eh, screw it. I'll just grab it, it's right here. All right, we could rebirth right away. Should be able to rebirth now. Two more rebirth skies. Another blind justice. Oh, my God. Oh wait, no, we don't need um two ambrosia, we need three ambrosia still, damn. I don't know if we're gonna get enough of those in time, to be honest. It would be a really nice upgrade though. I'm just hoping I get one of those rarity sevens that I already have uh the, the patterns or the blueprints for for their evolutions. I, I just need to keep getting the items. And that'll be like huge. I mean, it's that or um, Breach Loader is going into the setup. But I want another Breach Loader to do that first as well. So we're just waiting on new items now. 700 soon. That's the next goal. Let's get to 700. Hopefully we'll get some decent stuff on the way. I, I have good feelings we will.
Come on, I'm like right there. There we go. It's not often anymore that I get Nanillions. We're definitely pushing Decillions though. I mean, we're, we're gonna have to get uh, on Decillions by the time we're close to sacrifice, so. I've got to start preparing. I've just got to get better items. Please, game, give me another breach loader so I can put it in the setup. Uh, we already upgraded to crystallized system. I'm really just hoping for ambrosias now. Yeah, I'm really, really, really hoping for ambrosia. And I'm really, 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 really hoping for more ancient temples. Uh, as both of those we could evolve and just make better and I won't have to do any more RP farming for the rest of this I mean I don't know it's like it's like if I really need to I could just make uh, an RP farm for a little while uh, once I get a uh, nuclear because I still don't have one uh, which I very much should at this point and um, we'll just we'll just let it run for a little bit and we'll get an astral setter as well which would greatly improve the setup. But it's not too bad because we are still rebirthing fairly consistently. Guardian of the Gate. I think that is my first one of those, and I, I acknowledged how bad it is. Yeah, it's terrible. Why would you want to use an item that requires you to leave your base, walk back, rebirth, leave your base, walk back, rebirth? It's not it's not you it's not a useful item conceptual sorry conceptually for grinding. It's just not. It's useful for uh like getting high amounts of money, but that's it. Even then there's so many better items that like at that point you probably have them, just use them. The difference if even if that's like 25 times better or something than like whatever the multiplier on yours is, like or not 25 times better, but like the multiplier is um, 25 higher. Sorry. Um, even then, it's it's just not worth it because it's a it's a gimmick and it's not a good gimmick. It literally requires you to leave your base. Oh my god, guys, we're at the forbidden rebirth number. 
I called Miner's Haven at 3 a.m. at this light. He did pick up. Miner's Haven did actually pick up. Hold on, I'm taking a screenshot really quick. I don't know if it like pauses the screen because of snipping tool. I wanted to show my friend how how long we've, we've been in. We've been in for almost seven hours, or no, sorry, almost seven and a half hours. But he was curious. A couple of people know that I'm like doing this, so they're like curious, I guess. We actually flew through the 600s pretty quick. Any of these still? No. Oh my god, dude, we're just getting terrible items. And now I'm actually kind of having a problem with all the repeats that I'm getting. Because we're genuinely on the lookout for some items to try to smoothen out the, the late game experience. Um, I'm gonna go grab this crate really quick. It's a little far, but it's fine. There is another. I might as well just grab these, because they're all grouped up together. And the RP is simply just worth it. So, let's grab this. Let's go over here. Okay. Well, we're pushing 50k again, and we were at like 24k, so it's definitely possible that by, by first sack we won't have to do a whole lot of RP farming. It's totally possible. It really depends when we get nuclear, and then I, I'll, I'll probably sit there at life 1k for a little while and just farm some RP. Get, you know, just get things ready, so that way, uh... We could just zoom from there, bro. Cause it's it's gonna take at least like an hour to an hour and a half to do the the ten lives at second sack. I'm just trying to make sure first sack goes as fast as possible. I'm hoping we could have like a ten second setup throughout uh, first sack. I like I I really think it's possible having three Teslas. Uh, that I could do that, especially if I manage to get an Overlord device during that time. So, that's the goal, is a 10 second setup for first sack, and just make it so we could do 6 lives a minute. Because we would be going so fast. I'm actually curious, what would, what would it look like time-wise? If we did 6 lives a minute, for 60 minutes, we would do 360 lives an hour, 1,000... Divided by 360. It, it would take us roughly two and a half hours. Which is great. I, I would be... That's fantastic. I mean, again, I said let's shoot for like the four or five hour mark. Which is probably more realistic, but... Still, I mean, things are going good, so... We'll see. It's starting to overheat though, it's so warm. At least in my room, I don't know. I don't know about the rest of the house, but it's warm in here. Like it's not super hot, but it also doesn't help that I've had like my webcam on for so many hours and stuff. You know, so like Whoa, well, guys, we're moving, y'all.
Okay. Ooh, good crate. Love to see it. How many clovers do we actually have? We already have 10. It's kind of funny. All right, let's keep going. We're 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 rebirthing at a great pace right now. I'm just trying to keep up. Cuz we have we have a while more to go. Oh my god. Another Dragon Blaster, nice. That's useful if I end up needing to use another one at the end. It wouldn't be a bad idea. It might make a little bit more of an inconsistency, but it's it's a great upgrade. It's a very strong upgrade, so. Not opposed to it. What does it do again? It's literally a times four, so. We would have a time 16 then, I believe. By having two. Which is not bad. Dude, we have been dry of these uh, two items that we wanted patterns for. Oh my god. I feel so dumb for making those patterns without checking how many I had first. Like that, that that should have been one of the first things that I did when I was finally considering making evolutions. Cause that big rebirth spike at 500 all those lives ago, it definitely changed up the pace in a way I wasn't expecting. And I think it just threw me off. So I didn't even consider to look at how many of those items that I had. Okay. Let's do this again. I'd say by 700, it's going to make us have a uh, a DE rebirth price, which is a little scary. I'm I'm just hoping it's it's in the UD rebirth price by 1K, which is totally possible. I I think I think it'll I think it won't go to UD by uh, 850. I, th I think I think around 850 it'll start getting close, but I, I don't think it's going to get there until at least 900. So there's no way that within 100 lives either, it's going to raise the price so dramatically. Dude, we are like right there, please. Just give me one more ore. Thanks. All I had to do was ask. It just worked. I'm telling you guys. You know, if that's the case, would you kindly give me an ancient temple or an ambrosia fountain, please? Or even a breach loader or a nuclear stronghold. I will take any of those four items. Not a massive diamond mine. There's no situation, probably for the rest of the video, where I'm going to use a massive diamond mine. I will take the breach loader, actually. That, that'll that be useful later. I'm not going to need it now, but it is useful for the setup when I inevitably do switch. I'm trying to see if I don't have to switch, though, um, because it's nice having so many ores. So maybe if I get more breach loaders, it'll be a good idea, but right now I literally just have the one. But I mean, I could always I could always move this one out and put a Tamium back for the money maker, given it really doesn't matter and it's not much of a difference. Um, and that way we can put breach loaders both going into Big Bertha, going into the setup, rather than one in the money maker, one in the setup. So I don't know. It's we'll see. We'll we'll see if we even end up needing to use it. This could just carry us to the end. Dude, the server is also starting to lag. I hope. I'm going to try to go as long as I can without having to reboot the server. Oh. 
God damn. Seven and a half hours, boys. Looking good. We're doing great. Almost, almost 700. God, it's just, it's been so long. I've been on Miner's Haven for so many hours. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm definitely taking a break for at least a day or two after this. You guys will be waiting a little while for the, the one hour video. Because I know, I know I did a poll asking if you guys wanted a one hour version of, uh, the non sac 10k series for like a celebration of part 10 and just a like a welcome home video from me so y'all will be waiting a little bit for that not too long i'm not gonna go for that gold crate it's so far away i'd rather just rebirth i'll get ones closer we're at a very good pace right now other than stopping for that, but that's fine. Yeah, by 700 it'll be uh, DE, and I doubt by 850 it will be... It shouldn't be um, UD by 850, it should be there around maybe 880, I'm guessing, because we've been at Nanillions since 500, and it's been almost 200 full lives. So, we shouldn't have... We actually might not even have a UD rebirth price until the 900s. Assuming there's no more big jumps. And I don't believe that there are. So... Please, game, no more big jumps. Save us from needing to get Duo Decillion. Please don't make us get Duo Decillion. I would love to save that for first sacrifice, please. That'll probably be one of the first things I go for, like probably within the first like 50 lives. Once I get once I get a Tesla, uh, so that way I could do triple Tesla, you'll probably see me go for DD right away. It'll just be so easy. Um, or at least by life 100 probably. No later than that, I'm assuming. What's nice is I'm hoping to have uh, my setup finished by like the 200s, and then it's just a matter of grinding it out long enough. It's just gonna be a very tedious grind to do again that I've, I've just done all of this. So like, it's gonna be tiring to do it again, but it'll be worth it. It's gonna pay off, we're so close. And it's only going to get faster. I'm very curious to see what the speed is going to be like. And the potential of what I could do in that speed. Alright, there we go. 700, we have a DE price. I think it might have been there one or two rebirths ago, but I didn't really care to look. 700, 300 more to go. Um, it shouldn't be too bad. We're just gonna just go as fast as we can and just make it happen. It's gonna, it's gonna be a while, so... I'm hoping by hour nine, hour nine will be at sacrifice. I'd say that's a good goal.
Let's go here and let's get this. I think it's time we maybe put Breach Loader in soon. Or at least take Newtonium out, because Newtonium ores, every time, they're just not worth it. They're not worth enough. Fast enough. I think after this rebirth, we'll uh, we'll try with uh, Breach Loader. Okay, so let's do Blind, Atomium, I feel like the ores also definitely drop faster, so I don't know. Alright, now, we have so many ores going into the setup, though. It's crazy good. It's what we like to see. Instant UD, though, is very nice. I, I do think that the Breach Litters did help the setup to, to give it that kick that it needed. But now I can't be spending too much time away from the base. Do we have a nuclear yet? No, we don't. Get it. Get it and go, get it and go. Okay, we can rebirth now. I mean, it's still not guaranteed UD, but, like, those last hundred lives or whatever aren't gonna matter. We're gonna be so close that we just don't care. Alright, it's daytime again. Nice. Setup. I just brain farted. Here we go. Yeah, this this was a good idea. It loads faster with Atomium because it, it does not have to drop as far, and for some reason, I, I think that Atomium ores drop sooner than um, Breach Loader ores. That's why I actually kept Atomium in the setup, because they'll be dropping first, but um, Breach Loader it drops more, so the good ores are luckily more likely to survive because there's more of them, 
uh, but they don't get to drop as fast. So if I get really lucky with a good Atomium Ore, then it is totally possible that I could Rebirth super fast. Hmm. I'd say soon we'll uh, we'll take a quick bathroom break for a second. Probably by 7.50. Be a great time to go use the bathroom really quick. I haven't used the bathroom this entire video and it's been like eight hours, so. Grab some water as well. Another Dragon Blaster, I'll take it. I could actually get use out of that item. Like, if I don't end up getting lucky enough with some better items, I'm probably going to resort to putting in another Dragon Blaster just for the last, like, however many rebirths I need to do. That'll, that'll probably carry me to the point that I need. Now, thankfully... The rebirth price is going up extremely slow at this point because we've hit a new suffix so it it takes a very long time to uh to get exponential even though it is an exponential algorithm it does take a long time to get there we're probably not going to pass 10 de until like 800 or something i don't know We keep getting octillions really easily now, and it's, like, weird. Yes, man! Nuclear! Oh my god, finally. I'm gonna pit, just so I don't forget to, like, use it. That's, it, that's extremely useful, though. There's gonna be a, a point where I'm gonna use that a lot. There we go. Another Atomium. Again, it's useful. It's useful now that I have so many Atomiums because um, I will be using all 11 of those for the RP farming later. It'll be a very brief RP farming like segment, but still. Actually, I'll probably run the RP farm for a minute while I go use the bathroom. I, I could test it out. Go, go for like five minutes or something, come back and see how much RP I've made. And hopefully it's enough for uh, for like 100k or something. If I can come back to 100k RP, that would be incredible. Fracture, not bad. It's a it's a rare one for sure. You know, it'd be nice if I would get you know ambrosias though, but. You know, we're not getting Ambrosias. I'll take another Atomium, I guess. going. Unium. Eh. I'm not going to be using Unium until first sack. 
Dude, we are almost three quarters of the way to first sacrifice. We're almost done with the long grind of this video, which is pre-sac, because pre-sac is so slow. It just takes so many hours to get done. And it's not like, it's not completely miserable. Uh, because thankfully for a lot of it, you're constantly improving your setup and you know, it's not just this like endless grind, but we've, we've just been, uh, we haven't made many significant changes since like 200 at this point. And, uh, everything else in between has just been, you know, adjusting to like a big rebirth price jump. Otherwise, man, it's, it's just a really long grind. That is it. It's just a big grind that, honestly, I mean, like I said, I'd give feedback towards the end, so I'm not going to say too much, but, like, it's definitely, like, you're not, there is no reason to be jamming all of this in a one day, like I am. Like, like, as a, like, as a, like, as an actual player, like, you should never sit down and try to enjoy the game for the first time doing your first two sacrifices in one go. I mean, it's just, like... Like, if you enjoy that, that's fine. It's just, I don't think this is the way to enjoy the game. I mean, obviously, it's not meant to be played this way. This is not this is absurd. There are, there are maybe a few other people ever who have done this or probably will ever do this. This is, this is a really rough one, but, um, to be fair, I've done far worse grinds in my time playing video games. Uh, my time in Destiny, I've had a lot worse grinds. My time in Halo, I've had worse grinds. Albeit Halo doesn't really have grinds in the sense this does, but still, I've, I mean, like, XP grinds and stuff that just take a long time. Um, even in my time in Miner's Haven, I mean, dude, grinding for a mill was incredibly tedious. Just sitting here for so many hours and just doing this all day, every day for so, so many days was so tedious. So this is like nothing. I'm like, there's moments where I'm just kind of like, yeah, like I just, I just wish I had moved on to something else. But at the end, it's going to be so worth it. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to it so much that it's, it's enough motivation to keep me going. I do not want to back out now. I would be, I'd be mad that I spent like I spent like my entire day in here just to fail. Like I'm not, that is not me, dude. I do not give up that easily. So close to 750. I can't wait to take a, a short little break, do some RP farming, come back, and just just smooth sail the rest of the way there. It's timeless, I think, right? Yeah, it was. Tesla. <laughs> Ten more rebirths until we are a quarter of the way there. Or sorry, yeah, a quarter of the way there. No. A quarter of the way away. Sorry. Could not get the right words out.
I think it's funny we got solar flare right as it turned nighttime. <laughs> the the one item that revolves around night and day, I don't know, is just just funny. Six more. I'm also like not even like listening to music or anything, which is like another another thing. We are like we are entirely just playing Miner's Haven. I've I've like answered some like some like DMs and like had some like short quick conversations with people, but like it's been it's been relaxing. You know how nice it is for me as well after like all of the traveling, for instance. I uh, I took a couple days and went to St. Louis and um, like I had a blast. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, dude, I've been doing so much traveling this year. It is so nice, even just now, to just sit down, relax. And just record and just have fun with you guys. It's it's chill and it's refreshing. Something different. And like that's something I've also been trying to remind myself is that like my right now I'm just relaxing and just having fun. So I, I, I keep messing up my words. I, I said white instead of right. White now. That's that's literally what I was going to say. <laughs> but one more rebirth and then we're going to set up an RP farm. We're just going to we're just going to try it out. See how it goes. Another nuclear stronghold. Okay, uh, we're gonna try this. All right, you guys, I will be back in about five minutes.
I think it's pretty funny that the the webcam decided to like pick up something while I was gone. It's it's one of those like AI cameras uh, that like follows things. Um, but if if it starts to follow you as you walk out of its sight, it kind of just spazzes out and it doesn't know what to do. So I came back and I was like, why is it why is it staring at the wall? Um. Yeah, that was that was weird. Okay, well, this did perfect. I came back just in time for what I wanted. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna withdraw, and we're just gonna we're just gonna crank out these last bit of lives, dude. We're so close, so so close. We don't need nuclear stronghold anymore. We have more than enough RP. We don't need to go for boxes anymore. If there's close ones like this, we'll grab them. But like. Like, we're just, we're good, dude. It's, it's done, essentially. We, we just need to make the, the last stretch, get to first sack, and then we gotta do all of it over again. But it's, it's not gonna be bad. It'll be worth it. We're, we're just getting there. And, yeah. Just, just trying to stay positive about it. It's, it's just a grind. Like like I said, like it's, we're just relaxing. We're just hanging out. We're playing some video games, and it's really not much more. It's just time consuming. And uh, the only the only real reason I'd I'd want to stop is to sleep. But dude, reminder saving players who need sleep. Definitely gonna try to pick up the pace though, because we've slowed down pretty drastically. Like, it's it's already, like, the, the 10 p.m. mark, and we're still not at Sacrifice. I don't think we'll get there by hour 9, but it's fine. 9... 9 and a half would be a, a good point for me. And then try to get to, uh... Second Sack by, like, the... Uh, I'd say the 14 hour mark, I, I'd say is a great goal. I don't think I could get there much faster than the 14 hour mark. And then we'll we'll just try to get those last few lives done as fast as we possibly can. It's gonna be a long one, guys, but every bit of this is gonna be worth it. I've been wanting to do this challenge for so long. It's just it it's genuinely a challenge because of how how long it takes, um, and how much patience you need. Like you you need. You literally need to be able to sit there and be like, okay, damn, I just did a full sacrifice. I still have another to do. And then you're not even done once you do that second sacrifice. You still have another finish line to cross, albeit it's not by much, and it should only take roughly an hour to do those first 10 lives. Dude, if you get bad rebirth items, it's just not fun at all. So... We got a funky town. That's crazy. We actually got a rare reborn.
What other items? I'm I'm just kind of curiously looking through the wiki on the side as I uh, as I do these rebirths, and I'm just kind of looking at all the uh, the items that I'm kind of getting now, because there's so many items that I'm now about to start unlocking for the first time. And I'm only going to be able to use them for so long until they're pretty much gone for a thousand lives. Um, so I'm just I'm just curiously looking through all of these, and I don't think I'll be using pretty much any of these. But like maybe uh, I was I was saying maybe gravitational a while ago, but it I feel like it'd be so annoying to set up. I don't really care. If I get one though, it wouldn't be bad to to put in the front. I I I just think it would be too strong of an upgrade. Um, I think maybe I'd have to take away Dragon Blaster or something because again we're not trying to get DD at any point until uh, we sacrifice, and that it's simply just not worth it. It would be better for us to save it, get get our next duo to Cillian, and rebirth at like S minus 100 or something, so that way we can we could use that to our advantage. It's going to be very much needed. Yeah, I definitely got to shave at some point soon. Oh, it's so annoying. I hate being unshaved. I've just been a little lazy. Haven't really cared too much to do it.
780 soon. Pushing the 800 mark already. We're we're just so locked in. That's that's kind of why I got quiet. I'm just incredibly locked in. I'm trying to I'm just trying to leave myself with enough time to do first sacrifice that it's not gonna be like six in the morning by the time I'm done because I will feel awful. I'd like to go to bed at like a decent time. Cause like, mind you, I also have to, to edit the intro really quick. Albeit it's not gonna take me too long to edit the intro. It's still just the fact that um, no matter what, dude, like, I'm gonna have to go in, I'm gonna go have to render the video, then I'm gonna have to make a thumbnail and stuff, and then the video's gonna have to upload all day, and it's just like, it's a lot, man. I don't know how long the video is gonna take to render, but it is going to take ages. It is not gonna go fast. So, it's like, I, I just have more things to do before I'm actually able to get any rest. So, we're, we're just trying to move through these steps as fast as possible. Because I want to try to get this video out for you guys uh, tomorrow. It's it's currently 10 p.m. recording this. I, I'd like the video to be out tomorrow for you guys. Because I'd also just like to have a video out by tomorrow. Fifteen more rebirths. You're like roughly 15 more. Excuse me. fact we have still not gotten even one of these <laughs> it, I just think it's crazy I don't even care anymore but it's just it's crazy 14 seconds we finally beat our time boys good to see love to see that this setup actually has like crazy speed potential and that it's it's just it's just not consistent but I think it's I think it's crazy that we finally beat our speed time Eleven more. We're finally, finally at 800. My poor webcam is going to be so overheated by the time this video is done. <laughs> It'll be so worth it, though. I mean, it's handled longer streams. I'm not worried about it. It's just funny. When we did um, Salvation's Edge on Destiny over on Twitch, we did that for like 60 hours. That was that was brutal. I know I only streamed the first like 40 hours of it or 44 hours of it. And then I stopped streaming the other, like, whatever, until it got to, like, 60-something. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I just wasn't streaming anymore. I was trying to give my computer a bit of a break. This, this'll, it'll be fine. This is not anything crazy. This'll be fine. There we go. Yeah, there's definitely definitely some RNG that goes into the setup on occasion, but it's 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 a pretty consistent sub 20. We've gotten a lot of 14 seconds though in the past like couple of reboots, which is pretty funny that we 
we took so long to get it once, and now we've gotten a, a lot, actually. Five more. Boom, 800 guys, oh my god. It's so nice to see 800. It's, it's just nice to keep progressing. I'm hoping I'm hoping for good rebirth items right away as well um, when I get to for sacrifice. Like, again, uh, Industrial Fire Crystal would be great. Uh, Nature's Grip would be great. Um, any upgraders are awesome because that means... Honestly, once I get Tesla, um, I could... Honestly, once I get enough upgraders, I could probably just not have to worry about Schrodinger's. And it could pretty much be like a quick loop and then the setup and then once I get like Newtonium or something, I could just entirely remove the loop and not even have to worry. Um, even maybe once I get Unium, I could probably do that. I, I wouldn't be worrying too much. So, I mean, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be neat to see how, how we go about it and um, the items we get. It'll definitely determine how quick though that we get through first sac because how fast we get through first sac is entirely dependent on the early stages because it, it like like you've seen here at certain points you're just bound to start getting items i mean there's gonna be items you don't get a lot of like for instance these two have been really unlucky for me this entire time um ever since i got them like 300 lives ago, those patterns, I have not gotten a single one, and it's been pretty bad since. Um, and for instance, I've had to use other means of, you know, getting cash through, what is it, blasters, other items, and just replacing those things for now, because I'm just not getting lucky enough. I'm doing what I have to do, for sure, but um, you pretty much get everything you need, for the most part, at a certain point. And um, it kind of sets up the rest of the game for you. I'm just concerned about how the beginning will go and getting to that point, as that can be a really lengthy process. I do have some general ideas in my head, though, on how I plan to make it as fast as possible. Um, I, I'm trying to think of... Like... 
like the general rebirthing process for life one in like i'd say life one through like 25 is i'm hoping to avoid um having any schrodingers or rng items just because of the fact that it comes with a tesla so i might be able to just go straight from like trillions all the way over to like qn and like like skip quadrillions which would be fantastic because that is quadrillions is usually the hardest part is to get from quadrillions to quintillions and that can that can take a while um that's usually what takes so long about life one in my opinion is is that point also that did not work that was a huge time waste um it's it's a it's a rough one so i mean i think that would be the best means of going about it is um just trying to get like an upgrade line of some sort with a freon loop and just taking advantage of the free tesla that you get at life one and hoping that that gives enough but it should it definitely should so i don't know we'll we'll figure it out i'm not worried i'm not i'm not extremely worried at least i'm i'm definitely like a little like nervous of how long it's gonna take because this has been i mean i was hoping for like the six hour mark and we're looking at like close to the 10 hour mark so like like it like we were definitely humbled by this experience but i mean dude we're we're going pretty damn strong still All is feeling good so far. We're at, we're at roughly 820 and it still hasn't even hit 10 DE. Rebirth price feels good. We still haven't used our daily gift, which we're reserving for second sacrifice. And once we get there, so we could give ourselves a little bit of an initial uh, of an initial boost. Um, just because it's going to be hard to just start right off at life one again, because it's been like it'll it'll have been like 14 hours since the last time we were there. Um, but I don't know. We're we're just all of the precautions that we've been putting in place have been working so far, and I'm I'm just feeling good about it. I may do this again at some point. On I unironically, I I may do this again so at some point and try to get a much faster time. I think I think with all the proper planning and all of the decent like like planning around bad RNG in an attempt to get a good time like guaranteed uh or clo as close to guaranteed as possible would be a smart idea. It's just that it's such a long long run that's so heavily dependent on rng that i don't even know if it's it's worth trying again uh for for all i know this could be an incredible time to get to to, to second sack i i don't know but like it's been it's been a journey dude we've been we've been here a while we're only 
pushing the halfway point. Um, however, it's not really going to be the halfway point in time. It's more just the halfway point in the game. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely over halfway done in terms of time. It's just a matter of getting through these last few, and then it's it's gonna be so easy. I mean, but it's also like, it's not gonna be like incredibly much faster. I don't think. Uh, I mean, we're we're now we're now not super consistent. We're now at a point where it's like roughly a twenty second setup, so it has slowed down, um, and become more inconsistent. We have really fast reverts, and then we have fairly slow reverts. Um, I'm just hoping to get to the point in in first sack where we could get a 10 second setup roughly. Um, I don't expect it to go faster than 10 seconds, but sub 15 and above 10 would be the ideal. Uh, of course, less than 10 would be beautiful if we could get a sub 10 second setup consistently. Um, we would we would be done in no time actually. Um, it, it would just be a matter of like two or three hours. Um, for like however like those 900 lives or 800 lives would go like once we get to that point but we're so close we're pushing the last we're, we're pushing onto our last 100 lives uh, probably within the next half hour here and it's gonna be so worth it it's gonna be so nice seeing that first sacrifice mark it's going to be even better seeing that second sack and just getting that final upgrader after those 10 lives is just going to be so, so worth it. I'm currently looking up the final upgrader information. It's just, just something I'd, I figure I'd look. And reach S plus 10. Yes, so you, you literally have to do those 10 lives, which is not, it's not too bad. It looks like a good item, it's just the fact that I'm not going to be using the final upgrader at all. Once I get final upgrader, the like, video's over, so... I was just kind of curious on its stats, and uh, to make sure that I don't have to do like a life 100 or something. I would do it at that point, but... I would not want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'd probably be... I'm probably gonna be burnt by the time we're done. The amount of blasters I'm getting is pretty nice. It took so long to get so many blasters. We still have not gotten another Ancient or Ambrosia. I just think it's funny at this point. Like, I don't care. If I just need an extra kick for money, I'll, I'll just use another blaster and just make the setup a little bit worse. Because, it, it, I mean, we're, we're so far at this point. Please give me literally three Basilian, thank you. 
almost 850 already and that has not been a lot of time and we are we have already done roughly 50 lives so pacing is great we're just locked in let's just let's just get to the finish line boys one of our finish lines the first finish line is gonna take so much longer to get to than the second so i'm i'm very proud dude even doing one sacrifice in a single sitting takes time and of course you could do it faster than this you could do it in like six hours um i've seen people do it uh, i think i think it's been done as as fast as four sorry four or five hours um for like all time fastest but dude again i went in with no plan i just said you know what we're just gonna play the game we're just gonna like just witness the experience of playing the game with no plan no no set prepared setups or ideas or even understanding of like what the game is going to feel like at this point i mean like of course i have like a decent general understanding uh and as a result i was able to build setups pretty efficiently for it um but that's that's essentially going on memory of like how to make like a decillion setup or something and uh, i mean a lot of it is just basic game knowledge and just being able to put upgraders together uh in a way that works but still like without a plan by default everything is worse because you're not going in you're not going straight in with an optimal strategy you're going in and trying to build an optimal strategy over the course of hours so it's it's tough but it's it's been a lot of fun actually it was a very good learning experience for me actually And I've definitely learned a lot about making setups and getting, um, more understanding of ways to approach early game. And there's definitely things that I would do differently. Uh, definitely things I would do differently. For instance, I think it's very apparent skipping is a great tool to get to first sacrifice and to second sacrifice uh i i think i think by this point in time if we had been skipping i i think we would have been done with the entire challenge at this point um but again we kind of like didn't know i didn't really think i wanted to do skips as i entered this challenge um and at a certain point in the challenge, I decided that I like was debating it. And then I was like, you know what? No, nah, let's just like, let's just stay true to not skipping. And ultimately that costed me so many hours, but it's gonna be so worth it. Just zero shards, second sack. All of those items are just gonna disappear out of my inventory permanently. And I'm never gonna see this account for maybe ever again or just not till the next time i do this which is going to be in a very long time because oh my god um it's fun and it's a challenge for sure it's a marathon but it's like dude like <laughs> you just can't do this more than <laughs> more than once in like i'd say a month yeah, like at least a month and maybe you'd be able to do it again uh happily but it's like I don't I don't know if every time I log out of minor save and I I want to do early game for approximately 15 hours. Dude, we are approaching 850 already. Fantastic stuff. We're getting there. And 850, 150 more lives, and we are finally moving on.
Come on, literally one ore, please. There we go. See, now the setup doesn't, like, fully make enough money. Uh, at least on all of the ores. I think it's the Atomium ores that are no longer worth enough money. It's now Breach Loader ores that are worth a lot. Uh, but it's fine. It, it works a lot most of the time. So. Hmm. It's alright. And then for like the last like hundred lives, if I need to, I'll just I'll just throw in that dragon blaster. Hey man, like I said, I expected us to be at UD by 850, not 18 DE, so like we're doing great on rebirth price. Which is beautiful. A lot of morning stars. That is actually probably one of our most obtained items. I think I still have not gotten that many plasma scanners. 22? No, never mind. We we have. It, it's definitely caught up over the course of hours, just casually. I haven't really noticed though. I feel like plasma scanner is an item I have not gotten as much as uh, some of the others. Newtonium, I have a lot of. Uh, I don't have that many Teslas compared to what I would have expected, to be honest. It's kind of weird how, like, there's definitely an inconsistency and, like, a pattern as well. It's it's weird. It kind of contrasts itself. Or con contradicts itself, not contrasts. Eh. I, I don't know if contrast would be the wrong word, but it's also, like, not the right word. Our brain's definitely going to be tired, though, by the time we get the first sack. Like, like mentally, it's just going to be, like... Pushing for that final stretch to uh, to get there. We'll definitely get there by midnight, though, hundred percent, which makes me feel so happy. Cause by the time it is midnight, I'll probably be a few rebirths in to first act. Hoping by like three, four o'clock, we'll just be done with first act entirely. It's just, I really got to make sure those first lives go fast and that I can come up with a, a competent setup to not be there until like six in the morning. <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to be up for a while though. It'll, it'll be worth it though. We're, we're just getting, oh, finally we got a Stardust Pulsar. We were talking about that a long time ago. I remember when I was debating using Stardust Pulsar, I was only like life, what, like 350 though at the time? I, I was not a high rebirth. Alright, 860. Literally like a DE and a half, thank you. I'll also definitely take like a good stretch break for a minute once we uh we get a few rebirths into second sack or sorry first sack once we get to second sack i'm just like i'm just locking in and just getting getting done god i just i just hope first sack does not take as long as pre-sack did oh my god I mean, if this video ends up being like 20 hours and I end up eating my words, that's fine. But like, it's it's just gonna be rough. It's just tough mentally to sit and do something like this for so many hours.
And of course, I also don't want to use up so, so much storage either. Oops, our Steam Deck crashed. No, I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna get it to work. I don't want anything. I don't want anything else to go wrong right now. Everything is just working. So it's fine. What's task manager doing? CPU is looking good. Good. Every everything's looking strong right now. Which is good. And then let's just lock in, boys. Let's just lock in. 131 more rebirths. Not too bad. Going to be 25 more, man. We're getting there. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a hit like D. Or, sorry, we're definitely. I, I'm trying to think in my head if we're going to hit uh, UD. Like, I. If we're supposed we're definitely not going to, but like. I think we're definitely going to hit UD, to be honest. I, I like I feel I feel like UD UD rebirth price is gonna be hit, but it's it's gonna be very very small. It's not gonna be a lot. Uh, I'd say I'd say by like 975, uh, definitely 100 lives from now, we will have a like a like a two UD rebirth price. Um, so the setup will slow down for sure. Um, but it's okay. It's still working great right now, which is all that matters. I keep messing up though now. And if if worse comes to worse, we just remove these few walls, we put a dragon blaster and just just hope for the best. Not much else we could do at this point. Server is also definitely laggy.
20 more. Oh, bro, we're literally, like, a few DE away. Thank you. I hate when that happens, when it's, like... It's, like, a rebirth price of, like, 30-something DE, and you have, like, like 28. It's just the worst, because you're just sitting there, and you're like, bro, like the bar is all the way over here. You made me think that I have enough money to rebirth, so I started clicking. Now I don't have enough money to rebirth. Yeah, see? Okay, there we go. That was nice. We had a bunch of good just coming up the last second. And of course, the setup didn't load. Yeah, this is why I'm not very happy with the lag. Um, but it's okay. Hoping it'll be better after first sack. If I have to rejoin at a certain point, I will. But like, hoping not. We might be rebirthing faster, though, if we rejoin, so I don't know. Maybe maybe it's worth it. We've been in here for so many hours and have done so many rebirths and stuff that it's like... Just just maybe it's worth it. We'll, we'll see. I don't know yet. I might just lock the hell in once I get there. That's the plan. I don't really want to waste much time... Much, much, much time. Oh my god, words. I don't want to waste much time. And rebirth, please, honey. I'm waiting, thank you. 15. Almost down to the last hundred, boys. Almost down to the last hundred. It feels like it's been so far away for so long. It has been, it's literally been nine hours. As of a couple minutes from now, it will have been nine hours since we have started this challenge this marathon this literal fucking beast of a challenge for mh it's it's not that it's hard uh in a technical and a skill sense or even a knowledge sense it's just very demanding um to play a game for this many hours But we'll definitely uh, probably end up putting Dragon Blaster in. I, I, I feel like that's just going to end up happening, is we're going to end up putting Dragon Blaster in. Because we never ended up getting a better furnace, guys. Like, we literally never got the furnace that we wanted. It's crazy. We paid for it and just never got it. But it's okay. I'm not I'm not really too worried. Less than 10 rebirths away. It's our final 100 rebirths. It's been a journey just getting here. And we still have so much more to do. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be refreshing to start again. <laughs> Ironically, it's it's going to be quite nice to to have it easy for a little while. I mean, it'll definitely be hard again, but easy in a different sense i guess i don't know it's it's hard to explain my my brain's not thinking the the way it normally does we've been playing a lot of minor seven not the robux store we're looking at the rebirth screen 
I, I keep clicking on the, the Robux store page. Another Funky Town? I just have MH chat up on the side and I'm just reading. Seeing what everyone's saying. Community's pretty active today, which is always something that makes me happy. But we're we're one one rebirth away from nine hundred. Oh my god, it feels so nice. It was so nice getting to eight hundred. Nine hundred is about a feel absolutely amazing to finally reach remember though i am quite tired i mean i've been up since three in the morning so and i i did not unfortunately have time to nap as i've been quite busy today so all right these last hundred lives let's do this let's let's just make these clean man let's get through these as fast as possible Please no big rebirth price jump. It's n not even happening. Perfect. Perfect, dude. All right, let's just put Dragon Blaster in. Let's save. Ors will definitely be worth more as a result. All right, uh... No, we got 
I didn't look. I looked away for a minute, man. God damn it. Oh, we just totally screwed ourselves. I literally looked away to answer someone's, answer someone's DM because I had a support question. God damn. That hurts. It's okay. It's, it's just a a times 10 that I very much could have used. I'm actually quite disappointed about that, but it's okay. RAP guys. I mean, I guess it's fine now that now that we've done that. I I guess we might as well just make as much money as possible in every situation, so Damn, man. We were so careful. I looked away for one minute, I looked back, I just rebirthed, and I did not bother to look at my money. I should have spent the, like, the one DD on, like, an item or something, or however much DD I had on just, just getting rid of it. Aw, oh, crap, dude. So disappointing, but it's fine. It's only, it's gonna give us more of a challenge, as if, as if this hasn't been one enough, so... It'll be fine. I mean, dude, we're gonna have we're gonna have that extra Tesla anyways, so it's gonna be it's gonna be whatever. It's gonna be whatever for sure. Still though, like it's it's a times ten. I have every every right to be upset. Because that turns into a times a thousand. That we no longer have. As we now have two overlords. God damn it. We tried. That's all that matters. Just keep going. Nothing I can do about it. Why is it not working? Let's keep rebirthing as fast as we can. Let's keep going. Feeling we're gonna get a yep. I was gonna say we're gonna get a cool good or oh my god words, bro words. We still have so many hours more to record. Let's not start like just making words miserable this early.
Just give us money. Thank you. 75 lives and less. Why did it not work again? What is going on? It's definitely just lag. The server's been up for so long. Two DE. There we go. Okay, actually work. There we go. I could also just be tired. Maybe I'm like thinking that I'm clicking it and I'm not just like yelling at the screen like an old person uh, we're so close and we just have to do it one more time it'll it'll be easier i don't know about mentally but it, it will be easier i'm just gonna commit we'll get it we'll get it done that way I never have to put this upon myself again if I don't want to. But even then it's it's a very manageable challenge. It's you just have to have the patience. That's it. It's just a lot of waiting. going we're at a good pace right now we're getting close to that 50 rebirths left mark oh my god <sighs> it 
QN, load, beautiful. 52 more, guys, 52 more, or sorry, 62 more. Just gonna close Discord for a little while. I'm looking at DMs too much. Now I'm just reading the wiki, just trying to catch up on any info that I need. Just gonna make sure this is a smooth sailing boat, dude. Like, we just, we're just gonna get these thousand lives done. It's gonna be fast, we're gonna be quick, and I'm gonna enjoy my sleep so much after this is done. A hundred percent. I'm, I'm gonna be loving my sleep. I'm gonna be a happy fellow for sure. Fifty, fifty and counting. We, I don't even think we ended up getting a single grav. There's a lot of items that we did not end up getting. We've had terrible rebirths for so many lives. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the past 440 lives might be some of the worst rebirth streaks I've ever actually seen playing this game ever, which is pretty bad given what I've been trying to do today. Um, and then there was the Overlord situation, but it's okay. I'm hoping maybe it'll it'll work anyways, and we'll just try to get PD like really quick uh, to certain life. But I'm not gonna stress over it. It's it's gonna be easy either way. Um, we're just it's just a big upgrade we're missing, but it'll be fine. I'm not stressing. We're just gonna take advantage of shop items as much as possible, I guess, and uh, we'll make up for it. Like, we keep getting shit like Eternal Journey. I've gotten so many Eternal Journeys. It's... It's just not a good item, though. Like... I'm not gonna be using it. I'm getting, like, abominations and stuff, and it's like... Like, thanks, but I'm not gonna be using these... Ever. Oh my god. Okay, rebirth in a sec. Last, last 50, please, we're so close. I absolutely love you guys, this is... This is not something I'd, I'd do without having the motivation of being willing to do it for you guys as well. Like, like I absolutely love doing crap like this just to like say that I've done it. But dude, like I'm also going as strong as I am because I have you guys and just just love to, to do crap for you guys. Stuff to make the both of us smile. It's 
<sighs> it's worth it, man. Worth it. It might not feel it in, until we get there, but it's worth it. strategizing in my head, just making sure that the second we do that sacrifice, we have a clear vision on what is being done right away. And I think I've got it in my head pretty good. I, I really think I do. I've been here for so long that I've just kind of been thinking of things on the side. It's really just a, like a whatever to get money. Um, it's it's once I've got money, uh, like enough for like trillions, I should be able to start rebirthing effectively. Yeah, this setup ended up turning out not as good in the end, but it it got the job done, dude. We made it good, and it just it just worked. And eventually, it started to die out, but by the time it died out, it was like we were so close that it was just like just just get there. At this point. And I'm incredibly proud with um, our ability to do so. It took nine and a half hours, roughly, to get to um, first sack. Not the greatest time, uh, or a time that I was like super aiming for. But dude, to be honest, I I was guessing it could have went as bad as like 12 hours so it could have been so much worse and it definitely could have if i wasn't if i never like picked up like cannons or colliders or anything i think this would have been like a 12 hour for sack and i at that point i it probably would have been a give up situation i'm not entirely sure actually i i mean like i'm i'm pretty committed but like i also like love sleep at times when I know that I can sleep, because I'm I'm really bad with insomnia, dude, I love my sleep when I'm actually able to sleep. And lately, I've been able to sleep quite well, so. Okay. Um... Yeah, and we're just we're just gonna grind out these last couple lives. Probably start clicking now. Yep, there we go. Alright, 
All right, that drink is finally empty. Now we've just got some some nice cold water. Stay hydrated during all this, you know? Gravitational, I think that's... No, that is not my first one. Beautiful ancient temple and Ambrosia fountain. Don't need those uh, favorited anymore. We could just go for this. Answering um, someone's question in my DMs. Give me, give me one second. Rebirths. <sighs> We're getting there. We are getting there. Twenty five more guys. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's so intimidating watching that number just slowly go up. It it feels like it's never gonna reach there, but it's also like like so close. Like like it really is so close. It's it's been sub one thousand for so long though that it, it feels like it's so infinitely far away still. And then um we'll have to just do it all over again. We're we're just gonna go straight in a first sack. I'm not even gonna like do like like a shrine or anything. We're <laughs> we're just going straight into it. It's gonna suck just doing that, but it's uh it's it's gonna be worth it in the end. I'll uh I'll save some time and you know we'll just let's just continue this challenge. Rebirth price. Never really got too bad, to be honest. Definitely over assumed. Yeah, we got DD again there, so I don't think I'd, I would have been able to stop it anyways. 
the setup just seems to have really good ores. I, I think I think the the situation depend on, on a if it survives the dragon blaster, and if it's a high value ore coming from breach loader, it's guaranteed to get DD from what it seems like. Because those those can be as high as nine hundred billion upon spawn, and then I'm assuming the dragon blasters both hit. And just cause the ore to be like crazy good while also hitting all of the other upgrade beams. I think it gives DD, so it's like I don't know. It's it's a good setup though. It's actually pretty crazy how well this works. Good stuff, guys. We we truly did make it to uh, to thousand with this setup. We've been using this for so many lives. I mean, we've changed it a bit, but like, bro, like, like the setup's pretty much been the same since like the 200s. It's just been such a long grind getting there. And I mean, it's it's gonna be the same thing later. I'm just gonna try to, at all times, to keep the setup as short and as fast as possible and not make any additional money if needed. Just, just for the sake of getting as as quick rebirth as we can for as many lives as possible um like like right now i'm pretty much skipping one life uh even though i'm not skipping a life but like like money wise i'm i'm essentially skipping a life that's cool i'm hoping to get a setup really really consistent uh money wise and how much it makes so that that way i can consistently get like just enough for how much i need to rebirth and then i could just add one or two items over the course of the next couple hundred lives and that simply just be enough so i don't know we'll uh, we'll find out we're gonna find out very soon 17 more lives to go until we're finally at first sacrifice and then we're just locking in until the very end and then uh we'll have those 10 rebirths to do those are going to be probably the most draining 10 rebirths i'll ever do in this game at life one but um Again, it's it's going to be so worth it. I cannot wait to put this video out. I'm going to be so proud of myself for doing this. It's it's just a lot of time, guys. That's it's really it. 9 and a half hours already, like We got this, boys. We got this. Thirteen left, guys. Twelve left, guys. Yeah, uh, just rebirth. Get us there. Thanks. Here we go. This is going to be our way of doing a shrine. You ready? We're going to do this. Ten. I know these numbers are going to be terrible in terms of how I build them. I don't care. Nine. 
There we go. Fractured reality, finally. Oh, wait, never mind. We've had one. Eight. Terrible eight. Jesus. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. That's fucking awful. Seven. I keep forgetting to buy the conveyors to do it. There we go. Seven. Six. Okay, can I have my money now? Please? Please, game? I'm just watching the top bar right now. There we go. Yes, thank you. I know you guys are like right near the top bar. You've been there the whole day though. I, I promise I haven't just been staring at you guys. I've been just waiting for my money. Five. Four. That's a... <laughs> a terrible four. It is an actually terrible four. Three. Wait, we gotta build it first. Hold on. Three. That's, yeah, that's a terrible three as well. Come on, please just give me the money. Just, just, just please, just end this. Two. Yay, we're just gonna send me on a little conveyor trip, I guess. Here we go, boys. Oh my god, it is it is halfway over. Oh, okay. Um let's let's just do this. Okay. Let's just, let's just go. Okay. We are S minus one. Um, immediately off the, off the bat, let's, um, let's just get money right now. Just enough for one of these. We're, we're just gonna probably go through the same regular strategy as far as obtaining money goes. Uh, it reset all of my layouts, okay. Okay. And then we'll do this until we can... Oops. Oops. Again. Oops. Because I have these, so I might as well just use them. Okay, beautiful. Love to see it. Now we can do this. And we can go here. We can get a cell furnace. We're going to take the cell furnace. We're going to just give ourselves a bunch of money.
Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these, put this, this. gonna go about getting to like billions ish just the same way we regularly do it doesn't need to change much it's a pretty good strategy as it is Stupid placement bug. Okay. I'm also sad because now I don't have my righteous bill anymore. <laughs> or my venom shank. I'm so slow everywhere I go. Okay, nice. And then... We could take all of this. Okay, let's get like a good setup going. Um We need 30 of these. I'd say five of these. Two of these. Of course, one of these. Um Okay, I would say let's do this. Definitely just get five and five. Oh, let's also like upgrade this really quick. Hold on. Just wait for one of these to get to uh, billions. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, it's it's already making so much so much more money. And then we'll do this. Okay, that's what that's what I want to be doing. Then we'll get a ramp. And I'd say at least one of these. And that's it. Oh wait, we need a gate as well. So, we'll do this. And then how much for these? Uh, I might as well just get them, sure. Okay, a pink and a sender now. Oh my god, we gotta do another sacrifice. Okay, it'll be worth it. Let's just get it done. Okay. So, let's go here. Let's get, um, let's get some diamond mines. Let's get a tracker. Let's get a blue. And then 
a blue, and then... This... Then a gate. And then teleporter... Sender. And then a pink sender. And then over here we'll put... A pink receiver. Just a lot of military grade conveyors for our portables. Four, five. Oops. Put another gate here. Let's get a furnace. Uh, I don't really care what it is. We'll do this. Okay. And then we'll save. And now we're just going to wait for at least some of the ores to be finished. It doesn't need to be all of them just to save time, but like just some of them at the very least. God, man, I just did a full sacrifice. I haven't even had like time to process it. It's it's crazy. We we actually just did that. These these next few lives are gonna be tough, and then uh, it's 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 gonna be so easy from there. Okay, so many of these are worth so much already. And they're not really going up much from here. But they'll all be worth roughly a billion soon, so I might as well just keep waiting. Some of them are, are almost done. It's, it's not even that the loop itself is slow, it's that it's going through one way up high at a time. Because I didn't, I didn't want to sit around and just wait. So, I don't know. Even if I had another one, just one more, it would have been so much faster. Okay. This is pretty good, I'd say. Alright, let's see this. Oh, dude, we went straight to QD. Okay. Now... This matters so much less now. It's gonna be so easy. Um... Let's do Freon. Let's get 10 of these. Oh, 
Okay. What other items could I throw in here to make this better? Uh, we could get two of these for sure. So just better, better scanners, reset the upgrade tags, have it go through a magnifier, and then here, and then I'll just do this, easy furnace. He should hopefully get us to, uh, rebirth. Okay, hi, cutie. Um, what else do I want to add? I mean, now, just two of these. And then we'll probably throw in Schrodingers and stuff. Okay, awesome. So... Now what we'll do is... I'd say like... Just like eight of these or something. This is a really nice way to do this, actually. It does work quite well. And then we'll just put this here. Hopefully we'll get ready for another rebirth already. I see some QD ores there, so it is possible we get lucky here. QN? No. Close, but no. I don't even know if it's working with or magnifi magnifier. I don't think it is, but I figured I'd just try it. Or no, it doesn't because it has a cache limit. I'll fix it in the next setup. I'm not, 
I'm not worrying about it. I, I was like hoping it would work, so I just threw it in, but it's not doing anything. Bro. Okay. Okay. Let them all go through like one or two more times. Oh, we could also totally change the mine to just be better at looping. I, I do not need to be using this anymore. Oh, we just killed all of those ores, which is fine, but, like, still. Uh, those could die. Okay. Now what we'll do is this and this. And then how much is it for one of these? 3QD. Okay, wait, so I might have an idea of forming in my head going forward, guys. We're just gonna let these loop first. We're not even gonna bother talking about it yet. I just I just wanna see this work first. And we might be able to bring down the first few setups to be under ten minutes per rebirth, which is perfect. Under five, even, would be fantastic. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to let these stop looping now. Okay, works. Let's go. Quantum War Cleaner, beautiful. That's that's the kind of thing we want to see. Oh my god, please, please. Okay. Awesome. Actually, we'll just wait for this. Beautiful. We've got a whole rhythm going already. Unfortunately, it's going to be very, very, very hard for anything to fuck up that rhythm. Let's get ourselves a decent amount of money. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's buy this. Let's put this here. this for a second. Now we wait for billions.
think I just I just think we've got such a good idea going in my head. And then the uh, the next layout, I'm gonna say we have to wait for about like 15 billion. I'd say is a, a good waiting point. Oh, we're gonna be here a while, dude. We're gonna be here a while. Might as well get comfortable. I'm gonna go to like like 27 billion or something really quick because like I don't know like I might as well I not like 27 but like like 22 because I want to see if I could buy one extra of those and I like in the end it'll be faster to have double the loop speed for that second uh, setup because God it's so slow so I think this is unironically just faster and I might as well just at that point you know what I mean Okay, um, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of this now. Ah, oh, crap. We're, we're not there just yet. How much more do we need? Uh, like a billion and a half. Okay, uh, we'll just leave this really quick. Okay, so now we know that we need more. That we need roughly, um, what is it? Uh, in, in order to get to where we're trying to get, we need about i'd say 25 billion going forward next time okay next okay perfect delete save Now we wait. Just so now I have a, a decent amount of ores to look through. I'm gonna stretch for a second. I'll be I'll be back. I'm gonna let these loot. Okay, well guys, it's been roughly 10 hours, and given how fast that first rebirth was, I feel very confident that we could do this in like, like three or four hours. It is, it is entirely possible. Dude, the double loop definitely helps a lot. All right, we're gonna put the hat back on for the first time in a while. We're just gonna lock in and have have the game sound. We've been we've been without game sound for hundreds of lives. I mean, you guys have been able to hear it, but I I took it off for a little while. I just wanted to zone out. All right. Oh my God, please, thank you. No.
Oh, this is gonna go crazy with quantum now. Cause that's literally a, a, a 16. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, it's gonna go so great. Trillions? Quadrillions, okay. Okay, we can make some changes to this. Okay, and then... Definitely just need quantum in here. Awesome. All right, um, we'll just leave that actually. And then what I'll do for now is we'll just switch Send all the good ores in, and let the new batch loop to save time. Did we save? Yes, we did. QN already. Yep, the idea worked. Okay. And then, um, now that these are mostly done, what we'll do is orbitals. My original idea is that I wanted to try to use the flaming uh, Freons because they're faster for loops, but I honestly don't need to, uh, as this does a lot of the heavy lifting for the work for me. So what we could do is we could just grab a couple Schrodingers... Throw them onto the back of the setup here, and just just work. It just works. Yep, there we go. Aw, oh, come on, that's a bad one. Okay, um, well, actually, no, it's not. That's good for this kind of stuff. I actually ended up using Massive Time in mine. I ate my words on that. Oh, wow, billions. Okay. That's actually not too bad. We just gotta wait for one more. I'll do one more. Okay. Alright, and now we gotta get to like 25 ish billion. Man, I I just love that we have we have a good routine right away on how to be doing this. And we don't have to farm for RP or anything, so we, we just went straight in a reaper thing.
Um, ten more bill, and then we'll be good. Okay, let's do this, open this up, this can be removed, this gate, it's pretty useless. So yeah, I don't know, it's, it's just pointless. We'll wait until uh, we have around 50 ores again and remove. Wait, let's actually do this for a sec. Okay, that's fine. Some ores will just be late. Okay. It is sad though we are hoping for upgraders so mineral wheel uh nature's grip is another good one because that's that's just gonna make it extremely easy to get to high values fast uh it might actually make it so i could skip this layout is if i get a nature's grip or a industrial uh fire crystal mine but i don't know Okay, we've got a lot of good ores already. I might just send them uh, relatively soon. I think I'm gonna wait for a couple of these to hit a billion given we have the double loop now. Yeah, so it's much faster. Much, 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 much faster. There's no point in waiting for a triple loop. It's honestly quite fine as it is, so. All right, that's fine. And then this needs to go here. And then transfer this. Yep, there we go. All right, let's just get a few of these ores in. Once they're done, once they're done uh, looping. No, let's let those loop. No reason to stop the loop.
We don't need that anymore. Nice. Okay. Then... What we'll do is this... This... And this... Six. Easy. Yes, man. Oh my god. It, the game just loves me. It absolutely loves me. We're getting, like, the perfect items now. Oh my god. It's so free. It's actually so free. And then... Yeah, we don't even need this anymore. So now, this and this. Alright. Let's... Let's try something. We're gonna try to make this as fast as possible going forward. Oh man, we had we just had such a lucky rebirth. Nothing else matters the way that does. I don't even need industrial. Like that's just we're set because of how easy these setups are to use with uh the sacrifice item. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this. Okay. And now we're gonna get um we're gonna get everything ready for the third layout, so that way we could just um We can just make this really, really easy. Okay, this... Um... I'd say uh, we'll just get, like, ten of them for now. Two of these... Get this... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're gonna use six and then a dream maker. Then one of these here. And then beautiful. Oops, wait. those go in send them god let's do this all right perfect 
get one of these. Another good item, too, by the way. Like, a, another very, very, very good item. So, that makes me incredibly happy. It's only getting easier. It's it's only getting easier as we do these, which is good. Okay, let's send these in. Oh, dude, I was gonna say that would have been crazy. And then delete, save. Not want a place. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Hopefully, SX, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that was definitely gonna be SX. Oh, dude, we got a good furnace at least. Okay, so now we have this and this. Okay, now this. Okay, and now we could just load this. I don't have, I actually don't think it's it's better than uh, Alter. I mean, it definitely is with Flaming or I'm just, I, I can't be asked. First 10 lives are almost done already. In comparison to how they're going to be without the, the sack item, dude, it is it is going so, so well. To think we're, we're less than a thousand lives away. We've been doing this for so many hours that at one point we were, we were 2,000 lives away. <sighs> just gotta, just gotta keep going, man. Okay. Okay, nice.
I love that I've just made this so automated. It's crazy. Already doing a very good job, and we're only life six. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Another rebirth. Hoping for a good item. I don't really care what. It just just something useful. Yup, this guy, dude. I'm telling you, this this game already knows what it it just needs to give me. Oops, wrong one. And then what we'll do is this. Oh, that's crazy. Wait, so does that mean? Dude, that literally means we could just do this. Oh my god, dude. This game is a, a joke now. Okay, um... How much do we need a rebirth? 175. An absolute W of an item that only took me so many, so many chances to get that I never got. So, yay. Okay. Um, okay, in all seriousness, though, good item. Love to see it. Alright, let's get to QN. Awesome. And now, we'll take one of these away, put this here... Put this here. Yeah, it's pretty nice, though. Uh, just slowly, slowly getting rid of Schrodinger's and um, eventually slowly getting rid of the loop. Especially once I have that third Tesla, dude. Once I get that third Tesla, it's, it's game over. Just going as fast as we can, guys. Again, the first hundred lives take the longest because you have to do all the looping. So, I mean, based on how this is going, it, it things are looking good, as as I've been promising. We did a lot of planning within my own head, really, just throughout all those lives, just kind of sitting and thinking of strategies, and I think it paid off. I mean, so far, so good, but we'll see. Never, never should speak too soon. Uh, oh, I keep making that mistake. Okay, um... No, not basic furnace, bro. What am I doing? Okay, here. Wait for, like, a QN, and then withdraw. 
440, 490, 740. Okay, one. Okay, we only need like 200 QD. Never mind. We should not be going for that much. And then we have a Super Schrodinger, but I don't really see a point in using one of those. God, man, I'm tired. It'll be worth it, though. All of this is going to be worth it. And not in a very long time, it will have paid off. Just keep going. Just don't even worry about the time. Don't worry about the numbers. Just focus. Okay. There we go. We're already about to hit life 10. So, so fast. good actually I mean I only have one fire crystal right now like I could pair it with this but I mean it's it's not gonna be the make or break for getting QN faster or anything so it's fine just gonna keep using the setup the way it is rebirth price 250 QN not bad All right, now hope for a Tesla, a BBB, uh, maybe a BBB. I mean, I don't really want to have to use it because it's a RNG upgrader, but uh, a Tesla would be crazy and a Newtonia mine would be crazy as well. Um, Newtonium is for 20 plus, unfortunately. So, okay, a Unium mine and a Tesla, both of those would be crazy drops to be getting. Okay, switch. Uh, what are some others? Azure would be good. Catalyst would be good. Astral would be good. Pizza Blaster would be good. And Banana Split would be good. Those are all the ideals. J essentially just the upgraders. But Tesla... Is like the make or break for all of this, dude. Uh, actually, not a bad item. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Put this here. Okay, and then put this here. Remove these, put this and this. And then... Oh my god. Much faster way of getting higher amounts of money. And then something we could do now, I guess, is let's do this and this. And then let's do, um, I don't know what the crap it's called, um, but we'll buy eight of these and speed up the loop drastically. They're so much faster, bro. Be rebirthing in like a minute at this point. Okay, I do have it saved. I just wanted to be sure.
All right, this is done. Oh my God, man, it's so efficient. The only thing I'm worried about now is that we won't get like a Tesla or something for a long time. I'm gonna be so upset if that happens. I'm I'm just praying that the RNG is on our side and we get a Tesla and just, just let the game in its pace just, just zoom. It will quite literally zoom if we get this. Unia mine would also go crazy. Oh my god, it's so GG's. It's so GG's. It's so over, dude. It's so over. Okay. I want to try something. Oops. Oh my god, dude. What am I doing? See, I'm just tired. Okay. Let's get some money. Okay, so it makes QN, it's just not strong enough without the loop. So what we could do is, um, this. Unironically, I'm I'm hoping maybe. Uh, no, those won't work just yet. 
Actually, maybe. No. Oh wait, hold on. I think I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did. So it might work, hold on. We will find out. It does work, okay. And what we can do is this. Alright, we just have a much more automated setup now. Okay, basic iron. Uh, another quantum ore cleaner. It's not great, but... Hey man, at least we're not looping anymore. We're saving time. Okay. Uh, we just need to get to, like, QN. Or, like, some decent QD. Yep, there we go. And then it just works. So much faster. Take these off for a little bit. I'm just not comfortable right now. Okay, and then load in setup one. Withdraw, load, and just wait. And I mean, like, it's pretty good now um, as well because, hold on, we can make it even stronger. To this centering conveyor. Flaming. And then what is also nice is if I end up getting um, a vortex chamber soon, 
we'll just shove that at the end. Did we save? Yes. Another Tesla? I mean, it's not what I'm looking for. It's not necessarily bad, it's just not, not what I need. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for a Q on every time then. Might as well. A decent item, not really something I'd like to use because of the education system for it. Given it has to, like... Some people don't actually know that that's the term, but it's it's called education, and it, it has to educate the ore. Um, and that's why it upgrades over time, and you can't upgrade during the education process. So once the ore begins educating, you can't upgrade it at all. Otherwise, the ore dies, so. Not a very good one to use uh, for speed. It's just good for, like, like getting DD and stuff. It's crazy. We actually made it to first sacrifice in a day. Oh my god. All right, let's get ready. Okay, really, like I get the frozen justice is like all that you want to give me, but there are there are a variety of upgraders that you could be giving me instead. I'm I'm extremely grateful for the fact that you gave me a Tesla like right away, as well as the essential items like you know fire crystal and nature's grip to actually get a like get plenty of rebirths right away but please man like like i've been here for 10 hours almost 11 hours at this point like let's just start getting me all the stuff that's going to get me to a point of completion within the next couple hours because we could, like, we're doing this so fast. We've already got an automated setup at life 18. Like, oh my god. We just have a, an annoying money maker right now because we don't have a unium. Uh, but once once we get a unium, we'll, we'll literally just be able to, to place it down. Perfect. Terrible, bro. We're getting the worst items now. Come on. Soon we're going to be on a Newtonium grind because that's life 20 and you've, you've given me pretty mid stuff. Come on. I, I know you can give me good items. We've we've had so many good runs today. It's just it's just a matter of do you want to and I'm I'm really encouraging you to say yes to that. Um Setup is crazy. I don't know. I, I absolutely love this. We made it automated. Uh, we made it so 
the like the loop is just enough upgraders to give just enough to like the point where I, I'm I'm comfortable in terms of money. Uh, and if I need to, I could just add another row and it'll probably probably give me a decent amount of extra cash. Alright, I should be able to rebirth in a sec here. Big bad blaster, you know what? Unironically, I'd take it. I I did say that if uh I didn't get good enough items and I did get a BBB, I would be using it. I do stand by that. Uh, I'm pretty good right now on items, luckily, but if it gets to that point, it is there. How fast are we rebirthing? In like a minute and 10 is crazy. By the way, we're, we're rebirthing in like a minute. That means within the hour, we should be at life 100. Rough, roughly, like, like roughly, not, we're not at life 100, but like, like to that point where we're already pushing the first 100 lives. And it's only going to become faster once we don't have this, and once we don't have this, it's so free, because it's just going to be this with, um, colliders, which I'll be, I'll be putting in soon. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, you love me. You actually understand. Unium next, maybe, and I'd be happy. Because that would take away one of these setups. It would actually take away two steps. The original uh, iron mine placement that I have to do with nature's, the withdraw, this uh, first layout, and the withdraw for this layout. All of that could go away if I get a unium. Um... do this and it should be it should be fairly easy to get unium as well it's a it's a common drop We just need more upgraders so that way we can get rid of all of this comfort comfortably. Sorry. Comfortably. Which is becoming much easier every time we get a new upgrader. Because we're now making consistent SX right away. And I mean it'd definitely be possible with uh BBB. It's it's just if I want to or not. And I really don't, but this setup is uh, pretty incredible so far. And it, I could make it sub minute. I definitely can if I just shoved a collider in. Um, but I also don't want to get rid of like the times six that this is giving right now because it's a times two, times two, or no, sorry, so it's a time eight. Uh, sorry, it's a times eight uh, right now. It's it's pretty strong. So I actually don't want to get rid of the portables just yet. But we'll we'll figure it out. We don't know exactly what we're gonna do just yet. Again, we go in with no plan. It is just a matter of I think we have a general idea though. Okay, get ready to rebirth soon. Oh, dude, the game fully gets me now. I, I think it actually just wants to see me succeed. Um, here. Get ready to withdraw. Okay, um... Okay. 
Okay, colliders. Two, three, four, five. And then plasma conveyors. One, two, three, four as well. Oh, dude, we're getting SP with this. Pizza Blaster again. Okay, nice. And then load. And then withdraw. Wait, no, that's not enough. It's okay. Not a big deal. I was just, I was just ready too early. And just let's let's see the times that we're we're capable of getting now. Big Bertha is crazy, not useful yet though. Actually, that's not true, it is useful. Eh, I would just shove it at the end, but like that's essentially what putting it in front of a mine does. So like, I don't know, I don't wanna have to like put it in the setup now and take time to do that and then just to take it back out like the same purpose those paint eye ore just do not like to move fast bro okay let's get ready here we go a uh, decent item probably not gonna end up using it Oh, dude. Yep. The game knows what I want. I've been saying it.
Oops. Yeah, we'll just let's do this. keep making this stronger and eventually we could get rid of the Freons. Saved. Yes, it is. Couple hundred QD. Okay, so like the six, uh, like the 500 mark is fine. Half a quintillion is enough for the setup. God, man. We we're just flying now. It's already going so much smoother than the, uh, the, f the, the, not the first act, the pre sac did. Thirty seconds at life thirty, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Would you like? We're already on such a good pace. It's crazy. We literally had a 30 second rebirth. Twenty seven. We're already sub thirty, guys. Azure, beautiful. I actually want to try this really quick. What if I just do this? Okay, setup still holds up well. Three seconds. Okay, so now this only needs like 400 QD. Bro, we're just we're just gonna fly through this. It's just a matter of now. I need to get as many upgraders as I can, and I need to get really really lucky in that process because some of them, like banana split, can be a little annoying to get. Um, but like astral predictor will be good. Um. Oh, Vortex Chamber, it's it's awesome, bro. I'm telling you, we're our luck right now is just insane. I say what, like right here?
two, three. Clockwork, love to see it. saved catalyst oh my god we're just we're getting so lucky right now it's crazy Banana split, and I'm a happy, happy man for a while. We need Astral as well. Okay, we need Astral. Um, Banana. And... So as far as upgraders go, that's that's actually it for a little while. This is this is already giving me octillions, dude. We're at, we're at very we're doing very well. I'm gonna get to life fifty and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch for a little bit and uh, probably go use the bathroom and just like like wash my face and just wake myself up a little bit because I've been up for twenty two hours uh, at this point. I've I've been awake for a while, so like. You know, I'm, I'm getting tired. But we're doing so well with this that, like, like I have to, I just, I just have to get it done at this point. Like, we're doing so well. Um, it's gonna be a little hard to keep this as fast as it is. Uh, I'm worried, but... I don't know. I, I have ideas. We also just, we need a better mine. We need Newtonium ASAP. Sage is pretty good. I actually might uh, switch it to Sage. That's that's pretty good. But eh, it's fine right now. Actually, that's not gonna do a crazy amount of like anything. I do need a better mine though because uh, what that's only worth thousands. So like, imagine the jump from that to like the billions that uh, Newtonium is. Like we're we're going up a suffix for starting. It'll be great. Big bad blaster W. Scorching heat, I'm just I'm just not gonna use it, to be honest. God, 
I just, I just, it's, it's so crazy to see like that I was right that the ideas that I had were good and are definitely helping the run. I'm, I'm glad to see that all of the mental note taking over the past like like 11 and a half hours dude has just paid off and it's paying off very well um we definitely have had some great rng again i'm so surprised we got some of these items in the lives that we did um but it's okay i mean like i'm i'm just excited to get newtonium it's gonna make this setup so op for a while, I mean, we'll we'll probably be getting like Nanillions with it, um, and Decillions with it just because of that. Because I mean, dude, this literally gives thousands, and we're bringing it up to Octillions with just a line. So imagine what like a billion dollar ore is going to be worth. You know what I mean? So Newtonium is on the hunt right now, or uh, we're on the hunt for Newtonium. I'm so tired. You have no idea. I'm very excited for you guys to see this video, though. It's it's just going to be cool to to reflect on. To look back at and stuff as well for me. Azure. Okay, I've gotten a lot of the same upgraders. I mean, like, it's fine. At the end of the day, these are evolvable. And I don't need RP going forward for a whole lot, so... I would not be opposed. You know, it'd be nice if I had an Overlord device as well, but, you know, accidents happen. Uh, it's not really what I'm looking for. We'll do a couple more rebirths. I'm feeling lucky. And then we'll go uh, use the bathroom and stretch. Because my legs hurt quite a bit. go give us the money vortex again uh it's not what i'm looking for man i mean i mean it's not terrible but it's not what i'm looking for dude okay Another Unium. I mean, it's okay. Again, though, it's not what I'm looking for. You know, the reason, part of the reason I, I don't use Unium is because of the terribly slow drop time. It's not so slow, but it's it's slow enough to that one mine is not good with a, like, a situation like this, where like some of the ores go fast, some of them go slow. I'm trying to get more ores in for the chance of more ores going fast. I don't know why uh, they don't work. It might be a Painite thing um, and why they don't always go fast. Because, like, the other time I did this, it, it worked incredibly fast um, in the last sacrifice. So, like, I don't know. It seems to just be the ores, though. Because they're, they're quite large. So, I don't know. That's my best guess. Is it's it's literally just the ores. Green tea latte, I'm not using that anymore. I mean, like, if I have to, sure. It wouldn't be hard to just shove in an elevator right here at the end, but it, it takes time to use, for sure. It's, it's definitely a, a setup killer in terms of time, and now that it'd be going through three times, it's just not worth it. Unless I absolutely have to, of course. Alright, Newtonium right here. Not an Illuminator, bro. Again, like I said, it's just... With the whole education thing, it's just not worth it.
Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm just like turning off my alarms for the day because I'm not gonna be going to bed at a normal time, so. Oh my God, yes, thank you. Hopefully a Venom Shank soon. <sighs> Bro, Frozen Justice, it's like my seventh one, and I'm I'm not even life 70. It's it's more than like a tenth of my rebirth items, dude. <laughs> Is Frozen Justice. Alright, um I'm gonna do one more and then uh, I'll be right back. Because I was feeling lucky, but I'm not getting lucky. So, I don't know. There's there's terrible RNG right now. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, dude. These Reborns are terrible, dude. What is going on? Alright, I'll be right back. What's up, guys? I'm back. Dreamers might, really. I mean, an item I don't have, I'll take it, but still, dude, like, please. Just give me Newtonium. I don't know why, but every time I play this game, and I play through earlier game, every time I play through early game, it is impossible to get Newtonium at a, at a reasonable life. It's the worst. I don't know why. It's 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 specifically Newtonium. Sometimes Tesla, but it's it's usually Newtonium. Um And I feel like I always a very I always have a very easy time getting um Atomium, however, but never Newtonium. I'm actually curious on something really quick. That seems like a like a good idea actually. Let's take this, do that. Make sure it's saved. It is.
definitely make this faster. All right, Newtonia mine, please, please just, just like apply yourself to my inventory, please. Setup goes wild. The fact we still have a, a sub 30 at this point in the game is crazy. Cause like we're now at a point where I'm at I'm roughly gonna be doing at least two rebirths a minute, at least until the end of this challenge. Um other than the last ten lives, uh post second sack, but that's fine. That's that's definitely an exception to this holding anyways in terms of how I have to go about it. Like it's literally like it just goes back to the very first 10 lives and the strat I did and uh, hoping I get good items. So like if I get like a nature's grip on one of those, it's it's free. But like if I just get like a massive diamond mine every time, it's it's going to be awful. And it's just going to be doing doing full rebirths on life one, which is so tiring. Um, and I, I want to avoid having to use things like cannons and stuff because I'm going to be tired. I'm not going to want to set them up. Um, so I don't know. It's, we'll, we'll find out. It's going to be fine. We're, we're going to have fun. It's going to be easy and we're, we're goaded. That's all I know. We're almost to the 10th of the way there already. Like we're going fast. It's just time consuming. That's it. That's been this whole thing this whole time is it's just time consuming. Solar Flare, I don't need it. SX. It's probably looping their second right now. Here we go. Yeah, we we definitely could put like two BBBs, one on each side right here. And uh that would that would secure the setup for sure. Actually might do that. But we we have it very consistent right now, so like I don't I don't want to mess with it. It's just a great setup right now. Until we can get Newtonium to make it even better. Cause like it's just a matter of that these ore values aren't very good and that I could take I can literally take stuff out if I wanted to for the sake of making Newtonium just be so consistent. and making this setup just as fast as possible. And the ores would also move better too, so it's like, just give us Newtonium, please. Somehow we did not have enough money for the setup. That was weird. Usually it's so fast now with both the uh, Unium mines. Vortex. I mean, I'm already using one. I don't see a reason to use another, so... If I did, I wouldn't be using it there.
<sighs> tired. We're gonna be tired the rest of this challenge, unfortunately. Like it's it's just gonna happen. We've been up for too long, but it's all right. We're gonna power through. We're just gonna get it done. Staying optimistic while I'm awake is what's gonna help me. So we're doing very very good though, uh, and I'm not even I'm not even just saying that like. We're almost 100 lives in already, and it's been maybe an hour-ish. I don't know. I kind of forgot when I actually got here. So, I didn't, like, log it or anything. I, I just went straight in. Again, I'm very curious to see if anyone's actually, like, watching this whole thing. Like, like, I can't imagine anyone do it. Anyone would do it. Sorry. Um, I can't imagine anyone would do it, but I'm also, like, I wouldn't be surprised if someone is quite literally still watching. And, like, there's just, that, like, that one person who's just like, you know what? I'll watch it. I have nothing better to do. It's this weekend, you know? Love Miner Saving. For some reason, you love my videos, and you just decided to watch this. I'd be very surprised. But if if you're somehow there and you're doing this, I mean, love you, dude. Like, thanks. <laughs> I I I feel appreciated. If even if nobody is, dude, I'm I'm still gonna feel just as appreciated. This was made. This was not made with the goal of asking and encouraging people to actually watch it in full. <laughs> it, it is more of just a concept uh, video and just, just something that I've been wanting to put out for uh, months, if not years. It's just I, I have never found the motivation or the time to do it. And I don't know, I was just I was free and I was like, you know what? I returned from St. Louis. I've been enjoying making content. Um, I wouldn't mind plugging this into a video editor and just rendering it, so why not? You know? Uh, Cause I gotta edit the intro and that's gonna take, uh, it's gonna take a couple minutes. It's not gonna take long. It's just, it's a matter of, well, dude, we're just not gonna get Newtonium. Uh, it's a matter of, it takes a long time to render videos for me and uh i mean this is gonna take eight hours to render of just not being able to use my pc at all so like i don't know we'll find out dude i mean i'm grateful for the two teslas don't get me wrong but i mean please man Alright, we're gonna get Newtonium, bro. I think I'll probably put Sage in at some point soon, too. Probably once I get uh, Newtonium going, I might as well. Finally put Sage Redeemer in. 
because uh, Dream Maker is it's kind of pointless to use a shop furnace pass like I don't know like like a hundred. I'm probably gonna get rid of this as well, the Big Bertha at the end. At least probably. I I don't know for certain if I will or not, but I would not mind getting rid of it. It 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 slows the setup down more than anything. For such a small upgrade and. Uh, Getting Newtonium is going to be a big enough boost for a while that I I could just take it out. And so that's that's the plan right now is to get Newtonium and take out Big Bertha. I mean, we're just going to put Big Bertha next to Newtonium probably. I might try to use Newtonium without Big Bertha for a while just because again faster it doesn't need to go through the conveyor as it falls it can just drop right into the setup um so i don't know we'll 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 see uh. Frozen Justice still, bro. I'm getting really tired of this, actually. Like, we have so many of them. We have nine, dude. Okay, SX. SP will be very soon. Or just straight to Octillions. I was gonna say Clockwork was new, but I realized it's already in the setup. It is 30 SX. Nope, Octillion. Let's go. Oops. I mean, BBBs are nice. I'm not going to be opposed this time to using BBBs and blasters more. That seemed like a pretty good idea to just throw them at the end of the setup, and it would uh, it would just help you generally enough to uh, to do any just casual boosting that was needed. ores for the first ore in the unium like money maker thing i keep getting like the worst ores and then i try to buy the thing and then i can't so it's so annoying I mean, at this pace, I don't know if we're gonna make it by 14 hours. I'd say probably by 15 or 16. So probably another like four, five hours, but um, I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to just find out. Ugh. So tired. There's no, like, coffee or anything at this hour for me to have, so. It's just me and my, like, my will to get this done. Bye. 
Yes, man, you already know what's up. We finally got a Newtonium. Okay, thank God. Okay, remove this, remove this. And, um, just, just do this. Just drop it straight into the setup. Actually, that's not too good of an idea. It's not bad in concept, but it's better for the ore to be centered. So, unfortunate, but fine. Also, it is much better. We're already getting decillions out of this setup, dude. This is literally gonna last us so long. And it does seem faster as well now. Now that uh, the ores actually slide the way they're supposed to. We're also done in 21 seconds. It's crazy. So we're, we're getting to that like three rebirths a minute pace, which is really good. And it won't stay that way forever, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Right now our setup is incredibly fast. It'll get easier as it goes on as well, so I'm not, not too stressed. First hundred lives, let's do this. <sighs> One more. And we're finally 10% of the way there, which was pretty quick, I'd say. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do some math really quick. Hold on. I mean, okay, like if we were to have perfect pace right now, this was we returned the items from escrow. I didn't even have any items in escrow, dude. I literally had no items in escrow. Um, if we were to go at a perfect pace, it would take five hours as of right now, which is not gonna, yeah, it does not sound great. But um, if it needs to happen, it will. I'm hoping to just speed this up more and more. Another Newtonia mine, love to see it.
Oh my god, please, just rebirth, thank you. Um, once I get a Tomium, which can be at any point soon, uh, things will pick up pace as well. And once I get just new things in general, like uh, Blind Justice, it'll be better. Uh, new upgraders, you know, just stronger upgraders. But um, hey, at least at least we've got a pretty good setup going here. And the ores move very consistently in terms of speed. Uh, it's not getting stuck on every ore anymore or slowing down on every ore anymore. Like it's pretty much guaranteed that like one of the first few ores that goes is gonna fling through each time, which is really, really nice. So I don't know. I mean, like I think now I'm just just gonna rock with this setup for a while. I don't know how to make it faster. Like it is one line with the, the, the triple Tesla, which triple Tesla is probably just what's taking a while, but that's fine. That's, that's guaranteeing me money. So I might just keep it. There's nothing else I could do. I mean, like, I don't know. I, I think it's fine. I think I'm just overthinking. This is, this is literally almost enough to get me to life a thousand, money-wise. It is almost enough when it's, uh, when it's, it's used fully. So, that's crazy, by the way. Like, genuinely. It is actually crazy that this works as well as it does. But again, uh, I'm gonna need a better furnace. Um... Other upgraders are just generally going to be good. Ah. I'm going to be here for a long time, though, no matter what. I mean, for me, it would be great if it was sub-20. 
I'm so surprised I, I couldn't manage to get it to be like a sub 10. Like, I, it's literally one line. Uh, everything uses cannons and colliders. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know what else to do to make it faster. Dude, blind justice, GG's.
Let's see. Forgetting that now, like, literally one ore in, and I could uh, spawn in the setup. Saves a lot of time now. I think I know a way I could cut down a bunch of time on this setup. Unironically.
Okay. Uh, I've been talking with a couple of people in Miner's Haven chat for a little while. That explains the silence. And um, just trying to see like what optimizations we could make. And truthfully, none. I mean, I, I've, I thought of the idea that um, Tesla is a very slow item. So putting it at the end of the cannon line would be a good idea. I mean, I think I think this is about as fast as you can get. I don't know. I mean, unless unless I can get the ores to launch farther and more aggressively, that's that's really the end goal is just to get the ores to move faster. Um, however, it's now definitely a faster setup now that you know it doesn't have to like kind of like it doesn't slowly move through the Tesla every time anymore. It it just goes straight into the cannon, which is helping a lot. Um, and as a result, now we're getting consistent sub-20, uh, or at least it went from, like, a 22 second to, like, uh, more of a sub-20, um, so, I don't know, we're just promising our ourselves better, fa uh, better and faster times, so, I think it's a good idea, I think it worked well, um, and, I don't know, right now things are just fine. Things are simply just fine right now. Yeah, 18 seconds, 18 seconds, 18 seconds, 19 seconds, yep. One forty five. We're almost a fifth of the way there. Slowly getting there, guys. Slowly getting there. It's definitely going faster. Like, it's without a doubt, it's going faster. A lot faster than uh, Presac. Presac took so long. Like, roughly 12 hours. No, uh, d d 11 hours, sorry. We're only 12 hours in now.
Sorry, I just had to send a important DM for uh, some minor saving stuff for MH100. So I was a little late to that one. Dude, I I would like to get Atomium, please. <laughs> We're not having very good luck with rebirths, I've noticed. Uh, first sack so far. Ah. <sighs> Dude, the speeds are just crazy, dude. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We're just, we're just, we're so locked in right now. Eclipse is good. I will take more of those. I actually didn't even think I had one. I didn't notice. I probably was like half paying attention, half not. Because like, I don't know, like some of the, a lot of the rebirth items I'm getting are just like mid, so I'm like half zoned in during rebirths, and I'm mostly just focused on getting the, the loadouts or the layouts like loaded in on time. Because that does so much more for me right now. It's just, just keeping my rhythm going. God. We're gonna get there, man. It's, it's so within reach now. It no longer feels impossible. It's just... It's just gonna be slow, but... Over the next couple hours of just grinding and just chilling and just hanging out and enjoying Miner's Haven, we're gonna get there, dude. I'll have a few... few tedious rebirths to do after that are gonna definitely suck, but... After that... I can go to bed and I'm gonna sleep so goddamn good you have no idea you have no idea how well I'm gonna sleep
dude soon is um 200 we're getting there very very quickly actually i wouldn't even say very slowly very quickly we're getting to 200 we will be a fifth of the way there and then soon we'll be a fourth of the way there not long after Dude, some of these rebirths are incredibly fast. 15 seconds. It really just comes down to how fast the, the conveyors, or the ores move across the conveyors, really. Thank you. Dragon glass, pretty good. Uh, don't think I'll be using it, to be honest. It's just, you have to click. It's not auto. And I'm not doing manual anymore. I haven't been doing manual since like 250, maybe. Like pre sac 250. Huh. <sighs> Oh, wait, I just did not load the setup. Sorry. another blind justice i still don't have an atomium in mind oh wait i just got an atomium in mind wait wait, wait 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 this is good this is good this is great because those atomium uh, ores just fly dude So we could do roughly 200 lives an hour with this setup. And that means that by roughly 4 a.m. we would be 600. By 5 a.m. we'd be 800. Yeah, so we're, we're on track to get done with first sack by like 6 a.m. I, I, I mean, I guess it's fine. Um, it's not it's not as well paced as I was hoping, but we're 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 doing good. I mean, we're quite literally doing two sacrifices in a sitting. I mean, like I, I don't know what else to say. Like it's it's only gonna go so well, but it's only gonna go so poorly. Like at the end of the day, you're quite literally doing the entire uh, quote unquote game experience for Miner's Haven in a sitting. And like that takes time. So just getting to the finish mark and doing it in under 24 hours, I'd say, is an incredible achievement. Um, it takes time, it takes game knowledge. Like this is not something that literally anyone could do. Um, I would say it's it's not something nobody could do. Like I'm not I'm not like a king for this, okay. 
Um, maybe patience a little bit I am, but <laughs> truthfully, uh, it's not something nobody could do. Like it's not it's not for like elitist players only or anything. Um, it's it's just that like you you just do have to have game knowledge. You should be impressed by yourself or others for being able to do something like this simply because being able to just optimize stuff on the fly and then just make something work consistently enough to use it for so long, it does take game knowledge. However, the real challenge just, it's just patience. Just being able to sit and know how far away the end goal is and just keep pushing. It takes time, dude. Dude, that's who's saying we're even gonna be done by 6 a.m. Like it, it could be later, it could be 8 a.m., 10 a.m. I don't know. I'm hoping not. Oh my god. I I I want to sleep decent. I told you guys I was destroying my sleep schedule for this. I I was so honest. SX, SP, load, we're so close to 200 already, oh my god, it, it's going very fast, I'm very pleased. Who's texting me? It's 2 in the morning, bro. Terrible items today, man. At least, at least, uh, at this sacrifice, we have not been getting anything great. The only thing about the challenge that, like, that really is a time crunch is that you do pretty much have to do it within 24 hours if you're going to upload it to YouTube, which is tedious because it's like, dude, I'm not going to lie, doing this in halves, like doing like Sacrifice 1 and then Sacrifice 2 would be so nice, but we're, we're real gamers here. We're, we're going to do this until we complete it. And then those last 10 lives, man. They're gonna be brutal by the time we get there, but... It's gonna be all the more worth it. Hopefully we get some some good items. Literally in Nature's Grip, I, I'm happy. I don't... Like, for those 10 lives, dude, just give me Nature's Grip. It allows you to sip, skip so much of the Life 1 experience. Like... With a basic iron mine, you literally, you rebirth, you place a basic iron mine, place nature's grip, you're already at billions, you literally get any mine, you're at trillions or quadrillions. It literally lets you skip most of that experience. So all I would need to do is go through the setup, like, once, make a decent layout, 
like how I was and just run it through a couple times and hopefully get something decent. Just whatever I can to speed up those rebirths. And to make it so I don't need to use like colliders and cannons and stuff because I don't want to. I might use cannons, but like you're not going to see me use colliders much, if at all. I'm, I'm hoping to take as lazy and simple of an approach to getting quintillions as possible. Which I'm a little worried about because I'm just going to be really tired and I don't think I'm going to be able to perform as well in, in, in terms of setup building and like optimization so I'm, I'm hoping that process is not like an hour long I'm, I'm hoping I get it done relatively quick um it's gonna be it's gonna be tough though I mean the first 10 lives took a decent while even with the uh the first sacrifice item so not very sure on what I'm gonna do yet We'll figure it out. I mean, it's life one. Like, it's it's not that it's hard. It's it's just it's gonna be tedious, and I'm gonna be really burnt by that point. Here we go. 200, baby. Finally. God, that feels good. Alright, time to do another 100. First, we gotta focus on getting the 250. That's, that's a big milestone. It's 25%. There we go. Just waiting. Once we get to 250, I'll probably grab some food.
We're so locked in. I'm just just reading chat and just enjoying the sounds coming out of my headphones and just just vibing, dude. I know commentary is also like kind of toned down. To be fair, I also just don't feel like there's anything important to say. Like, how do I put it? Um, I, we're quite literally just grinding now. And while I've had a lot of fun just kind of chatting and stuff, I'm also getting tired. So, of course, my, um, my ability to commentate well is dying, but there's also just nothing to commentate about. Like, I, I don't know. So, I, I hope you guys don't mind just chilling. This is, I mean, to be fair, this is not, like, a regular video. <laughs> You guys are never going to get something like this again, at least not for a very long time. Um, so, I mean, like, I don't know, there's there's going to be moments where it's silent, there's going to be moments where, you know, you're seeing rebirths. To be fair, that's also part of just regular recording, is, um, I mean, like, for instance, you know, when you watch, um, like my non sac 10k series when there's moments where you just see me editing together like the rebirth item the rebirth item the rebirth item that's usually because there's not a whole lot to say in between every rebirth or while i'm doing every rebirth so um oh wow now you want to give me ambrosia okay uh i'd rather focus on giving you guys like the highlight parts in those videos of just the fun commentary and when there's actually stuff to talk about but like i don't know like i i can't get the, i can't think of everything to say 24 7 uh i don't think anyone can i mean twitch streamers do but like they're they're the exception they're very good at it it's also different when you're like interacting with a chat and stuff because like like i'm, I'm kind of just chilling here just like reading chat like minor saving chat and uh Just, just, just doing my thing. Sorry, I had a, I had a bug from what, like one of my apps just pop up, so I was, I was very confused. to be a quarter of the way man we've been here so long it's 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 really been a long time i think something i'm gonna do now is finally put in some bbbs here
I think it would just be a good like passive upgrade to uh, just to keep the setup, you know, performing really, really well. It seemed to work when I just did it there. It seemed to work quite consistently as well. Two BBBs are not going to kill all of the ores. It'll definitely make some level of inconsistency. However, uh, the setup just is stronger now by far, and it doesn't take as long to get the amount of money that I need. So, I don't know. It's, it's like, I don't know. We're getting some things we're losing some i don't know you win some you lose some that's that's the, what i'm trying to think of i don't know <laughs> dude i told you guys i am um, i'm gonna be tired during this one it's it's not gonna just be like a regular video nice Dude, I just realized I had DE. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't need to touch the setup for a while. Oh my god. How many quantum ore cleaners do I have? Dude, I'm literally getting to a point soon where I can use... Polisher. That's crazy. That's, that's actually crazy. As soon I can use Polisher. I'll have to go make it. But like... I don't know. We just need one more. Hoping I can get it soon. That would be great for the setup. What else? What else would be good? Honestly, like, most of the setup is fine, to be honest, as it is. It's just, that would be a nice passive upgrade. And then maybe I'd try to get Wild Spores evolution as well. But that one's gonna take a little while. How many do you need for, um... Oh, you only need seven, bruh. Alright, hold on. We're just gonna do this now. Go here. Let's evolve our polisher.
There we go. We have such a good system going. I wish it was faster, but it's so consistent. Polisher definitely helped as well. Just just with making the setup's longevity better. Oh, that did not place, unfortunately. There we go. go it seems really consistent right now even with bbbs which is good so i have no idea but it's it's working great no there we go get that rebirth right away 250 and i'm taking a break for a couple of minutes Stretch my legs, get a snack, wake myself up. And just like mentally stimulate myself by, I don't know, like just quick social media break, man. Just go, go do something else for, uh, for a minute or two. Like it is, it is, it is literally even this for, is since the middle of the afternoon, like, it's, it's been a hot minute, y'all. It's been fun. Don't get me wrong, we've, I have learned so much about the game. But it's, it's time for a little, 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 little tiny break. About five minutes. Here we go. Please, something decent. We've gotten absolutely awful rebirth items this entire time. Dude, I still only have a few Atomia mines. I only thought I had one, but I, I, I have a few, just very few of them.
More ores, more chance for a fast ore. That's my mindset, at least. I don't know. The higher the chance for an ore to get through quickly happens based on having more ores going through the setup to begin with. Because if you have like a hundred ores going through, one of them is probably bound to make it. So, I don't know. Alright, uh, I will be right back. Give me about five minutes.
All right, I have returned. Just had to like hype myself up a little bit. Get some food. I mean, I didn't have to hype myself up, but like, definitely just getting tired is my point. Just saying, you know, like, dude, like, this is all gonna be so worth it in the end. Just to keep going. It's good sometimes when I do long grinds or, you know, something that takes a lot of time and patience. For instance, this, um, I, I need to kind of sit down for a sec and remind myself both where I'm at and where I'm trying to be. Because for instance, you spend so much time in this game looking at, you know, your numbers, like your, your life or your sacrifice or whatever, that um, at the end, you might forget how worth it it is. My point is, like, I think I've spent so much time just looking at the number of the what rebirth I have, just waiting for it to slowly slowly just make its way up and up and up and up until it hits a thousand again that's fine it's just that when you do that for so many hours you kind of forget why and you're just more like like man it's just it's just going so slow like yeah, what could i do you know it happens i haven't been feeling that way too much today but i i know that i get that way and i was kind of just like you know what like just like just rem just remember the end goal like, it's, it's more than just seeing the number a thousand. Like, we have the video that we're doing. We have people that I'd love to show this to. Like, it's it's just, it's good. It's gonna be a good time in the end, and it's just worth it. And that at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm gonna be in a pretty rough grind for a little while, but I'll still get to go to bed. I'll still get to, you know, just go go about my day tomorrow. So. Cheers to this, guys. I mean, like. It's not often that I record a video in the same style of streaming something. But it's been fun. It's. I'm. I'm just literally happy to put this out there to remember forever. That's it. Quesadilla is crazy, though. I mean, it's the simplest quesadilla you could imagine. It's cheese and hot sauce. It's still great, though. The hot sauce is so hot, though. Bro, oh my god, with the Unium Mines, dude. I've gotten three of them in a row. Please. I mean, like I've told you guys many times so far, 
I have not gotten good rebirths at all since I've sacrificed. Cooling chamber. I mean, like, again, I have all of these items. I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. I mean, to be fair, there's really nothing I'm looking for. I'm just looking for new, unique, powerful items that, that I don't have yet, so that way I can put them in the setup. Excuse me. It is going quite quick, I, I will admit. In comparison to pre-sac, this is much better. And I will stand by that. That pre dude pre-sac was miserable. It's just easier to get that big head start that you can't get in pre-sac once you do first sac. Um, and it's also pretty hard to get a good start in, um, what is it? Second sack? Uh, you don't really, like, it's not even because you don't get the item right away. It's also just that by the time you get the item, uh, I don't know, like, I mean, like, I don't know, it's, I just feel like it's worse overall. It's harder to pick up speed right away, the same way you can with the first sack. You just like immediately incorporate it, so I don't know. But I don't know, I, I had an idea in my head about the second sack one, but I lost it pretty fast. See, that's just me being sleepy. Do anything to go to bed right now, but we're doing this. I'm not giving up this far. Oh my god. I would just be very sad for a while if I looked back at the footage, seen 11 hours of an attempt, and that I gave up. That's, that's, that is like the ultimate reason I'm not giving up. Is, is just because I, I'm going to hold it to myself so badly. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do all of this grind again. I don't want to have to do that if I'm right here. Like I, like, I might as well just power through, you know what I mean? No matter how miserable or how tired or just whatever, it's just... You know, there's, there's a definitive end goal here. And, uh, I, I'm not crazy far away from achieving that goal. So, just keep pushing. Q. 
QN. Boom. Is that a golden crate? Oh, I thought I seen a big crate fall. I don't need those crates, so I'm not gonna go for them. I actually wouldn't mind if the setup got better at this point because, you know, well, these items are not getting it uh, fully where it probably should be at this point. We keep being a little bit under in terms of SP. Like, I keep getting SP, but not enough SP. I mean, I could always just put two more BBBs if I'm really feeling lazy. That's probably what I'll do. What's the Azure? Um... The Azure Pur Purifier is quite good, it's just very large. Honestly not worth it, given its size. It's crazy for only a times nine. Uh, Atlantic Monument is actually pretty good, given its size and stuff. Pizza Bombarder goes from... brings Pizza Blaster from a... Hold on, what is it? Times four to a times 10, but it goes from a six, six to a eight, eight, which is very large. I don't want to use a uh, eight by eight. I don't have many catalysts, so I can't really try to make a saturated catalyst, which would be incredible. Even though it's slightly larger, it, at that point I'd rather do that. A uh, wild spore? Barely any, of course, great. I have not gotten a lot of astrals at all. Ancient temples I've barely gotten any of. Um, I could make frozen peaks actually. Ooh, that would be really good for me to do. Hold on, wait, let's go make Frozen Peaks. I have this stuff for it as well, and it's a very cheap blueprint. But that would be absolutely massive for this setup. Uh, it's mostly because I used BBB beforehand that it would be good. Uh, at first I was like debating it, and then I realized that I, I do set the ore on fire uh, anyways, so I might as well. This will be a good one. I'm excited to see 
how much better the setup is. It's gonna be close to a suffix. Um in terms of how much better it is, which is crazy, so very excited to see this. Yeah, Flaming Ores get a times 600, which is absolutely crazy. That was a 14 second rebirth, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, it seems it as far as evolutions go, at least. I can't think of anything to add. I also don't want to make more blueprints because uh, I already have so much RP that I don't need to go farm again when I do second sack. So that would be really, really nice to just hold that. All right, boys, we're about to hit 300. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. 300. We are 30% of the way there. Huh. I'm just reading some wiki stuff inside, just trying to get as much info as I can. Crazy though, Frozen Peaks is genuinely an incredible furnace in terms of power. Like, oh my god, it's it's so small and like compact for what's a times six hundred, and it's very easy to obtain. It's not a, a super high price for the blueprint, and it's not a high amount of the item that you actually have to have. still gonna be very surprised if we get a shiny. 
at this point, I'm I'm kind of expecting one. We've been here for so long. It'd be pretty funny if we didn't. Would it be pretty funny if we did? I'm just saying. Bro, Dreamer's Anguish already? Don't I have one of these somehow already? No, I don't. <sighs> yeah, the, the tiredness is now officially hitting like a truck because I've been I've been awake for 24 hours at this point. That's also partly why I'm just trying to get through these as fast as I can. I mean, I, I know that it's going to be like an hour for those last 10 lives. I'm not looking forward to those at all. I think once I get to 500 on here, it's going to become rough as well. Because of like the cash and stuff. So like, I don't know, we're going to have to change up our strat maybe a little bit. So I'm just trying to get to that point as fast as I can. But it's like no matter what I do, it's it's gonna take a while. So just trying to enjoy it in my own way that I can. Wild spore, not too bad.
quarter of the way to 400. Oh wait, let's rebirth. Should not be going for bosses. No reason to. There's literally no reason to. Is that border on the alert when you leave your base? We're approaching 650 lives remaining. Huh. <sighs> it's it's getting tough, but you know, we're stronger, bro. We've got this. I'm I'm just fighting my actual tiredness. It's legitimately hard. Almost 350, bro. Almost. We're 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 getting back on a good track. I'm yawning a lot and stuff, but we are, uh, uh, like, we, we are getting on back. Uh, sorry. Oh my God. We are getting back on a good track, officially. Oh my God. It just did not work.
Hell yes. I think that's one of my... Yeah, that's my first one. Oh my god, dude. It took so long. That should not have taken that long. At all. I mean, it's a good... It's a good four-unit upgrader. Still. Hell, dude, I am so tired. I'll be right back. One second. Sorry guys, I was just trying to like find a beanie that I liked. Because the hat got not comfortable after a while. Fifty boys. We're just getting so close. Like it's it's so nice that the end is just not 
an infinite ways away anymore. You know, we started at 2,000 lives away. We are now just above 600 lives away. It's kind of crazy. Been here so long. But it's it's going to be absolutely worth it in the end. Every, every bit of this is going to be worth it. And I'm very excited to see the end result. I don't know why. I think I got a I think I got a bug bite on the back of my neck. Thank you. Setup will be slowing down over over some time now. Now that the the rebirth price is just going up so much. We're getting to the point where we need octillions. It becomes a little bit harder. Um But we do have that third Tesla, so I don't know. It's like setup is gonna slow down, but we don't really have to change the setup for it at all. Because, I mean, you've seen we're capable of getting DE. Which is great. What life do you get a breach loader at again? Five hundred, oh my god. Little ways away, not not too far. See if we can get there in an hour. Anything I want to add? I mean, I could add banana. I'm just, I'm trying to think. I've been trying to think since I got it of, uh, like, what would it do better at than one of the items already in my setup? Can't really think of any reason. I mean, I could swap Catalyst and Banana Split together. Banana Split is stronger, uh, from what I read, and Catalyst is quite large, honestly, for how small of an upgrade it is, so maybe we'll do that. The only nice thing about Catalyst, though, is that the beam is absolutely massive, so it's like impossible to miss it compared to uh, Split.
God damn, we've been in here almost 14 hours already. Three seventy. We're now down to six hundred and thirty lives remaining. Almost to 500, dude. Once I get to 500, we can take another break as well. But I don't want to do that until then. I'd say like every like 150 lives or so, like it's fine. It's just, I just don't want to be wasting too much time. trying to stay locked in nothing else i could really do to be fair like i either lock in or i give up I think of anything, rather than like stopping at any point, if I was to stop, I'm not going to stop until I at least get to second sack. Because like, I don't know, uh, no point in chasing for the upgrade or not to use it, I guess. Um, but it's also like, I don't know. It's it's just like another like two hours just to get to life ten. So I don't know. I mean like like if, if I end up just pulling through long enough to actually get to the second sack, and I think that's impressive enough and I just don't care enough to, you know, go for the upgrader, I think that's fine. I I, I would still upload this, like a hundred percent. The original plan was just to stop at sack. Uh like second sack. Um, 
and then I changed it to the like 10 so I could at least get the upgrader I mean I don't know we'll, we'll see how I'm feeling but like that 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 would be all like a huge time save for me just to be able to not you know spend two hours just doing the same thing I've already done twice but who knows Because that's going to take just as long as, like, one or two hundred lives uh, like this. It's just, it's just time-consuming. We shall see. Um, thank you. God damn. It's just crazy. Just just watch the number rise. We are so close to the halfway point again. Unfortunately, the setup will slow down a little bit, but it's okay. All is fine.
Jeez. I'm trying to debate at the moment what I'm going to do. Also, congrats to us on 400. Uh, I'm trying to debate in my head right now in the moment what I want to do once I hit 500 and I get that huge rebirth price stack. I did not mean to hit my mic. Once I get that huge rebirth price boost applied to uh, my rebirth price, I have no idea what I want to do because it brings it from like, like low to mid nanillions pretty much. It, it just starts tanking the rebirth price. Or no, it brings it from like mid octillion to like like mid to high nanillion. Like it just jumps up over a suffix, I think. I don't I don't fully remember how much uh, it went up, but it went up a lot. And uh, I remember us just not being ready. I'm probably just gonna let it loop through the extra Tesla, but I don't know. Right. There we go. I don't know, I'm just using uh BBBs at the end though for just that extra extra wad of cash. I mean I feel like it's working. I feel like every time I go to um Dude, I legit just forgot what I was saying. Hold on. Give me, give me a... Oh, yeah, the BBBs. Every time I go to Rebirth, um... I don't know, I, I, I just think it works. I think multi is high at the end. It's, it's just efficient. I think each one does, like, a three times, so just stacking the BBBs together just works well. It's a blaster. I can't get anything decent, bro. This entire sacrifice has just been repeat item after repeat item after repeat item after repeat item. And they're never like good ones. They're always like 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 single use upgraders that I don't need multiple of. I'm 
so tired. Go. just get this bro let's just get this we're so close we're almost literally 75% of the way there to this whole thing we're, we're so close I'm just starting to get very tired but like like very 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 tired but like we're we're just we're trying we're doing everything we can right now it sucks that now I'm at the point where it is literally just grind. Uh, there's there's not a whole lot I could do from here uh, to like improve the setup or to I mean it'll be really good once I get like Vulcans uh, because I could throw that at the end of the setup or I uh i don't know like i i don't know like there's not a whole lot i could do i guess um but a lot of the like life 500 items and stuff and a lot of the new items that i'll hopefully soon be getting uh or just items for the first time that stuff is gonna be pretty good for uh the setup as far as preventing it from slowing down too much i'm hoping i don't know I'm hoping to get some dragon blasters though, so I could put those at the end of the setup with the uh, with Balkans. Because I would love to use Balkans whenever I get it. Then use some dragon blasters, like one or two. Even even if not, that's fine. I'll just use BBBs, but still. And then. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how the rest goes. I mean, 
If I have to use Gate of Eclipse or something, that's fine as well. Honestly, though, don't know if I'm going to do the 10 rebirths. I, uh, I, I may be, like, really committed to this challenge and stuff, but, like, I'm also, like, a person, and I'm really damn tired, and, uh, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't feel like I'd be feeling too good after that. So, I feel like we're just gonna stick to the original idea and just get to second sack, boys. Should be able to rebirth in a sec. There we go. Trying to see if I can get to 500 by 4 a.m. Because that, that'd be roughly that, like, 200 lives per, uh, per however long. And just trying to keep up with a certain pace. Hoping I could do it. 25 minutes to get the rest of these, uh, 60 lives. anguish again but i'm still not getting other items that i probably could use more of bro oh my god Soon, 450 guys. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, I already have one? What? Uh, that could be useful, actually. Maybe. It's it's pretty strong. That's all I know. It's just my only concern is that it poisons. Thank you. 
We're so locked in. Oh my god. I've just been so locked in. Trying to just stay motivated, stay collected. It's hard, man. We're we're at a point mentally of just wanting to give in to sleep. So I'm I'm mentally trying to overcome that while I while I rebirth. And that that takes time, takes takes energy. Cause bro, I wanna get this done so bad. I know I can too. It's the that's the thing. But I'm not not gonna upload this if I don't complete it. That's the thing. So Who knows? I'll be back. All right, I know it is day two, technically, but uh, I worked so hard on this. I was I wasn't gonna let this challenge die because I got unfortunately very physically unwell. Um, those of you that don't know, I, I have Crohn's, so I I was definitely limited uh, in how far I was gonna go. At a certain point, I did get physically in a lot of pain. So we're back, though. I I wasn't gonna let it die. Not over that. If I had just like given up, maybe. But like, I had I had to watch myself. Otherwise, that 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 would have been really really bad. We're just gonna crank out these rebirths, though, bro. We're so close. The setup still works so well, too. I almost forgot. Okay. 
lightning bolt. So what is it that I was looking for? I don't know. I don't even think there was anything I was looking for. I think all I was doing was complaining at how none of the items I'm getting are decent. I mean, I definitely could make like Final Gate of Eclipse or something, but I'm trying to to just not use large items if possible. And right now I'm just waiting until I get to 500 so that way I can try shooting for like Vulcans and stuff, which I could just add to the, uh, the end of the setup here. Vulcans would be ideal, in my opinion. Sporest. We've gotten a lot of Sporus this run compared to last run. I didn't I don't even think I got one until like 550 pre-sack. Catalyst. When could I make saturated? Don't I need 10? Oh, dude, we are nowhere near enough for saturated. Oh my god. Dude, how am I getting so many of some of these items, but I, I have like two catalysts? I don't get it. And we got our first one so early. I remember that. We were like, what, like, like life 15 or something when we got our first catalyst? Like, it's crazy. We have barely any. again man yeah this is what i mean or, i'm pretty sure this is what i think i meant is that just all of this is so so mid you just keep getting like junk items every time at um what is it 500 we're still rebirthing incredibly quick as well which is good okay. 
Wild Spore. I think I'm trying to get Deadly Spore. I can't remember. I can get Deadly Spore now, I believe, actually. I might do that. It is it is generally a, a good upgrade. Oh my god, I actually got the base expansion. I forgot about that. I've been playing on a small base this whole time. Because uh, I never rejoined and got the base expansion. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. That's that's kind of cool. I like forgot that was a thing. I was so tired. Oh, I should have rejoined anyways at that point. Damn it. And then we're going to save our daily gift for those 10 lives. I might as well do them, given that it's, uh, I'm, I ended up taking a second sitting, so we'll do them. You're just not getting good items. Oh my god. I mean, like, Dragon Glass could be useful, but, like, it's not. Not not for anything we're trying. That's, that's the problem. Dude, I was wondering why uh, I put Newtonium here. I was like, wait, like I didn't put it from the edge. I put it in like literally in the far corner.
Man, I mean, I was I was talking about Aether Refinery yesterday. Um, like, last night when I was recording. And... That was technically today, actually. That was, that was literally, like... A couple hours ago. Um, I was talking about how it's such a good item because it's so small. However... Uh, there's problems with it because of the way it takes Orin, and it's simply not worth using. Like, that's why I'm using Frozen Peaks, is, uh, the time 600. It's fairly small, so it's kind of worth it. Like, it's, it's definitely bigger, but, like, it's not an absurdly large upgrader, uh, or, uh, item. Sorry, not an upgrader. It's, it's not an absurdly large item. Additionally, the times 600 multiplier is crazy, and the problem with Aether Refinery and Eternal Journey, I think it's called Eternal Journey? Yeah, Eternal Journey. The problem with those two items is that they only take one ore at a time for the most part. You could get a few ores in with Aether, and if you're lucky, you could kind of bug them like through the shield if you just send them fast enough, I believe. I don't know if that was like exclusive to like 2016. I, I think that just might be a Roblox thing. Might still work, might not. Don't know. Uh, someone in the comments, if you're somehow at this part of the video, you're more than welcome to correct me. However, uh, it's, it's not worth it for that reason. Not in this setup. It's good for like, it's great for like early life, like DD, TSTG type stuff. But outside of that, it doesn't really have much of a purpose uh, for like multi ore setups like this, which is really sad though because it is a very small furnace and it does give a I think a hefty upgrade. I think it's uh, times a hundred I believe for either. Like it's it's a good item. It's just there's no there's no use case for it. It doesn't have a home here for this part of the game. There we go halfway. Let's do it. I'm I'm feeling good. And we're going to have that really big rebirth price jump next rebirth, so just something for me to consider. Abomination, nice. I think that's literally a life 500 item. Oh my god, we got it. 501, that's hilarious. Alright, yeah, big rebirth price jump. I'm just gonna wait until I get Vulcans, and then I'll just have Vulcans at the end of the setup. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna change anything with the setup. Because, if anything, uh, we're not even, like, getting the ores there after the third Tesla. It's doing it after the first. So, like... If, if I don't get enough then, then it goes through the third Tesla and it comes back and it's it's usually enough. Well, it's always enough. It's worth, like, DE when it does that. Like, that time, it waited till third Tesla because uh, the first one doesn't make enough anymore. Or second one doesn't make enough anymore. Oh, there's there's two Teslas, but, like, like third Tesla, like, loop around through the setup. Because the first time is pre-Tesla, second time is first Tesla third time is second tesla if that makes sense so i don't know i'm oh my god Oh my god. You just got a shiny dragon blaster.
Dude, that's crazy. Keep going. Sorry, I had to tell some people in uh, MH 100. That's crazy. That's that that shiny. Personally, took what till like like 1.4 mil for me on my mains, dude. That's crazy. That's wild though, oh my god. Sorry, I was responding to someone. When are we gonna get Vulcans? Please give us Vulcans. Anguish, bro. Yeah, that's hilarious. Give one of the one of the few good ores go through. Banana split. GG's. Oh, now I could also start getting things like Breach Loader and stuff.
forgot about that. Dude, that's that's hilarious. The fact that I I'm gonna lose it forever too, because I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice. That's hilarious. That thing is that thing is gone forever. The proof of it won't be gone because of this, but still. This is easily one of the the rarest fucking accounts within ten lives of unlocking one of the rare items in the game. It just gets the shiny. That's that's hilarious. Oh my god. That's wild. That's actually wild. There we go. Good rebirth. Yeah, I'm hoping for Vulcans fast though. And then if I do need to, I'll just add another blaster. Like I I I would probably consider putting uh the, the dragon blaster in unironically. Not even because it's a shiny, it's just it's just good. It's better than BBB, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna upgrade this to uh, Atomium, finally. Four, five, six. Okay, and then see, there we go. Perfectly along the borders. It's just nice though, because now I make guaranteed enough money for the setup every time.
Putting that there so we could easily see advanced rebirth. Ad advanced rebirth items. Let's see how this goes. Jesus. It's taking a while. Please, thank you, bro. Oh my god, it took so long. That was over 30 seconds. God damn.
Bro, I did not mess that up. That is crazy. Dude. We don't get a single item we want. We haven't even gotten one advanced reborn yet. It's crazy though because I got so many of those last time. Like I got uh I got Vulcans right away, I got uh the precursor items right away, and I got a Dragon Blaster right away. I mean at least here though I've already gotten a Dragon Blaster, it's just a shiny to be fair, but still. This send On, you're right there. Thank you. Oh, dude, that was a quick load. God damn. I accidentally pressed the thing a little earlier, but it was like right as the money went into the money maker, so I could afford the setup. Another blind justice could be something better, like, you know, a Vulcans or something, but that's just me. Dude, Vulcans would actually be crazy at this point. I'm not even kidding. It's just a super strong upgrade that goes right at the end. Like, come on. What else could we do, if anything, right now? 
Uh, maybe I could throw in Banana Split, or like Sporest. I actually might put Sporest at the end. That might not be a bad idea. Until I get, um, the, the Vulcans, doesn't seem like a bad idea. Take care of something. I just did not want other people in the room to be on camera. Coffee was so good this morning. Please. Thank you. Ooh, breach loader. You know what we could also do at this point? Yeah, we would not have gotten Overlord. I'm so glad I didn't waste time trying to last night. Dude, that was not even that long ago. That's so wild to think about. It feels like it was ages ago, just because I'm rested, but like... Like, damn. Oh, this is already faster again. At least it feels like it. If the Breach Loader ores survive, though, they're goaded. Like, they're genuinely really, really good ores.
so many atomiums, dude. I'm just glad that the setup makes as much as it does. It's quite literally future-proofed for the rest of the sacrifice. Nuclear Stronghold, good in case I need more RP later. To be fair though, I, I should be fine. I think I'm just gonna try to get to like 125k just by like getting nearby boxes and stuff. I don't think you're I don't think you're gonna see me grind for it though. There's no point. Oops. Please let me rebirth first. Oh wait, it just didn't go away, that's fine. Jeez. Soon to be 600. We're just moving so fast now. It's going to take a couple hours, but nothing bad. I will have to eat at some point. I'm literally going to pause the recording. Um, there's like a button on OBS for pause recording. And I'm just, I'm just going to pause the recording while I'm gone for like however short amount of time that is. It won't be long. It's, it's going to be like 10 minutes. It's just I'm eating with my family, so... And I don't want you guys to be here to just watch, like, 10 minutes of silence, so. I would have cared more maybe yesterday, but I, I, I took that break in the middle of the night. That was at, what, like, 4 or 5 this morning? Like, that was... I don't even remember what time I got off. If you keep hearing me say yesterday, though, that's because I started yesterday. I started at, like, noon yesterday. <laughs> I was there. No, no, it wasn't noon. I started, I started like, in the afternoon, though, yesterday. So, like, like my knowledge of it all happening makes it feel like it was yesterday. Because now, now we're slowly getting to those kind of hours today. Nice. You know what I was also like so worried about is uh, how large of a file the recording from yesterday was going to be. Dude, it was only like 20 gigabytes. It was not that large. I once recorded um, a video of me playing Destiny for 11 hours, and it was 520 gigabytes. I'm not even kidding. So I was, I was expecting the worst. I, th I literally thought my hard drive was going to be full. Because uh, I, I record all my videos on a different hard drive than my regular one. So in case my regular one dies, even even though it's got like all uh, other important stuff, I don't lose all the, the content stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't want to take too long of a break, though. I tried to just get off, wake up, have some coffee, you know, do, do just life stuff, you know, just make sure I'm feeling okay, and then get back. Get back to the challenge. I wasn't planning on coming back. 
But it was like, you know, I was I was looking at this and I was like, well, I didn't really like I don't I didn't feel like I actually just like gave up. At least not for some for uh, you know, like a typical reason. Like I, I didn't give up because I was bored and I didn't give up because it was hard. I literally just physically shouldn't have continued because it would have been bad physically for me. So I was like, you know what? Like I, I, I tried. I did really good. I might as well just finish it and upload it because I am so proud of how well I did. So that's 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 why I'm here right now, and it's gonna be so worth it to upload this video. I can't wait. I'm gonna try to have it out tonight. It really depends on how long it takes to upload and how long it takes to render. The rendering is going to be the bad part, not the uploading. Still no advanced rebirths, crazy. I literally had money. Dragon glass. Hmm. It's okay. Give me the good ore, please. Dude, the fact I get UD now when it goes through all of them is crazy. have to say thank you when it gives you a good ore. So that way, it's more encouraged to the next rebirth. I promise that's how it works, guys. I, w I work with the devs. We, we confirmed that uh, the game has a politeness meter. You know? When when you speak to Miner's Haven. It's, it's for all of the people who are on Copium thinking that they'll get good items. And you know, you just you you be extra polite, or you say please and thank you upon rebirthing, and maybe 
maybe you'll get a good item. What if that was a thing? That'd be crazy. Like that's how video games work, where like you could you could you could manipulate RNG by like any form of manipulation. So like being polite, being angry at it, like you know what I mean? Like, like what if what if video games had that? That'd be that'd be wild. I might make a, a game where you could do that. That'd be that'd be funny. You could manipulate the RNG of the game by the way you treat it. We're still rebirthing in sub-30, which is good. Because that means... That means it's, it, it'll take less than two hours to do the last 200 lives. Or last 400 lives, sorry. Roughly. No, wait, is it? I, mean, I, think, I think the math in my head is wrong. I mean, either way, the, as long as getting to 900 is fast, then the last 100 lives are just, like, a whatever thing. Because, like, at that point, again, you're so close, it just doesn't matter. And then I'm trying to strategize in my head what I want to do for the last 10 rebirths. Because for those last 10... Um, we, we, we don't get any carry item. Like, we, we don't get the sacrifice until that tenth life. So, I'm trying to think of what to do. I mean, it's literally just play through the game, but, like, I'm, I'm trying to think of just how to speed it up as much as I can and make it go as fast and clean as possible. Um, however, a lot of that is going to come down to RNG. Like I, like I said, that if I get a nature's grip at one of those lives, especially one of the first ones, then the rest of it is just so, so easy. Also, I'm getting a phone call, so I'm going to have my mic muted. I have returned. <coughs> Bam. Tomium, I like, bro. Bro, just give me Vulcans, please. Vulcans would go crazy. At least with this setup, it would. It wouldn't with the last one that I had for pre-sack, but it would work great right here. It's because I have the room for it, and it's the way uh, the way the setup is designed is so much better. Given I, I literally just have a one-line setup. close to 600 the progress is going smoothly it's just taking a while but we are getting there we're gonna be there soon at a thousand it's not gonna take as much time as i probably as, as it might feel like it will or as i think it might i i think we're gonna be there quite soon i just need to lock in on getting uh the setup loaded in faster and then there won't be any problems just answering a quick text about college really quick. Oh wait, we could probably rebirth in a cycle on.
There we go. Less than 400 more to go. Thank you, bro. Hell yeah, we got a breach loader. GG's. I don't care enough to use it for anything else right now. Setup is fine as it is. And I don't want too many ores going through because it's already capping out. I think I'm going to take the Newtonium out. I just don't think it has a purpose in here anymore. Let's try to keep the ore limit as low as I can. Oh, and then it gives, it gives me a Newtonium. It's just taunting me. Okay, thanks. You know, why don't you give me a Vulcans or other advanced rebirth items? Like, please. I'm gonna look up the uh, advanced rebirth items in a moment. Okay, yeah, all of them are at least life 500 plus. So I should be able to get them. It's just that Vulcans is a is a rarity one, so it is unironically hard to get. Um, once I get to 666, which is going to be actually quite soon, um, we could get Hades. Um, but it's it's just not going to be that great, I don't think. I don't think Hades would be a good option to be using. Not in comparison to uh, Vulcans. Vulcan, actually no, Vulcans might be weak as well. I don't have that many items in the setup. I feel like Hades actually might be the better play. And then, uh, what else? It's literally just those two that would be decent. Frigid Dystopia would technically be really, really good, even th to throw in at the end or something, but it's just not because the ores need to be frozen, and I have no way I'm freezing ores. Like, I I've just been rocking this. Just how it is. I still think it's wild that I don't hit a UD rebirth price by the time... Um, by the time I hit... Life a thousand. It literally never hit D, uh, UD. It stayed at DE, I believe. Bro, please? Thank you. That took so long. Bro. That was that was legitimately just upsetting. Oh, GG's. Stellarite? That's... That's... Dude.
You're just giving me the worst items, man. Someone wanted to see a screenshot? I, I keep mentioning that just in case it freezes, because Snipping Tool likes to freeze your screen, so it can... You could get, like, a screenshot of whatever frame you took... Or, like, that you pressed the screenshot button on. I don't know if it does that in OBS. I should find out, to be fair. Crystallized is crazy. Bro, you can give me anguish, but you can't give me Vulcans. Like, oh my god, and I'm not even skipping either. It should be so easy to get. I'm pretty sure advanced reborns are are more common when you don't skip. So I'm sitting there like, bro, like please, like Vulcans or Hades at this point. Just because Vulcans, okay, that's like the third one I've got. Okay. Look, just because Vulcans isn't good uh, without a bunch of rebirth items doesn't mean I like I wouldn't use it. Like it's still good.
GG's. I can't wait to get this video out. It's gonna, it's gonna just be like, I, I wonder what people's reaction is gonna be of just, hey, look, here's like a 20-hour Miner's Haven video. Have fun. Like, I just, I just wonder what people are gonna think. It's gonna go through their head when they, when they see a Miner's Haven video with as long of a time as this. Do some math really quick. So I want to figure this out. Oops, can rebirth. There we go. Okay. Um. So let's see. Still no advanced reborns, that's crazy. It's been almost 150 lives. Dude, by the time I get Hades even, it's not even gonna be worth using. Man. Literally just give me some decent items, please. I'm not getting anything new. I mean, crystallized was good, but that's, that's an exception. Times are okay right now. They're not great.
Class X, Octillions, come on, Nanillions, and Acillions. That was early. Now. No. Yeah, okay, I'm terrible at this. I'm not even gonna bother. There we go. It's way too early. I was trying to, like, do them. I realized I said Nanillions early on accident, and then I tried... I predicted it somehow. I tried to predict Decillions. I'm just watching the money coming. SP Octillions. Nanillions. No. Damn, I'm terrible at this. I got lucky. That was it. Alright. Let's get enough to rebirth, yeah? UD is crazy. Oh, yeah, we'll take a nuclear stronghold, though. Dude, it took me way too long to get one of those yesterday. It took me to, like, life 800, I think. It took a long time. Oh, but I'll get a dragon blaster. Are you kidding me? I mean, they are good. I think, I think we'll do this. Ooh, let's get this crate for the RP. Because I'm still trying to get to 125 just in case I need it for uh, second sack lives. We're like pretty close. We'll definitely be there by the time we're we're at second sack, so I'm not worried. And even then, I could just I could just silver mine RP farm for like two minutes if I need. Because that is that is easy. Or if I need to, I'll just uh, nuclear stronghold farm for a minute. Because that goes so fast. Much faster than the other. At least for, like, small amounts of RP, it's faster. It's not... It's not... I actually don't know if it's better than uh, Silver Mine RP Farm. Silver Mine RP Farm goes incredibly fast. Uh, no, it's definitely faster. We're only like 11k away though, so like no matter what happens, like if I gotta if I gotta farm that, that's fine. It's crazy, guys. We're so close to being done with this challenge. We are about to be approaching the 350 lives remaining mark. A couple lives away from 650. It's crazy. It's been, it's been a journey for sure, and I'm incredibly proud of myself for how well I did uh, both now and uh, yesterday going into today. It's just been, it's been a lot. I barely slept. I just, just had to rest away the pain I was in, come back, regroup. I'm feeling good. It's, it's going to be done in no time. I'm just hoping to get those 10 lives done in under an hour. That's that's the ideal, because that's, that's the part I'm probably looking forward to the least still. I mean, I said I was looking forward to that part the least. It's just not going to be fun. It's because now I have all these items that make it easy to get money that are all going to be gone, and it's just going to be me and the shop items again, which it was a terribly slow process last time, so... Dude, that video was 14 hours long, the video file. That's crazy. It's actually crazy. That video was 14 hours long. And, uh... Now this one is... 
already about an hour and a half. All right, 650 has been reached, by the way. It's not far away at all, dude. It is not far away at all. Once we get to 700, it's gonna feel great. Once we get to eight and nine hundred, is it's gonna be even better. So, You just don't want to give me the item that I actually am looking for in that category. Damn. I deserve a Vulcans. I'm telling you. Nobody is ever going to use Invasive Cyberlord. I don't actually know anyone that's used this furnace, like seriously. What does it what does it do? Invasive Cyberlord, let's see. Okay. Uh multiplier is decent. Process is at 125 times value. The bottom upgrade beam applies a times two for a total of 250 times. Top and middle upgraders are cosmetic, do not apply upgrades. So So it's, it's decent. I mean, like, okay, honestly, for the size of this thing, it's pretty good. I won't, I won't deny that it's, it's definitely a decent furnace. Um, it's, I don't know. I feel, I just feel like personally, by the time you get it, there's better options. Like for me, it was Frozen Peaks. And just, just putting a BBB there gives you a good upgrade, and then you still get a times 600. Like, like that's a combined plus, like, I, I don't know, that's over a thousand times when you combine the BBB and that. So that's strong. You are essentially getting a suffix out of it, if not literally just getting a suffix out of it. That's good. Are we still not at DE Rebirth price? Doesn't that... Oh, that doesn't even happen until plus 700, I don't think, actually, now that I... Now that I really think about it. 
I don't think that happens until at least... 725, I'm guessing? I don't know. This is going up extremely slowly, so... Just more items that are similar in rarity and stuff to the items I'm trying to... Or not in rarity. A, 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 a rarity 8 is not a rarity 1. Okay, but like... In terms of like by the time you get those items, they're usually close together. I've gotten, I've gotten a shiny advanced reborn. I'm not even getting... And I've gotten two more of the, re or like three more of the regular version of it. Two more, not three more. Ooh, gold crate, like right by the base, beautiful. And I do have Venom Shank as well for the sword. And rebirth, please. Dude, if only I had a infuser resetter. Also, dude, we are life six 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 again. Oh my god. We're just grabbing these crates. Why not? R.I.P. Ghastly Dragon Blaster, by the way. The thing is about to disappear forever. Never come back. I don't know if you get I was just thinking about something, um, and it made me think about another thing, which is, do you guys remember, if anyone's listening, um, do you guys remember that one stream in, like, 2019, where I was, or no, I was doing a 50-hour stream attempt, and midway through the stream, a bug happened, and I lost 80,000 UC. I, I'm not even kidding. I don't know if you guys remember this. I panicked so bad because I, I had spent so much money on UC. And all I did was join a private server and it vanished. I thought someone hacked and like just took it out of my inventory. They didn't take it, but like just like just tried to like screw with my account and uh, reset my my UC down to like 20. And I, I had to like DM Talon like a hundred times. I was like, please, please, please. I lost all of my UC. I had so much. That was scary times, dude. Scary times. Please, bro. It is right there. Thank you.
But I'm just like... I'm just trying to think of changes I could make to this. It's just working so well. I mean, of course, if I took advantage of the extra space, I'd probably get more, but it's like... I didn't realize I had it for so long, and now now in my head I'm just like, uh, I'm just not gonna use it. I'll probably use it when I do the, like, the Life 10 thing, but, like, I don't know. Eh, probably not even then. I, I'm having more fun just, I, I've just been having fun with all the restrictions on this whole challenge. It's been fun. It's a way I'll, I'll never play the game again. Like, ever. Like, I'm never gonna play the game like this ever again. And for that, it's uh, pretty interesting, the stuff, the stuff that I can do. Oh. Bro, please. Or just sit there at 400 and alien. Thank you, bro. Damn. I don't know, I'm trying to think of any upgrades for this setup. There's just none that seem worth it right now. Oh, but now it wants to make sure that I have enough Ambrosias for the item. Oh. It's pointless now, so thanks. Could have made that, though. It's still not enough temples, but now that I don't need an Ambrosia Fountain, now it wants to give me them. That's crazy. Uh, I could make Final Gate of Eclipse. That actually wouldn't be too bad to put at the end here. It's, it's just that it's a very large item. And I don't, don't want to. Precursor, really? Out of all the advanced reborns I'm trying to get, you give me Precursor. This game, bro. That, that could have been a Hades. That actually could have been a Hades. Dude, one of those rebirths took 45 seconds. That's crazy. It's re it's just really weird because some of these rebirths are like 20 seconds long and then the other... The, the next one is like almost a minute. It really just depends on when the right ores go in. Okay. 
mean, I could go make Wild Spore really quick. Their Deadly Spore improve the setup. Um, Sage King is not worth it. Uh, Azure is too large. Um, honestly, all of these are just not worth anything. It's fine. We're chillin'. go those are those fast times we'd be talking about guys come on just keep that up we'll be there in no time dude it's only been like half an hour since the last hundred lives not even i don't think Just so many items. So many items just about to die in like 300 lives, but still. Dude, hitting 700 is gonna, it, it's gonna feel great. Okay, layout has been saved. I don't know, I figured I'd add some protection to the end of the setup. Given I, I see so many ores just flying out because of the blasters. Just felt like it would be a good idea. Might might speed up the setup. Who knows? I mean it seems a little faster. That was that was very quick. That was almost under 20 seconds. So, who knows? We'll see we'll see if the consistency changes at all. Not really. Might have helped, just not by much.
I'm also going to do this. Might help with the ore limit. Which also may speed up the setup. I don't know. Who knows at this point, man? I'm just trying to make the setup more and more consistent. It's kind of hard to, though. Truthfully, this setup doesn't work very fast anymore. But, I don't know. I'm close enough to where I, I don't really care anymore. So, we're, we're just going to run with it until uh, sacrifice. I think I really could work on it. Maybe I will. If things if things really get bad enough, sure. Honestly though, the setup's fine for now. There we go. There we go, let's rebirth right away. No other boxes. Okay. Or limit is definitely better now, though. I mean, it's one whole mine that's not getting duplicated like three times. Alright, we finally hit the DE rebirth price, and we have hit 700. Three more to go. We're getting there, dude. It's tough, but we're getting there. It is not going to win against me this time. It, it literally had to activate my crones in order to win. It did not play fair. Oh, you would like to complete the challenge. Alright, well, let me put you in a lot of pain. That's essentially what happened.
Bro, I'm literally like point one. Okay, thanks. Dude, I I was talking about that earlier. I hate when that happens. It's the worst when you're when you're at like like two DE, but you need like two point oh two or something. So you're just sitting there waiting to rebirth. Because you like you pretty much have enough money to, but like it's just like a tick away. It's the worst, man. It is literally the worst. There's only a few things in Miner's Haven that have ever bothered me. One, bad RNG for a prolonged amount of time. Oh my god, man. Another Stellarite? Dude. Dude. So, prolonged, uh, sorry, or no, oh my god, words are hard. Um, bad RNG for a prolonged amount of time, and when you're just, like, the smallest amount of currency away from whatever your goal is, whether it's rebirth, a challenge amount of money, so like, sent, um, TSTG, DD, like, nothing's worse than, like, doing, like, Life 1 DD, and then you're, like, like, 998 UD or something. Or back when people would do morning star loops for, like, TSDG, and it'd be, like, a whole, like, 35-minute setup with the longest process to get it going. And in the end, you'd be, like like 992 DTG or whatever it is. I don't know if it's UTG. I think it's UTG that's closer. Yeah, it's UTG. I believe. I'm gonna check. It is DTG that is closer. I was right the first time. Freebird. There we go. Yeah, I mean, dude, it takes like a hundred lives almost. Not not really, but like it takes like at least like fifty to sixty lives just to get out from one DE reborn 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 price to two a uh, DE reborn price. Dude, it's, I mean, like, I guess it kind of makes sense why you don't get a UD rebirth price by the time of, uh, Life 1K, but, like, bro. <gasps> this chair is pissing me off. It doesn't, like, shake the right way. Like, I kind of have to, like, go in a circle like this is it, if I want to, like, spin. That's just me being weird, I don't know. Like my other chair, because I have like a like an office chair that I use at my other desk. That kind of like I don't know, just like it kind of like rocks well. This doesn't. You have to kind of like rock in like a circle form. It's weird. Highly unstable. Oh my god, it's literally the Chomper. Plants vs. Zombies reference, guys.
750 soon, boys. The last 250 we're approaching. Oh, 75%. gonna be so worth it. Bro, like, this is what I mean. I'm 0.1 DD away. Thank you. Seven twenty five. Can't wait for dinner soon. Dinner today is going to be fantastic. My parents are great cooks. They, I don't, well, they've been cooking for so many years, so they're just good at it, but it's like, oh my god, dinner today is going to be crazy. I had a feeling good order was going to come through soon.
we go. There's another. 7.30. Oh, we went straight to Nanelians. Maybe we'll get a fast rebirth. Yes! That was a good one. Eh, actually, no, it kind of wasn't. Damn, we're really approaching the last 250, y'all. Alright, I'm just getting some texts. Okay, now that I'm done answering some some texts, we are just gonna lock in. Let's power through, let's get these last lives done. low time.
Hold on, y'all. Camera and mic are going to disappear for a quick second. Someone's going to be in my room.
Alright, I've returned. It's almost done. 750, dude. It's crazy. Ooh, good crate in the back. Go grab that. Hell yeah. Oh, and there's... Oh, and there's a diamond. Wait, okay, wait. We'll go get these really quick. And a shadow. Alright, well, at least I'll be done RP farming for good. I'll just get these as well. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, I have a, like, a concern. What if I did this? I, I just want to try it. I don't even know if it would work. It'd be pretty damn cool if it did. That's all I'm saying. Ah, no, it won't work. I'm not gonna bother. I don't want to waste a bunch of time just trying to set something up that I know is not gonna work. Flying. It's going so well. Here we go. The setup's just slow now. That's that's my only real problem. Is that we're not rebirthing extremely fast anymore. Setup has no level of consistency anymore. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of ways to fix that, but I, I can't think of any at all.
Oh, I thought I had enough. There we go. Dude, so many boxes from all of those crates. Jesus. I mean, when I'm, like, really trying, it seems to be pretty good. At, at least it's, like, a consistent sub-30 for the most part. But I, I just have to be locked in. Which comes and goes. There's definitely some moments where I, like, don't do that. Is that my first one of those? I think that's my first one of those on this entire account, actually. That's gonna be a slow rebirth, but it's fine. Yeah, I think I think that's the first one of those I've gotten this entire account. Damn, I got a ghastly dragon blaster before I got an ore skillet. Okay, bro. A 80, 200, there we go. Precursor Furnace, it is not what I'm looking for, man. We have, we have been getting no advanced reborns, dude. Oh my god. Well, by the time I get Hades or, uh, what's it called? Vulcans, yeah, I'm not going to be needing them. At all, probably. Damn, dude, we barely have any astrals. That reminds me, I still gotta get my astral setter on uh, my non sac 10k slot. Bro, oh, come on, give me, give me the money. You are litter. Okay, thank you. Like, bro. Yeah, that was 45 seconds. I have no idea why it's so inconsistent. It literally might be the blasters. I don't feel like they're helping very much. I might just take it away, to be honest.
Yeah. We're gonna try getting rid of the blasters, guys. We still make a good amount of money. Alright, I may have to eat. I think dinner's ready. Alright, I'm gonna do a couple more rebirths. And then the video is gonna be paused for like a brief second, guys. Um It's it's literally just gonna be me going to eat dinner. I'm not even gonna leave the game. I'm just gonna stay in. So I'll I'll only be gone like five ten minutes. I'm just gonna use the pause button because well there's there's gonna be nothing to watch and it's it's gonna be longer than like my my usual breaks I've done in this and I don't know they're it, it's not like the video is like fully uncut anymore because I I had to do it in two sittings so it's fine I'll be back all right. this rebirth and then I'll be back. Alright. Alright, y'all, that was like record time dinner. That was like, that was only like 10 minutes. I was gonna say 5 minutes, but I, I don't think that was right. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, we got hella crates. Oh my god. Okay. Let's get these. Yeah, I mean, the setup's definitely not consistent anymore, but it's fine. It's good enough for just getting, getting there at this point. We're not too much farther, uh... We're not, we're, we're not too far away anymore. Like, I'll just run it. Thank you, finally. Uh, 
do, 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 do. Come on. Let's get to 800. I wonder if I can get to 900 by 6 p.m. Crazy how you could feel so close, given I'm literally only like 220 something lives away. Or sorry, 215 lives away now. And it still feels so far, because like I know it's gonna take a, still probably a while. I'm probably not gonna be done until close to 7 o'clock, if at 7 o'clock, if I'm lucky. I'd at least put a catalyst in, try to speed it up so some of those initial ores can just be worth more. Cause that'll that'll help quite a lot actually. If some of those like low DE ores could just be boosted a, a bit more. Seems like it's helping a little bit. Bro, we got it. Yes. Please, thank you. Dude, I never thought I'd get that. Oh my god. <laughs> Since so long I tried.
All right. Let's try to get to a thousand within the next hour and a half. That's that's the goal for us right now. Breach loader, cool. So how many life zero items are there? Just for context. Okay, so we want banana split, that'd be great. Nature's grip, that'd be perfect. Quantum ore cleaner, that'd be good. Uh, massive diamond mine actually isn't a terrible item to get it, like life one, um, as it's just like, how do I put it? It allows you to skip to millions pretty fast. And then, uh, because it's worth, I think, what, 750k? Um, I know, sorry, it says 10 mil, I believe. I believe it was buffed at one point. Yeah, it used to be worth 750k at launch. Okay, it's worth 10 mil, and then you could pair it with cells. So... It's definitely, like, not terrible. It just, we couldn't use it for our actual setups. But it would be, it would be a good idea for us to use it with, um... What is it? I'm trying to think. We couldn't use it in like our main setups for life one, essentially. I I don't think that it would be a bad item though. It's just like I just use it at the start of every rebirth, which would still be good because it would it would allow me to skip the part where it's literally just you trying to get to a four to sell furnace because that could take like ten minutes if if you don't have like some perfectly formed strat uh frozen justice would be bad i'm not gonna lie that's probably like one of the worst items you can get at life life zero is uh frozen justice um it's just not strong on its own it takes up a lot of space just not really worth it Industrial Fire Crystal, that would be good because it, it, it can drop ores in the billions, um, and it kind of works with cells. It works enough with cells. Sage Redeemer, um, Sage Redeemer is good. Uh, it's not great, but it's good. It's a good, it's just a good furnace. Um, and with a big setup, it's good. Otherwise, it's kind of, kind of kind of bad pizza pizza blaster is okay as well it's like that and quantum are just like okay items same with uh banana split like they're just upgraders um they're easy to use so like they're good but at the end of the day like it i i feel like i'd rather get something to just boost um boost getting to QN faster rather than actually making QN easier. But I think overall I'd still be happy because those are those are decent items. And then of course Astral Predictor, probably one of the worst items. I feel like Astral Predictor is the worst uh or no, other than Frozen Justice. Frozen Justice and Astral Predictor are probably the two worst items you could get. And then Vortex Chamber is maybe even worse because you need a ramp to use it and you can't use that item right away upon rebirthing because you don't have a ramp. Not that great. Oh, wait. 
I didn't place it for some reason. I was just looking at the money. Wild Spore would be... I don't think you guys actually know this. You might not. But Wild Spore is probably one of the best items you could get for Life 1. Um, the reason is, is that it essentially gives you a cheap Freon. Um, what I mean by this is, with Wild Spore, if you sacrifice the fact that it's a times 5 so that way you can focus on the fact it takes uh, negative status effects away, you could use the Radioactive Refiner, which only costs millions, and loop it to the same amount that a Freon can. Not even kidding. And then you can put a Wild Spore after all of them, and it will work as a loop. That would be great, because it's a decent upgrader that I could use for, like... I could pair it with, like, the basic Iron Mine and, like, the basic Furnace to get money upon every rebirth. Even though it wouldn't be crazy, it would still be of five times, and then I'd be able to use it for the loop. And then once I'm no longer using that loop, if I if I decide to actually switch to Freons later on, it's it's just so easy to just put it back into the like the main setup and take it out of the loop. So like it's just great. It's a good item. That's that's one of the best items you could actually hope for for early game. Okay, so ideally we're trying to get banana split, nature's grip, quantum ore cleaner, massive diamond mine, industrial fire crystal, maybe sage redeemer. Honestly, there's better items. Uh Pizza Blaster. Mm, Astro Vader is not like. I think I'll take back what I said that it's one of the worst you can get. Because it's still an upgrader. Um. But the upgrade can be extremely low as well, which is bad, so. I don't know. I'd, I'd say it's okay. I don't really think I'm trying to get it. Vortex Chamber, absolutely do not want it. I mean, if I get it past life, like, three or four, then it's fine, because I'll just shove it in the setup. But I don't want it as one of my first. And then Wild Spore is absolutely, absolutely something we're trying to get. And then for, for other items, for, what is it, um... For past life five, sorry. For items past life five... We have Righteous Will, not going to want that, actually. At, at that point, no, I'm not going to want it. I'm not going to want it. Once once we get there. Ancient Temple would absolutely take Ancient Temple. It's small and it's easy to use, albeit it's a pretty random... Or not, like... It's not random, but it's not like a... A predictable way of upgrading given that it depends on if the number ends in a decimal or a whole number um it's not bad though it's it's still pretty consistent it's easy to use doesn't have any any weird things going on or sawmill is probably one of the worst things we could get if i'm being real literally makes the ores worth less and it splits them uh, the Catalyst would be great. Azure Refiner would be great. Or Illuminator would be great. Albeit is not, like, my favorite item to use. It still, it still would be good for, like, Life 5. Flaming Schrodinger would be terrible, and Venom Shank would be terrible. I would not use either of those. And then, of course, I can't even bother going for Tesla. That's the next on the list. That's a Life 10 item. So... So those are those are those are our options Pre pretty much that's it it's, it's it's limited to that so oh nice 
idea. I feel like it's a pretty damn good idea, too. Hold on. Oh, you have no idea how much I'm about to start cooking. This may help the setup with making more money. Did save. Alright, let's see. I'm kind of curious. Because now we have Sporist, Vulcans. Uh, Frozen is not being used to its, its fullest. However, but it's probably fine. And then we also have- oh wow, that was maybe the fastest I've gotten UD this entire time. That might have just been the saving grace for the setup. Hold on. find out. It's definitely helping. We've had two very fast rebirths since we've done it. Yeah, that helped so much. <clears throat> that was 18 seconds there. It's the f one of the fastest rebirths we've had in a very, very long time.
huge GGs, dude. Oh my god, guys, I got a Newtonium. Crazy. I miss... I miss when items like Newtonium were, you know, useful. But, you know, now we're 800 lives in. At least I managed to get Vulcans in time. So it wasn't totally useless. It's definitely helping. Another thing I could do if I really want to is I could put a Sporist after. Or, like, before the Tesla. At least probably. Yeah, I think so. Could definitely help with making money. And actually maybe even speeding up the setup, because less conveyor for the thing to have to go on at the end. Who knows? Hmm. I'm not gonna bother to change it. It's fine as it is. I was thinking about it, but it's fine. Alright, y'all. Then next hour and 15 minutes, I would like to hit um, 1k. At least close to the, the next hour and 15 minutes. Because that'll, that'll leave me with a good hour or so for the 10 lives. You are right there. Thank you. Crystallize would be great with the evolution for it. You need eight crystallized systems. I don't even have enough. That actually wouldn't be a terrible item to get. It's just that then I'd have to go RP farm. However, it only brings it up from, what is it, a 6, 2, and 11 times, and it's a very large item that I couldn't fit anywhere, so.
but when I'm literally right there in terms of money. It happens so much now. Because I always get to, like, like 2DE, but never, like, 10DE. And then when I do, it's always, it's always, like, right under how much I need. It's never, ever the right amount first try. Please, I'm 2DE away, bro. Thank you. Or just don't give money when it's supposed to. Then I have to redo it. Last 150 lives soon. There we go. <clears throat> Actually, pretty decent times. Looks like a quarter of a damn millisecond too early. Someone sent me like a trailer. Apparently Destiny is getting a mobile game. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Okay. 
Oh wait, what am I waiting for? Oh my god. Stop wasting time. Alright, we're about to hit 850. Oh my god. It's now it's now starting to settle in that we're 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 getting to the end of this. It it feels like tangible now. It's been so many hours. What? As of now it has been it was 14. 17 hours. Roughly 17 hours. That is... <laughs> I'm never... I, I don't think I'll ever upload a longer video on my channel than this, to be honest with you. I don't think I ever will. I think, I think this is it. This will probably be the limit for how long of a video I upload. This is, because this is probably going to be like an 18 to like 20 hour video. All right, about to be 140. <clears throat> yep, here we go. Just keep going. So, so close. It is so close. Oh man, that stretch. That was painful. blanket is not the best at keeping me warm.
Give me one sec. I'm just gonna check something. Literally on the other side of my room. Gravitational is crazy. Wait. I didn't- Oh, I didn't even know I had one of these, man. a big upgrade that it gets to go through now every time it's what um grav is a time seven dude so it's gonna get to go through a time seven every time now i didn't even know i had one i would have put it in earlier Oh, dude, it's 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 done 18 seconds four times in a row now. That actually might have been the play. 
Oh, dude, 16 seconds. We just saved this setup. I think I think it's moving more consistently now, which is the nice thing. Oh my god, dude. We managed to recover the setup in the late game. That's crazy. Nineteen seconds. Yep. Sub sub twenty consistent, baby. We went from consistent sub thirty and like inconsistent twenties, dude, to consistent sub twenty. It's crazy. The re the recovery was absolutely insane. Sixteen seconds. Yep. It's it's so over, dude. We've had okay. We've had eighteen, 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 sixteen, nineteen, sixteen. Bro. Holy. That's that's insane. It's actually insane. Brav was such a good item to throw in. I was so like worried when I noticed that it wasn't like it might not fully work. But bro. It seems like the ores just work so much more consistently now, too. It's crazy. Oh, dude, we're going to be there in no time, then. We'll, we'll definitely be there by by the end of the hour, which is good, because that was the goal. And I actually didn't think I'd be reaching it because of how slow the setup became. I, I think we're going to do more than that. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll still go well. 50, we have 50 minutes by that goal. To get to a thousand. Let's see. I mean, if I'm doing if I'm doing three rebirths a minute, under the assumption I'm doing 20, 20 second rebirths perfectly, which I'm doing better than, which is great. But like, under the idea I'm doing three rebirths a minute. That's 150 lives in the next 50 minutes. So it's it's definitely possible. It's just, it's just going to be close to uh, the time. But it, it is possible. We'll be getting there more than in time. It'll be close, though. It'll probably be like 640. It's currently 610. I'm assuming it'll at least take me a good half hour. But let's find out. Uh, we have what? 116 lives divided by three. 38 minutes. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be closer to 650. But that's not including, um, how many reverts I do that are sub 20. That's, that's like, that's we, that's what the idea of like a perfect 20. It's already so much faster.
almost down to these last 100 lives, man. <sighs> 115 more in total, including the 10 post-second sack, but we're catching up. I like how grav was like the item that fixed everything for us. Nine hundred. It's the final stretch, guys. Oh my god. Nine hundred and one. It's so close. Let's just let's just get there. Let's just get there. Alright, as of this next rebirth, we are down to exactly 100 lives. And after this next rebirth, we will have less than 100 lives.
I'm just looking at that number. It's so close. Got to be 80 lives left. Or 90 in total, I guess, but, but 80. And 75, dude. All of this. Dude, it's gonna be so... I actually think it might be easier to do the, the 10 lives than these, because these are just so repetitive. Like, like, you're essentially just, like, mindlessly just watching the number go up. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to do endgame grime for a while because of this. <laughs> Endgame, like this is essentially just endgame, just at a, a worse, a much worse pace, and without getting like any shinies or anything. I mean, not saying none after the the beautiful ghastly that we got today, the beautiful ghastly dragon blaster, but still, like. I don't know, bro. It's um it's just gonna take away the energy that I'm gonna need to like get, I don't know, like twenty thousand lives done in a day or something. So like I'm I'm gonna be staying away from that just for a little while probably. 
in like a week or two and just focus on like more important things within the game. Who knows though? Who knows? Dude, to think we're gonna be there within like 20 minutes. It's crazy. It's genuinely crazy. Dude, we're getting to that 50 life mark, man. It's crazy. It's it's really crazy. You have no idea how it feels. You have no idea how it feels.
50 lives. 50 lives left. Let's make that 49. And right after I gotta go edit the video. Thankfully it's only gonna it's only gonna be like a like a 10 minute editing process. It's not gonna take long at all. But rendering that thing is gonna take like all my computer power for hours. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. The render is probably gonna be like an eight hour process, and then I'm gonna upload it. Um like I'm I'm probably gonna render it, go to bed, wake up in the night, check on it. Um, set like an alarm or something for when it's it's done, and then we will just get a thumbnail and get off once it's once it's uploading. Because once it's uploading to YouTube, then it's gonna be another multiple hour process for sure. Not gonna be seeing that one pop up probably till the morning, guys. It is so close. Thank you. I was like a second late, man. Oh, bro, it didn't work. I just pressed early on accident, I didn't mean to let go. Sometimes I click, and then when I get the money, I let go, because that's how Roblox works. Clicks don't activate on a down click, they activate on an up click. See? So, sometimes, like, if I press the load button too early, I'll just hold the, the, the load part. And then... see and then I let go yep 40 lives guys 40 lives it's about to be 39 Is that another Vulcans I just got? Yeah, it was. Oops, I'm getting a phone call. I'm gonna have my mic muted.
Alright. to be 30 lives man so close it still feels so far it's not gonna feel close until we're at like 990 those last 10 lives until second sack are gonna feel very short but like these feel like they're taking so long they feel like the rebirths are going so short but it feels like like it takes like four rebirths to get one life if that makes sense like it feels like i'm just it's taking so long to watch the number go up Less than 25, man. Less than 25. lives. We're definitely going to make it within the next, like, ten minutes. For sure, but it's... Feels so close and so far at the same time. It still does. Like... Oh my god. I don't recommend, because I, I actually feel like people might be listening now because, you know, some people like to skip to, like, the last bit of the, whatever long video they're watching or, like, for the highlight parts. Yeah, if you're, if you're hearing what I'm saying, I don't recommend doing this. Maybe with skips, sure. At one point in the video, I actually decided almost uh, that I wanted to skip, and then I was like, nah, I'll take away from the channel. Yeah, you should, I should have skipped. This, this video probably would have been, like, a third as long if I did skipping. 
I think it was worth it though. I think it added to the chaos and just it just it just made this so much more goofy. At the end of like this is not like a serious challenge. Nobody should be doing this to challenge themselves. I don't think it's anything crazy. It's nothing more than just deciding that you kind of want to just go through torture. Like again, it's not the worst thing in the world. It is not by any means. The problem is just the amount of time it takes. Takes it, it can take a toll. On, it took a toll on my body. Like I was, oh my god, my stomach was in so much pain, dude. I mean that's because of my Crohn's, but still, like. It mentally it could take a toll you're just like like there's no worse feeling though than like like when you're sitting there and you're like like 400 and you're like damn it's been four hours or something like that you know it's been six hours i'm like 400 not sacrificed yet right and you look at you look at the time it's been six hours whatever and then you think well, I'll probably be at, you know, a thousand by, like, the ninth hour. And then your setup slows down. And then you sacrifice. And it's, it's like, hour, like, ten and a half. And then you gotta do the whole thing all over again. And then you're like, well, damn. You know, it's, it's, I'm I'm gonna be at second sacrifice by hour 16, and then you think, well, I've got to do another like hour and a half worth of rebirthing once I get to second sack because, um, also 10 lives, guys, uh, because you don't get the upgrader right away, and technically completing the game is by unlocking the badge. Man, it feels good. It finally feels like I'm here. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel far away anymore. I, I think I think it quite literally took my brain to see the nine nine to to know how close I was. And to to feel like it wasn't far away anymore. I think it literally took me until this point. Which is fine, but still. Oh, thank god that worked. I thought I thought I pressed too early. I looked up and I had money. I was like, thank god. <sighs> okay. Y'all. Y'all. We are we are right there. We are right there. It, feel, it feels so good. You have no idea. You have no idea how good this feels just to be right there. Oh my god. Three lives, boys. I've never... Never felt this good sacrificing in Miner's Haven. It's crazy. We're just gonna go straight in a second sack. I don't even like. I don't even want to think about it. We're just, we're just full sunning. It's, it's gonna. We're just, we're just going. All right, boys. Nine hundred and ninety-nine.
Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 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 here. Holy oh my god. Okay. Alright boys. All right, y'all, let's do this. So how we're gonna start out is simply like this. daily gift I'm just gonna do this until we get enough for a cell furnace Let's do this for like a couple million dollars really quick.
Hell yeah, there we go. Alright, this will be layout one. This will be layout two. Or not layout two. Not this. We'll just upgrade those whenever we can. Okay, um... Dirty of these... Five of these... Two of these... Just get as many ramps as we can. Um... Get one of these... Two ramps... One tracker... One of these for now... We'll get some gates, because those are useful. Uh, we need a decent furnace, so we'll just get this. Uh, we need some mines. We'll get more conveyors. And we're not going to get these yet. Alright, now we're just going to wait for more... Um, More of the... What is it? Can't think of what they're called. Uh, one more way up high. Almost there. And then this as well. Oops. Let me just get this really quick. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so it can't go past here.
That's the kind of t stuff we want to see, dude. Okay, so what we'll do is we will get two of these. Let's get a cannon. Okay, sweet. And then we'll do... Is it more than six units away? Yes, this is more than six units away. I don't even know why I'm not going over. I think it's literally just for myself.
All right, let's hope this works. All right, please give me a good rebirth item. Oh my God, will I please just get it? I'm, get, I'm getting like the, the smallest amount of QN that I possibly can. Alright, y'all, please. Come on, 25QN, bro. What is going on? Ion fields just aren't doing anything. They're, they're just not hitting most of the ores anyways. gonna try a collider here Let's see how this goes
Yes, thank you. Please give me a good item. <gasps> Bro! I I got I got it. I got it. I got what I wanted. I literally got the one item I wanted. All right, well, that's a way to get half the game done in one go. And now I could save my QD layout, or sorry, my QN layout. So I have this to get me to quadrillions slash quintillions, and then I have that to get me higher. Alright, this can be moved. Get three colliders. Eight of these. Then this could be moved. Remove, remove, remove. so I don't need that much DD in order to get this set up, just, or QD to make it uh, easy to get this set up. Okay, and then we'll do one of these, three of these,
All right, hoping for a good upgrader this time. Or an industrial fire crystal. Because I think that would actually just give me QN. That did nothing. Not get 50 QN, boys. We did not get 50 QN. Dude, it's it's so GG's. I just realized the other layout I had was literally this whole thing. That's fine, I don't really care.
Wild Spore would have been great, but we got everything we wanted. My god, man. The game the game's seen how long I've been in here and it's like Okay, fine. As this ends, I, I just kind of want to talk to you guys. First off, for anyone who, anyone who goes for whatever reason and watches even most of the, I don't, I, at first I was like, maybe there'd be one person who'd watch all of it. I don't even think, I don't even think you exist. However, to anyone who even watched most or even some of this thank you this has been both fun and it points not fun in the end I would have done this again um, if if I didn't pursue this attempt more I would have came back and tried it again. I really, really would have. This was worth it. We're right here, and all I know is that it was worth it. Um, a lot of time a lot of grinding a lot, like so much grinding um here we are about 18 and a half hours in all i can say is thank you this has been something for sure <laughs> i don't think i'll ever do it again maybe maybe when third sack comes out 
we'll do some like big big event on the channel and we'll live stream from life one to third zack that would take a very long like 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 10 to like 15 times longer than this did probably but that that's that's something to consider in like whenever that happens because i i don't know that yeah i don't know and i don't speak on third zack like ever so i don't know whenever that happens whenever third zack releases maybe maybe you'll see me do that i i doubt it but maybe oh now it wants to give us banana split early now it wants to give us banana split early okay um i i really just don't have anything else to say but thank you for all of the love on this channel i would i would not be doing this i would have i would have just told everyone hey i wasn't feeling well i just just gave up or something to like my buddies who are interested but honestly I'm glad to say I did this it's, it's, I can't wait to upload this video <laughs> you don't know how, how like goofy it is like it, it's just goofy nobody would do this ever I don't know why I did it in the first place. I was just like, you know what? That'd be a cool thing to upload. And I've I've been here for 18 and a half hours. Oh my god. I know this is probably not the fastest that I could be rebirthing. Honestly, I don't care. Actually, it hasn't been too bad. It's been, like, roughly, like, two minutes. This one's gonna be, like, two minutes. The last one will be, like, three minutes, so it's fine. It, it literally just gives me a chance to sit down and talk to you guys. Like, that's all I care about. It is done. Pretty much. We're, we're just about there. Two more lives. This one's going to be about two and a half minutes. Thank you guys for all of the love that you guys do give. We had like a hundred people vote that you guys want an hour long video for uh, part ten, so we'll we'll be doing that soon. I'm I'm still motivated to do that. That's that's nothing. I'm not necessarily like grinding for anything in that series. It it, it literally gets to just be me and you guys, and we just get to hang out and chat, which will be fun. Um. So I'll, I'll take a break for like a, a couple days and uh, then go do that and you guys will get that. But I'm, I'm going to go edit this video like right away. I mean, it's going to take a while to edit, so might as well. I've got, I've got to edit the intro. I've got to edit the disclaimer because I, I very much want to at least tell you guys that I took the break that I did. Um, and I got to merge the clips, the two videos, this one and the one I was recording until up, up, up into this morning. Um, I got to merge those together. So it, it's going to take me like 10 minutes to edit this video. It's going to, it's, it's, it's going to take hours so many hours to render and upload it though all right guys life life nine we're here we're here we're here we're here oh my god we had the two luckiest rebirths 
that we possibly could have had. And as a result, we were not here for an hour. That's all I know. We were we were literally through these few lives in like 40, 45 minutes. We I said I wanted to be here before 7. It is like 7.30 right now. Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. To anyone who is watching, thank you and I love you very much for even just clicking this monstrosity of a video. It's... This is an 18 and a half hour Miner's Haven video. I, I think this might be the longest ever video. I'm not saying live stream, but video for Miner's Haven ever. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's just goofy. It's, this whole thing is goofy. There's, there's no seriousness to any of this. I just wanted to say that I, I pulled this off and I'm so proud of myself. We had a terrible, terrible stomach ache because of Crohn's and, uh, the night and we had to stop but i felt motivated right away when i woke up to just finish this and i'm so happy that i did i'm so happy that i i managed to get this moment right now this moment has been worth all of this a hundred percent just just watching the money climb for this last rebirth it's it's crazy it's so crazy you have no idea how good it feels you have no idea how good it feels to just just to be here right now <gasps> well we're done that's it. We have enough money to rebirth. I could just sit here for another 18 hours. Never. Never will I. Okay, boys. You know what? Do, do we want to get anything? Any Anybody in... Uh... I'm asking in uh, Miner's Haven chat if anyone wants to be there for it. Specifically, one of my one of my buddies. I'm not asking like everybody, but I don't th I don't think he's on. All right, guys. Yeah, he's he's not on. Okay. Well, this is this is it. I'm so so glad that I did this. Thank you guys, and uh, behold the final upgrader. And all of this was worth it for this moment right here. To, to just, just exist in this moment to get to do this with you guys it has been incredible thank you i don't really know how to end this one i'm i just wanted to say thank you um shout out to everyone who encouraged me to keep going there were a lot of people in my dms that are just buddies of mine who knew about it and knew how I was feeling uh, in terms of like, you know, being in a lot of pain and stuff and uh, watching over me, helping me make the right decisions. Thank you to everyone who encouraged me to keep going. Once I started 
you know, hitting the, the like, the Life 200 roadblock in pre-sack, uh, of when it, it just became mindless grinding at that point. Thank you to all the people who chatted with me. I was chatting in, uh, MH chat in the Miner's Haven Discord. Link will be in the description. Thank you to my community for all of, you know, the stuff you guys do, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just grateful to be here right now. It's, this is, this was dumb. I, I, I was dumb to do this. I don't, I don't think there was a single thing that was like, you should do this. And I should have been like, yes, that is a good idea. No, I should have been like, no, why would anyone do non-skipping 2000 lives in one go? Mind you, that's including game progression. That's not like having like a like a three second like life four thousand setup because I know some people do that or something. No, this is including game progression and life one and getting rebirth items and getting RP and just like all of it. It's just a lot. This was literally the full game experience. Thank you. That's gonna be it. Peace. I'm I'm very scared to end this video. Goodbye. Have a good one. I, I please watch the other videos on my channel. This this don't watch this. Just just go watch something else. See you around. Peace.